yo, yo, how are we doing today for the second match of the playoffs to start? We've got the number one seed Reapers versus the number four seed Bandits out of the Fredericksburg division. And it's your boy, Black Diamond. And you already know the third best commentator in the UEL, third anarchist. How y'all doing? Man, that's a lot. He number one. He, he stepped in <laughs> with heavy hitters. He know everything. He, as a matter of fact, how much, how much do you know? Um, Enough to sound competent. Enough to sound competent. See, like, that's funny because you can't sound competent. You either are or you aren't. It's you competent enough to put that out there. Therefore, that's goat talk. And that's something <laughs> that I bring up goat talk because last time I checked, that's, that's kind of what Hollywood does. It's a lot of goat talk right away. I... Villain or not, you got to respect the man's skills and respect what he's done with the Reapers. And them being number one isn't a fluke. It's not a joke. It's not a passing phase. They continue to coach, dominate, and build and adjust constantly. Absolutely. With that one-two duo of Mr. Meow, the cat himself, and Hollywood, Mr. Wood. Two leaders that uh, really, after last season, came in. They saw that, all right, this team needs some work. We're going to have to draft a bunch of rookies. They made trades for some veterans and made sure to knock it right out the park. And... That's what they've done so far, launching them to a number one seed in the set. Really, their, I would say their second season of really being together as a cohesive unit. That goes to show sometimes it just takes more than one season. You're not just going to get it there with rookies. Yeah, because rookies are great pieces of clay that you can mold and build into what you need. And the way the UEL performs, the way these pro in-gamers play, aren't just simply picking up one game or another. So the fact that Hollywood being himself only here for two seasons counting this season – to come to this level, amazing. And that's crazy to me because I know we're about to get an interview with one of them. I hope, well, I hope so. You know, they like to keep it on the DL. But I say that to say that goes to show. So anything can happen. This could be the Bandits' time to come on up as well. And we're going to find out very shortly what's about to happen today with this exciting match. Oh, it's going to be great. And we got an interview coming to you guys here right now. And we'll see you on the other end. Peace. Y'all know what it is. OG Juki back up in the building. Welcome to the UEL with Gamers Go Pro. We got another exciting one. Playoff season. Yes, sir. The energy is definitely live around here. Oh, man. I can't wait till this game start, man. 12 minutes and counting till we start taking dubs. Because that's all we Bandits do. versus Reapers. Y'all, uh, you, you guys had a bit of a rough season. Mm -hmm. um, but nonetheless, you're here. You're a rookie team, but you're here, and you get a chance to compete for 40 bands. For the bag, man, it, you're still in the runnings right now. How does that feel? It feels amazing, man. Just from how we started, like you said, it was literally all just came together as one team and just kind of put us together. Went from not too much team chemistry, man, to feel like we we on top. We could, we could beat anybody. And today we're here to show and prove that. Yeah, man. It'd be, it'd be, you're definitely the underdogs coming into this matchup, but you have mm -hmm. the chance at an upset. You know, taking the Reapers off their winning streak, being the top team in the league overall with the best record mm -hmm. this season. Um, you do have a tall task ahead of you. We do, we do, but uh, we're here for the upset. That's mainly what we're here for. We know we're the underdogs, but we're here to show we're not playing no more. It's been a long season. We've accumulated a lot of experience, and today we're going to show why we're not second best, but the best. And the Reapers, regardless of the record today, promise you they're gonna show they're gonna see all right man i definitely like your energy i definitely like your energy well being in this position i i know it has to be kind of nerve-wracking you know for you guys you know what i'm saying it, it, it it's all or nothing at this point you know what i'm saying um are you are you feeling the nerves at all nah man because like i said once you play them once you play them twice this third time's gonna be the charm that's it it's like taking out the trash man that's what we're gonna do Take out the trash. Show you how. All right, man. I definitely like the energy. I like, I like, I like the confidence. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, like I said, it's, it's no small order. You got it. You got a big, you got a big plate, a big meal to finish. You it know is. what I'm saying? But I mean, if the gorillas could finish a raven plate, I'm sure we could finish reaper plate too. So I mean, plate's gonna get filled. The order's gonna get filled. We're gonna take them out. All right, man. Well, uh, you definitely. Uh, is there anything in 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 particular that you're worried about as far as them? Any games that you're worried about facing off in, or anything you look to get yours in? 
Honestly, I would love to play some MK, a little Tucky, even a little LOL today. The only game that would possibly have me worried is CTR. <laughs> and I'm going in. That's it. <laughs> That's it. If I'm going in, I'm going to be a little worried for the team. But other than that, I mean, what do we lose? Well, I wish you guys the best of luck. Um, it, 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 it's it's going to be an event, a spectacle to see. If you guys pull off the upset, that, that would send a shock through the league, man. I'm telling you, put your points on us. Put your blessings on us. We're going to get paid. All right, man. Well, good luck out there. Fight the good fight, bro. I appreciate it. All right, there we go. So Luchi Sama talking about they're here to take out trash and things he needs to focus on. That is a that's that's big talk. Like a bold statement indeed. And that's exactly what I wanted to hear coming from him. If I'm being quite honest, you know with Luchi, he doesn't back down from any fight. And honestly, neither do the bandits. They've put out a lot of great performances this season. A lot of the games, although the record doesn't reflect it, were much closer. They gave some scares, including to the ghosts and one game the Reapers, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, uh, I believe so. That was the case. And the really interesting thing is, is when you look at a lot of competitive leagues, especially in professional sports, you see a lot of the low ranked teams and there's like, oh, they're just bad. No, that is not the story with the Bandits. The Bandits have been a constantly growing and evolving team. And one thing I am a little annoyed about, I'm going to say annoyed. I feel like Rex would have been the stronger choice to play today. Yeah, but we all know with Rex's role in general, he likes to sit back and coach and really only play when he feels necessary. He's so dedicated to getting the Bandits up to where he has the vision. Mind you, he's been on a few teams before. He is a former Raven, so he understands the structure he wants to bring to the team and knows that for him it may just include having to be, uh, take a step-back role. So that being said, like I'm going to repeat that bull statement. He said we just got to take out the trash. It's no different. That's all we got to do from Lucci. What do you think they're focusing on with this lineup that they threw out there to do See, against these Reapers? Uh, we got Lucci pretty balanced, focus star. Magnus Sam, honestly, in my opinion, has killer uh, killer instinct in him. So I think it's going to be getting some of the younger guys amped up, ready to go, and just to uh, push them forward. Because, like you said, with Rex being dedicated to coach and how he's running everything, I think getting them energized, hyped up, and having that focus coaching will be amazing. Yeah, for sure. And you know what? If we're talking about trash, the Reaper's going to be talking about reaping something up. That ghostly. And we're going to find out right here at this interview. Ready we go. You know, you know what it is. OG Juki, back, back shooting, shooting the ones with another player, this time, this time from the Reapers. How you doing, Oso Cheesy? I'm doing great, man. How are you, man? I'm all, I'm all right, man. man. For all the marbles, huh? Absolutely. It's, 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 it's do or die time. It 100% is do or die time. All right, so you guys have uh, quite a story. You came in third last season. Yeah. Um, you came back from having a bit of a rough start, but rough start, yeah, we making a, 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 a stampede of a run. Especially after the second half. Oh, yeah, we're undefeated. And, 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 and you're coming into this undefeated, the number one team with the best record in the league. Yep. You got to be feeling pumped at that, but about that. But is that, a, is that big shoes to fill? Does that, does, that, does that put the pressure on at all? I don't think so. Um, I definitely think it's an easier road ahead than it has been in years past. No offense to all the other teams, but I definitely think this is our season to take it. Yeah, you boys are definitely looking strong. Um, uh, you you got the cat there. Hollywood has been uh, his second season here. This is only his second season, and he has turned into one of the best player coaches I've oh, seen here. They are phenomenal. Um, th those guys really hold you guys down. You picked up a hell of a sh uh, hell of a shooter in uh, 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 Ricky. Ricky is amazing. Phenomenal uh, beast. Every time I see him out on the Absolutely. floor. Absolutely, and he's so uh, young too. He's only gonna get better. And um, you took a little stint for a little bit, but you came back and, yeah, and you came back stronger than ever. You you were Superman hiding in the sun for a little while. <laughs> you getting powered up. I guess you could say that, yeah. So uh, how are you feeling about the matchup today? Uh, I think it's going to be a fun one. Uh, I think everyone in the league knows the outcome of it, just like the pre-show for Karma. It kind of, it's going to be a wash, but it's going to be fun. Word, word. And uh, is, is you said this is, this is you guys' year. Do you see a possible upset happening with any other teams you expect to face off against 
karma in the end? Or I personally, I think we're gonna face the Ravens in the end. I think the Ravens are gonna take karma out. So you you, you think you're, take you're, karma? you think it's gonna be two number one, two top two slots this year? I in, think as so. Far as I think game. that's what it's gonna be this year. Absolutely. I hope so. I want to face the Ravens. I used to play for them, so it'd be a, it'd be a little good story. Word, word. It definitely makes for a, a, a interesting story. Absolutely. And uh, you feeling con- like you said, you feeling confident about today's matchup? Anything you looking in to, to dive into to, to to stretch your stuff other than like Madden? Uh, I I've touched on a couple fighting games, a couple shooters. I I pretty much play everything on the wheel. Not good, but uh, I play everything on the wheel. And who do you have the potential facing after this? After you guys, either you be going up against? Is it? It's the booze. It's the booze. It's the booze. Uh, I don't. No offense, but the ghosts aren't beating the booze. There's no way the booze. They did beat Karma. But the booze beat Karma. So it, yeah, I mean, but I mean, it's, it's just just goes to show you it can be anybody's true. day. It, I mean, it, nobody true. expecting them to take out Karma, and they did that. That is true. I just don't think that the ghosts have the manpower and the team camaraderie like we do, or Karma does, to take on the booze. Word, word. But you definitely got it though. Y'all oh, got 100%, it. 100%, yeah. You know what? I'm not going to lie. You guys are definitely one of my uh, favorite teams to watch play. Well, thank uh, you. You, you. You definitely got energy. You all a bunch of cool cats. You know what I mean? Um, and the, you, your skill level is up there. Whether it been there from the beginning, but it, it's it's there now, and you, you're, you're here where it counts, and you get to play for that money. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. That's definitely And, and, and make motivation. history. Definitely. That's the biggest motivation, the money. I can hear you, man. <laughs> well, I wish you the best of luck, man. You do Thank your you thing, so bro. Well. Hey, y'all have a good one. All right, man. So, uh, oh, so cheesy there, huh? Yeah, I think that's his name. Is that his name? Okay, well, I wonder why. Huh. No idea. Maybe it could be the play style. Definitely one of the almost OGs, I want to say, of the league. Uh, been here for multiple seasons. As you said, did a little bit of a spin away, had to take care of some things, but he's back and uh, showing that he's still a very competent sports sports first player, but he touches everything like he said. He knows what's going on and he knows how competition goes. And that's why I think he said something about a washing machine, maybe running the bandits through the dryer and spin it right back out. What do you think about that statement? I think we touched up on it just a little bit, but what do you think? I think... Once again, going back to the Bandits record, and everybody respects the Bandits growth, but nobody actually respects the Bandits themselves as a team. And I think that's something the Bandits need to really show today, win or lose, that they're here to fight. And I personally, nothing would bring me more satisfaction to end this match, walk out, and see Hollywood crying because he lost to the Bandits. That would make my 2023. Whoa. Stats, skills, the way Hollywood and them have built the team, work together, like Oso Cheesy said, how they have built that camaraderie, that trust, that level of, uh, oh, hey, man, this game's coming up. You want to go? No, nah, man, you can take it. Yeah. That's that's a real thing to have, and it shows in their record and the way they handle their opponents. Yeah, and that's the crazy part. They are actually becoming one of the most versatile teams, if not already the most versatile team, right, in the league in terms of the way they approach and the lineups that they can throw out for different teams does match up. So it's one of those things. And I think the most underrated thing, now see, we know Mr. Meow the Cat is arguably a top three player, top two player in the league, but Demon. has to take his breaks, man. He's, st- he's still doing what he do- does. So he's a full-time student, yet he still makes it out for when the games are most important. And I think that's one of the most underrated things about the Reapers is they have been winning without him. Before we used to say it was because of the Cat, now we're saying it's because of the tutelage that he's passed on to the team and they are training as if he's there at all times. So now I'm turning it back into the lineup. This is about as strong as we've seen the Reapers. Some interesting decisions to go as well. I haven't seen the cat play, but one of the few things when I first got here, it was always a running joke. Man, hey man, cat's gonna show up. Cat's gonna show up. Cat's gonna show up. Well, cat showed up. So cat showed up. So you know we're gonna see some MK eleven play. Wait a second. Is that the first wheel spin? First spin. Let's see it. Uh, let me get Siege. Let me start the day off with Siege. Oh, let's go, DNF. Okay. Yeah. See, that was that was close. See, there's some games right there. 2K Madden DNF. All games I'm excited to get started with. And quite honestly, this is going to be a good one. If I had to take my money on what's about to happen, they're going to send out Scarlet, who is their designated fighter for the Reapers, and then send out Amazing Mare. I feel as though Amazing Mare and or Pokestar. One of the two will go in right here for DNF, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit of a war. But I think I got Scarlet Edge now. What are your predictions? Um, I definitely think it's gonna be Focus Star. Personally, I've never played DNF until about an hour and a half, two hours ago, and 
focus star was in there getting some reps in. I'm like, hey, man, let me learn how to play this game. And you know how it is. You know, good players beating up on noobs. It is what it is. But he adjusted quickly to when I started figuring things out, and I never truly got past three quarters of his health. So I think if he's able to, like, sun me throughout multiple rounds of the game, I think he has the knowledge and the capabilities to go through. And Scarlet is the current uh, fighting wheel champion, is he not? He is. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, so that's an easy pick. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's an easy pick per se because DNF isn't exactly Scarlet's best game, but he plays every fighting game, right? So he has a, a certain baseline level of skill that he's going to be able to exude here, and I think that's what they're going to go with. So that being said, DNF, super quick setup most of the time. I'm actually excited. Great way to start off today. Strength versus strength, mano y mano. It's a 1v1, so we're only going to get one person going in, and that's going to set the rotations up very interestingly for what's going to come up next, right? Yeah, definitely. And like you said, it's Scarlet is the, the wheel champion, and he has a good baseline. So this is – I love – y'all going to hear me say it like 18 more times throughout this match, but momentum. And the Bandits being 100% the underdogs – if Pokestar or whoever the Bandits send in can get not just a win, but a convincing win, that could potentially, maybe, put a hiccup in the Reaper's mentality. Yeah, so that that's the thing, right? We're, we're over here clearly talking, saying that we understand the odds, right? The odd makers that touch this, we'd be leaning into Reaper's prediction. But last time I checked, the last few weeks... Just because the odds are in your favor doesn't mean that you're going to pull out that win, as we saw with Karma and the Ravens. So with the Reapers, now we're talking about just staying focused. That's it. If they can stay focused and maintain, then we should see a pretty strong performance. Uh, second game right over here to start off the playoffs. It's really good ones. We got two number one seats back to back to start off showcasing some of that firepower here at the UEL. Right. And that's what the Reapers and Bandits are looking to do here. And I was talking to Titus about this earlier. You talk about these major teams going against some of the lower-end teams, but remember, the Chiefs lost to the Colts last season. See, we're bringing in other sports. That's a me. What the heck? What I'm trying to say is... factual is anything can happen. Exactly. That's the point Anything can happen. Out. That same thing happened, though. That's what I'm saying. Now, see, I would take that same analogy for those who know and just let you know it's simply the ghost beating the karma. It's just something you don't expect, and that can happen at any given time. Now, I will say this about the Bandits. They have been in the lab consistently all season. So they have, they're really going in with a fighter's mentality here. Now, see what could happen here. After this game, they could roll another fighter. And they have KOF that I think that they'll beat the Reapers in for sure. So things like that can alter the tides, right? The yeah, Bandits sure. have been winning games all season. And right here, it looks like we got it. I think I got that prediction right. Yeah, you 100% yeah. called it. You you led with Amazing Mare being the Bandits pick or Focus Star. And I said Focus Star, so you got uh, Scarlet on Swiftmaster, like we both agreed on. And then, like you called, Amazing Mare on Lock. So this is going to be a good one. And we got the next game get spun up right now. So let's see what we got coming up. Oh, wow. Ooh, Gundam up next. So Tekken had wolves. They do not have to call it. That would be All right, let's see what we got. All right, so it looks like we had a bit of a tech issue right now going on on the Reaper side of things, so they're getting the controller swapped out. Now, uh, once that controller gets swapped, then we'll get a restart and get into the so, from what I've seen from Launcher as a character, there's a lot of, uh, there's a good mid-range, long-range option, but a lot of Launcher players that I've seen haven't been able to deal with the pressure of getting uh, ran up on and their space invaded. So, it's going to be interesting to see how Amazing Mare is able to control that immediate space to get the reset in order to get range back in her, uh, her favor. Right. right, and we really do get a shoot to start off here. And two players that know exactly what they're doing in these games moving heavy. Oh. Reset. And we are well on our way. 
Perfect character design. Oh, <laughs> explode! Oh! Which transformer is this? Michael Bay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Everybody loves Transformers. All right, so here we go. We're getting launched off. And... Good opening right there. Good chunk of damage. And this is one of those things that Launcher can do, is just apply pressure without burning a lot of meter from the outside of the screen. Sith Master is somebody you can get going and do a lot of damage, but if you can't get in... Right, and Scarlet right now looking for the looking for the answer to get in. She seems to found a little bit of a, an opening and is trying to capitalize, but Amazing Mare being able to fight that right back off with some counters, knowing exactly where she's going. And that's one of the things I brought up earlier, is a lot of launcher players pick launcher because of all the range builds, but don't know how to reset pressure and keep it Ooh, but Amazing mare. mare! Say hello, Got a goodbye, put it down and go away. Barely losing any of her health. Wild. Now, let's see what she can follow it up with a good second. Amazing Mare. Is our uh, fighting game champion exposed right now? No, I don't think it's exposed, but like I said, there are baseline levels to every game. If I were to tell you what Scarlet's best game is, it's definitely Tekken, right? Just because he's the, the champ doesn't mean he won everything. But it doesn't mean he's incompetent. That is true. So he's very competent in the game, because you may be watching some of the just a little bit more. And looks like Scarlet's starting to pick up that rhythm that Amazing Mare's been putting out exactly. with Launcher. But once again, to Amazing Mare knowing Launcher's tools in order to get that space reset and forcing Scarlet to come back in. Here's jump over, but uh, here we go. How are we going to extend this? going to get the big for Oh, she's dropping. So we got to drop this, this match much closer. Let's see if Amazing Mare can hold off Scarlet really quickly. Scarlet with a nice dash in. Mix up to start that off. Uh, and a drop. And that might be it because I think Launcher can confirm from Super. Nope. Oh, oh my lord. What? There we go. Very clutch W from Amazing Mare. Getting. I think Scarlet just got a little bit antsy right there. Probably could have held ground and just just walked just a bit and then found a different opening. But yeah, Scarlet, didn't work out. Scarlet has been showing his ability to get in on Mare and know the timing and pacing of things. But like you said, it's a little bit too antsy in that last round. Exactly. The added the, the add up ability. Go Here we go. Exhaustion on Swift way. Master. Let's see what we can do, man. Right. Scarlet just looking for the answers. He will adjust as we saw him in the last round. But right now, Amazing Mare making adjustments to the adjustments and using that corner pressure heavily. Mare has been in exhaustion for about 15 seconds right now, and it has not made a difference. No, not at all. That he, I'm exhausted, but you still can't handle it. Yeah, That's he, exactly what it is. Catch his tired hand. All right, good tornado. Oh. Hey. Yo! Wake up, grab. I love it. All right, but I think respect you, but I don't know. Here with Super, right? I believe so, but oh. it, there's a drop, and it looks like Scarlet will finish this off. Amazing comeback if he can do it. I know, Scarlet's been dropping these. Oh, my lord. Oh, no, Mare, this is our rarest opportunity. Just patience. There Mare, we go. Yo, we are coming within a pixel. Scarlet dropping that nail biter as he almost came back after it looked seemingly impossible for him. And I think uh, Scarlet is actually trying to milk that orb because he can launch a tornado, an empowered tornado from that, right? Yeah, I believe so. That might be what he was going for, but. At this point, you have to get finished. Yeah, you gotta. Sometimes you gotta optimize. You go for simple BNB instead of trying to squeeze out full optimization. Exactly. And in this case, it's best of three. So if Amazing Mare wins this match, there is no other chance for Scarlet to come back. He has to win this, and it's not looking good. Ooh, not at all. A huge life lead. And are we gonna see some stylish from Mare? Or do you think Mare's gonna wrap it up clean like that? It's clean. There's definitely a, a gap in skill, but as Scarlet showed, he could have won that. He really could have. He just had to play at his best the whole time, and that's just the difference in somebody that plays it that much in Amazing Mare. So, awesome start right there for the Bandits, as we said, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm still just amazed at the the simple mastery of it. If you looked at a lot of Mare's buttons, it was keep away, keep away, bait the jump in, command grab, reset and then going in and then a couple of jump-ins too where scarlet might have gotten ready for a reset on the ranged poke nah mare's like i'm gonna bring it to you and then when i throw you down again i'll reset the distance exactly and mare doing an excellent job of using those lows to throw into the mix-up so not only was mare using those lows it's also just mixing them up to go with it so scarlet really didn't know where to block awesome start for the bandits 
That's exactly what we were talking about to start this. Yes, the Reapers are our favorite here, but that's what I was trying to get at. The Bandit's game plan is to beat them in as many fighters as possible and catch them in some sports games, and maybe even Overwatch from what I've heard. Well, we got uh, Robot Overwatch coming up now, so... Hey, I do love me some Robot Overwatch. Yeah, I love over <laughs> Robot Overwatch. It's a great game. I yeah. love the uh, Robot Mer Mercy. Yeah, Robot Mercy. Robot Mercy. No, that's <laughs> Gundam Evo. <laughs> Gundam Evo, right? Yes, sir. I'm so happy that this game got added to the wheel this past season. I never been a fan of playing Overwatch. I enjoy watching it, and the fact that this game came out and it was added to the wheel, I think is a really great option for people who just don't like Overwatch at all to be able to see it from another light. And that information, that kind of playstyle knowledge, does transfer over piece by piece. So there's some people who only play Evo. Granted, not so much in the league in particular, but in general. But see this, and then let's go to Overwatch and have a nice little. What's the word I'm trying to find? Similarities or yeah, exactly. translation of information. Bingo. It's kind of the same way going from Titanfall to Apex, right? Like there's just some things that carry over in terms of knowledge because the lures are fairly similar. And in, well, not the lore. I'm not, that's the story. I'm saying the gameplay. The mechanics. Right? The mechanics of the game. So Gundam Evo, I've loved it since it's been added. I love the movement of the mecha. It feels authentic to anybody who has seen Gundam. And I think it's, it's one of the games where it's heavily... Yes, it's a shooter, but it is strategy. There's a lot of strategy that goes into the way we play here at UEO because you have to make sure that the lineups are matched up. And in this case, what are we thinking? Uh, I'm thinking for the Bandits, uh, Lovejoy, Painful Boar, Magna, and Rocket. So I think Rocket is either a flex pick for them to keep Luchisama up for next round and same for Pokestar. But I think everybody else I mentioned does have some depth in Evo, whether it's just out of basic functionality or actual choice. Yeah, and for sure, for sure. Now, that being said, you got to think, who would the Bandits want to anchor in for what? They don't have – that might be one of the things that they're lagging. They, they don't have a strong enough anchor with this rotation to say, hey, I'm going to hold this person up for this game. So everybody's really up up at play. Now, so you do have a couple games here where it's like Pokestar for MK11 that – it's going to be a tough matchup. They don't necessarily have a racer either. So in this case, it really just comes down to game knowledge. That's the one benefit to the Bandits making decisions when it comes to playing these games, believe it or not, is the fact that they don't necessarily always have that anchor for some of these games. And that just kind of proves to you how different the UEL is compared to other sports because, like you said, they don't have that guaranteed anchor. So the Bandits are really embracing that. It's like, hey, who feels the most comfortable with what's left on the wheel right now? All right, it's you. Cool. We're going to set you off for this one and we'll come back to you next time around. And the bandits had that flexibility because one, they're still growing. And two, they flex, flex, back to flexibility. I'm sounding like a broken record already. They just able to come back to who feels the most confident on being able to kind of just wiggle their way through things. Yeah. And it's, that's not a bad thing by any stretch of the imagination. And right here, I think the Reapers are going to leave out. Oh, so cheesy. If, if I had to guess, but I may be wrong there. So I think they'll leave out. Oh, so cheesy. No, as a matter of fact, they're going in and, now that I'm looking at it, that makes sense. Having Hollywood. Yeah, I, 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 I get behind this because Hollywood does have a very large mastery of the wheel. Pokestar's mastery might not be as higher as Hollywood's. So with that being said, I think Hollywood being the anchor is a better option. And two, as a player and the way he carries himself, nobody wants to be on that matchup this early in the matchup. Because if Hollywood, if the, if the Reapers win this, Hollywood's going to be talking the entire time as is. Yeah, you know, and I think what it is is the rest of the team fits slots together so well as a team. Hollywood does have a few of the racers under his belt as well, like F1M and I believe MotoGP. So and CTR, he will not stop talking about how much he loves CTR. Exactly, we know that he comes in with the CTR shirt itself, rocking it, repping it. Definitely top four, top three, top five, somewhere in that range. I'd say that three to five CTR players in the league. So we know that he can be used there as an anchor, and they're they're tr they're looking ahead. To me, what this tells me is that the Reapers are pretty confident in the lineup that they sent in, and they just want to hold Hollywood in case UFC or something along the lines of that would roll up that he can play because he has a good mastery. But they could have gone with the Cat. Cat also has a good number of 1v1 games that he just knows how to play. When's the last time the Cat was actually active for a match? That's the next thing. I want to say it was against us, the Raiders. And how long ago was that? Like two, three weeks? A bad memory. Ooh. Let's say four. So that's why it makes sense with the pick in general. Hollywood's been here constantly. Like you said, Cat's been able to have, take care of school and things like that. So having him back and getting him in on the first match that he feels comfortable with, let him go ahead and get right back into it and set a tone for the rest of the team. Oh, we got Madden next? 
Yes. Oh. That's going to be an interesting one because Pokestar has to go in. And that's why I was saying they don't necessarily have an anchor per se. So they're more than likely going to throw Luchi Sama in there. Now, see, for next rotation, that's going to make it a lot trickier because now you're down a couple fighting game players. Because, well, one really in Luchi Sama. So that could hurt. But right here, we are getting Gundam started. Bro, I'm excited. Robots with guns. Explosion. We are get going in. Oh, hi. Well, hello. <laughs> Have you ever been shocked to see yourself? Every morning when I wake up and look in the mirror. You know what? That You might want to fix that. Go get some. I believe they call that psych help. Or cardio. I think it's cardio. Cardio. All right. Well, yeah, as an average gym goer, I don't know how that works, but I am going to sign up for it. I'll click that button 10 times out of 10. <laughs> So it looks like we're back in game right now, and we got the Reapers on. Let's see who that is on red. That side. Yep, we got uh, Reapers on red side, and we got Bandits on blue, and we are on who is on this right here. Can't tell right now on exact player names, but right now we're taking uh, Hades Gundam doing some things. I can't remember. I can't remember half the mobile suits names like. It's it's, it's so many. that's a Barbados. Oh. It's so many, and that's what's so awesome. Like the versatility that comes with the game. Usually we do see Asasuke or something along the lines. You know they have anchor characters, but the way you decide to play afterwards, it's completely up to your team, in which method you choose. It's interesting seeing how. So who's attacking right now? Is that the? Uh, oh no, so it's a point battle. So everybody's yes. going for it. Cool. So we got Dom, the tank turret, uh, Zazabi. Uh, looks like Barbados, and then the mobile suit that utilizes the uh, Haiti system. So that's a little bit more of an aggressive hold team with Barbados being a rover who tries to isolate. And then for the – who is that? I can't see what it is. I don't like not seeing Dom or somebody who can hold zone control on the bandits right now. I might be wrong on that information, but – well, this this is one of those games where it, the Reapers have been pretty strong in Gundam. Like, really? Make no mistake about it. Yeah, they, they've been playing very well. Now, see, some would argue that they're strong. Oh, watch this. That translates over. So a lot of the carryover and a lot of the mechanics are fairly similar, close enough to where it makes a number of difference. So I fully expect the Reapers to have a more fleshed out strategy just from playing it more. And that was a good down on Barbados just now. But you, it's looking like... Yeah, unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but looks like, the, like you said, the Reapers are holding the point right now at 46% compared to the Bandit Zero. The Bandits are getting some good elims, but not good enough to actually get on the points, and that's um, Hades, gun, uh, Hades, made, uh, Hades Mobile Suit down. And there we go. Now the Bandits finally being able to make a strong enough push to challenge the Reapers. Really, Reapers getting them out of sort just a little bit, but it looks like they're gaining control right back. But here we go. It's it's hotly contested at this point. We've got a little bit of over three minutes, 30 seconds left in this particular match of Gundam for point battle and Reapers regaining control. And like I said earlier about that Barbados pick, you saw him come through and just start cleaning up the bandits on the outside while the rest of the team sat up high with one, one other person on the edge of the zone behind cover or able to rotate out of cover. Out of cover. Once, Once again, Barbados assassination. Right. right. And Gundam Evil, one of those games that you 100% have to be paying attention at all times because you can switch you can switch mechas in the middle and you can counter so your opponent can do the same so when you see that you need to be able to recognize it on the fly and that is the hallmark of a great gundam team now can the bandits push right now the, that was that was an ace on, on the bandits by the reapers getting uh that wave of kills with the uh, late respawn he's waiting for the rest of the team to come up but whew, and as you see right now, Dom's dropping mines to control space, and that's one of the things when you have an enemy Barbados rolling around who's only a me melee mobile suit with high mobility, low health, you start cutting off some of those side routes with using a mobile suit that has range ability or area denial abilities, excuse me. So I think with the bandits not making that adjustment, that's going to cause them a lot of issues, and it, it's more evident more and more the score goes up. Here we go. This push. Let's see what we're now. We're on the healer right now. Somebody from up high coming through, backing up. Excellent I capture from the Reapers, making quick work and example. I think they're going to lock this one up pretty soon. 100%. They're doing, they're doing the right thing. If you notice the Dom mines all over the point, once again, that's something 
the bandits needed to try and adapt with getting the mines up on their side of the sp- on the reaper side of the spawn to try and slow them down and get it set up. But the reapers are just it's textbook capture the flag or domination, if you will. They're going in, they're pushing forward, and then having people drop and holding the point. And Barbados, I think, is going to be the MVP of this match, just the amount of eliminations and the clean way he's been dealing with those one offs and those people sitting too close to the point, waiting for the rest of the team to respond. Wow, that was round one. That was only round one. Yes, sir. Ooh, they got they they got to they got to do this again for another four or five minutes. Yes, sir. Can oh. the bandits match? I think there needs to be some adjustments on how they're playing and some of the uh, mobile suit options. I think Zasabi would be a good choice. Dom for sure. I would like to see Unicorn gun them so they can try and put some heavy range down to deal with the Reapers and their heavy front with the chisels they've been making. And it looks like the cat over there trying to make an example, some sort of spectacle. He has a Trolls jersey on. He has a... Tr- Turns out you can't use Unicorn, but speaking of Trolls, what's, uh, what's Cat doing? I don't know. I, I think... I think he's trying to make a statement. I mean, trolls troll. Maybe he's trolling, right? Inside their troll uniform. Uh, the man's been gone for a little bit, decided to come back and just be that guy. Now, he's been gone, but he hasn't really been gone. This man's been active. Anybody that knows within the league circles, he's been very active in uh in the talk and that talk. So he was saying something about having this trolls on, and now he's pulling it off right here and doing it casually. If he's really been gone, then I don't think the Reapers would be performing that well in this game. Now, would they? That is true. When I say gone, I don't necessarily mean out of presence or completely lacking presence. All right, you know what? English is hard today. Don't bother me. Uh, yeah, cat just. Yeah, cat. He's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the cat. I do cool stuff. <laughs> All right, that's cool. I mean, uh, that's one way to bring it back around. Uh, <laughs> oh, she's getting some contests. So right now, it's looking like it's in the Reaper's favor again. They have a squad wipe in activity right now reapers on point once more making sweet quick work if they get to 40 percent, they will win because there is no way that the bandits could statistically overcome that thus giving them the win can the bandits come out 2-0 with a stunning comeback here in gundam evo it's going to be tough because to hold them off for five minutes after what we've seen so far uh, it's not looking too good, and right now Barbados is pushing into a two v one, and then getting kited backwards, and Barbados is down. We've got to rotate with the sniper mobile suit. I don't think they have it. It's just the cohesion of the Reapers, the thought process, and the built-in contingencies. If you notice, any time one of the Reapers members get downed and destroyed, the team rotates in that direction. So they're always getting a refrag, and when the bandits are trying to push any of their downs or kills, they're met by plus two reapers, meaning two more reapers than what was already there. So I think this is just going to be a uh, a GG for the reapers, and they pick it up, and we go into Madden with it being 1-1. Now, we do see here that they were the bandits managed to get a little bit of percentage again on, so who knows? Maybe they can clear this target right here and – Really make a strong push, but right now they are down 5 2, 5 1. Now 4 1, but it's not looking good. They've got a second, third mecha back in operation, but they, now they have to push the point extra hard. And it's in contest. Let's see what they can do here. The Bandit's losing that control again. Now we're heading to 65%. What is this? The road to redemption or the road to victory, right? Yes and no. Reaper's looking to make this 1 1, right? Yes, and definitely. One of the most underrated players. I say it all the time. Ricky Saka. He's too good. Really? Like, I'm not saying he's carrying through this per se, but you're going to notice a common theme throughout all these team games with Ricky. I mean, Cheesy said it right, right before. Like, he's underrated. He's young, and he's only going to get better. And that's one of the great things about this league and having young players. It's like, Naturally, younger players and younger people in general have better reflexes in certain things, but their ability to absorb knowledge and adjust and work with people is huge. And if he, the team gels as good as they say he do, they do, that means he's in there learning twice as fast because he really enjoys the people he's with, and he enjoys winning. So, I'm saying, though, now, right here, we're going for another unlock. It looks like the Reapers are sitting here patrolling the 
outsides of this point looking to take over. The Bandits won't be able to make a strong enough push there, just now getting some of their mechas back in. But they did manage to extend this. They did manage to extend it, but if you notice on how the Bandits Barbados is playing compared to the Reapers Barbados, is the Reapers Barbados is playing nothing but perimeter of the point, whereas the Bandits is having Barbados on point, and when six people with guns turn around and see a guy with a knife, he's not getting anywhere. So that's one thing I think the Bandits need to adjust moving forward. Yeah, now see, it's it's interesting. This could be a precursor to some of these other team games, and this is this is where the Reapers are looking to make their hay, right? They are the favorites here, and it's because of the chemistry that they have between the team. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these team games, they just know how to play with each other, and I think that's what the difference is right here. Well, so we are in extra, extra time. time. I mean, that's, that meter didn't exist pretty much. It was just there for decoration. Oh, I mean, it looked nice. Yeah, everybody loves gold, right? I had a great time. Yeah, great time. Yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend again. I'll be back. Yeah, I'm, I'm here for the Trolls Meow. Well, I'm here for Madden. This. Yeah, see, like, this, this is going to be interesting. Now, Hollywood does play Madden to some extent. Now, to me, the obvious pick is to go with Oh So Cheesy here, as he is their main sports guy. He is a Madden player, but he's shown in the past that he does have the propensity to be a little costly in this situation when it comes to Madden. He, he plays a risky game. I mean, if you're a member of the Reapers, from what I've seen, it's always go big, go big. We're not going home. You are. So I can see him potentially causing an issue. But I think with the fact that Hollywood as a coach and as a leader in the team and him going into the game with those cheesy, that's the route they go. He's going to nip that in the butt immediately. Like, nah, my man, we playing, we playing UEL, not Madden right now. Let's go ahead and scale that back and let's ground and pound it, run the clock, get some easy points, keep it moving. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to try and run the clock out because they are the better team here, right? So they could go one of two two ways. They could be either going to play as many games as possible or as little games as possible because they know that there's no way that the Bandits would probably catch up. So I don't know if they'll play clock this early. I think they're just going to play for the win. So whatever works, works. In this case, though, the Bandits, Pokestar has to go in. They're probably rolling with Luchisama here. I agree because I don't think anybody else on the team is really in the mad. I know they do have sports players – sprinkled across the team but not so much a multiple a multitude of madden players right and that's the role that luchi has been trying to fill in for them he's been picking up a lot of the sports games he is very good so believe it or not i think this is actually a, a almost a 50 50 matchup here but luchi has the same thing he plays a risky game where i, I will say though also cheesy has very good knowledge like football knowledge like actual football knowledge so it translates well into the game so mm -hmm. whatever team he uses he plays them like they're in real life so it's gonna test. The, it's gonna test not only the Madden knowledge, but your your, your sports knowledge, their exactly. NFL knowledge, and that's a huge thing. I notice a lot of teams don't really have. They just look and see who's the highest rated and pick them, and then it's like people pick the 49ers and try and throw the ball to a receiver. That's yeah. not Debo Samuel or Christian McCaffrey or George Kittle with Brock Purdy, and I believe that's who Cheesy's gonna go with. Ooh, yeah, Brock Purdy absolutely dominated when he came into the league. I know we're talking NFL, but. Knowing your team makes a huge difference. It's like people picking the Ravens or like lockdown picking the Titans and trying to throw the ball with Ryan, Ryan Tannehill. It's Middlehill. Well, that's why I said Tannehill. Put some respect on his name. He's been around a lot longer than you think. But lockdown clearly didn't understand what he does. And with no A.J. Brown as well. They were suffering at wide receiver. So clearly not being able to Ooh. do his – oh, wow. Rocket and Pocus? Is, is, is this what I'm seeing here? Does Rocket play Madden? Now, see, when I said that they've been labbing, I've been seeing Rocket and Lucci lab. I was just under the impression that Lucci was the better Madden player. But it looks like Rocket Zero is going to step up to the plate. I don't believe I've seen him play Madden in competition just yet. That's why I was leaning with Lucci. So this is going to be very interesting. So this – now, see, what will hmm, – how can I put this? Pokestar's strengths are not necessarily in – sports games just yet however he has been thrust into situations where he had he's had to play Madden, so i know he's familiar the problem that they're going to run into here is the fact that cheesy and hollywood since madden is 2v2 here at uel and the way we play it are going to have a little bit more chemistry because they both play the game at a higher clip so really i'm edging towards the reapers but i think rocket might be able to surprise us here with some of his knowledge yeah, because like you said, maybe the fact that Lucci has been picking up all these uh, sports games, but now the team has recognized it, or Rex has recognized it. They're like, hey, Lucci, now that you got this, all this information underneath your belt, start handing it out and start breaking it up across the team. 
so then we have competent players across the board. And who knows? Now that the Bandits are here in the playoffs, this Rocket Zero pick has been something that's been in the works for some time, and now it's time that we really need to go and break it out and have Lucci in the wings just in case something else comes out that he actually plays really well. Right, and this goes back to Rex coaching himself. He has been laughing at him. So he's been teaching. An interesting pick in the Green Bay Packers. I like that. They did have a solid defense. De decent enough in this situation. Let's find out what we're playing next. The veteran Shelby kicker, Mason out. Crosby, set to do the honors here. And we Ooh, CTR coming up next, play. and Hollywood's not in rotation for that. So. Believe it or not, that isn't necessarily the worst-case scenario for the Reapers because they do still have the pat. They have started to have players over there that have been riding. They're, they're, they're pretty decent, so it's still not going to be a game. But right now, we've got that game. But we'll get that game audio rolling up for you guys in just a moment. Every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. I mean, if you, if you can't imagine the crowd, you can lose my mind. I will be talking all the way through this. Oh, yes, I love this one. <laughs> We saw the collegiate level and lined up two in the backfield. Yep, I, for, I formation. Here in the NFL. There we go. Bouncing McCaffrey out to the outside. Big tackle to be made here. Good stop the from the Bandits. Rex over there coaching. Have the focus star in. Let's see. Good start for the Bandits so far. Not a bad outcut, but they did have a lane right up the middle. Thinking that that's what he's going to do. This is really hard right now. Yes, I'm interested to see like how they do this because I didn't know Green Bay's defense was rated that high. Granted, they've lost a lot of the games. And also, didn't they get sunned by the 49ers? Yeah, but that was more of a Rodgers thing, right? That wasn't the, the defense. And an inaccurate throw right there. Had the wide receiver for wide open going, running the post route. Play action type of defense. I can't imagine that would be the last right there. Not a bad call from the formation, as this is what they would do. They operate mostly out of here. Little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up Which on again, a third Steve's and 11. Bootleg or jet sweep, they do have really power nope. There we go, Mc Brendan McCaffrey out. Oh, and a big stop right there for the Bandits. Rocket Zero reading the play. Also, Cheesy doing a little bit too much play action. Tough to get that established when you've only run it once and for negative one yards. Now, see, Madden isn't a foolish game this season. They will adapt. The computers will also help them adapt. So right here. Trying to get a running start on the on the kickoff. A little bit of cheese right there against Oso oh Cheesy, right? A little bit, a little bit. A little bit. That tells me that Rockets are playing. That's, that is a risky strategy. I don't play that. Because if you get it going, it, it punishes because you got the defense set and you're able to get that full speed run. You can just start running downhill. And if you get a one on one situation coming across the 40 or the 50, I remember watching him in college. Lay him out. That's straight to the end zone. Yeah, exactly. And that's the thing. Like, because the, the defender, the gunners are going towards the ball, not the individual. So that's something that you know, players look to take advantage of. Right here, we've got the running back wide open and a complete and total miss. Big ball, but Tungin, it's still the field. No, Tungin don't move like that. I see you. I see you. Interesting. We had RB wide open going down the seam to uh, against less traffic. That could have been a touchdown. Not necessarily a bad play. Made something happen. Rocket Zero playing super safe right there, not rushing it. I think he didn't want to throw it to Pokestar. I think that's what it was. And that could just be something like you said, one of those uh, team co uh, cohesion things that they're building on. Another thing is too is like why take the big risk? We need to just keep things safe. There we go. Pokestar right up the middle. Getting a good three yard gain. Not bad. Aaron Jones in the background. Uh, backfield, sorry. Good play call. Probably going with spacing here. Something short, easy. Let's see if they can make the adjustments. Another run play. Going straight up. Hit that eight. Right. It, it was 4 2, so that's good right here. Third and five. Very manageable. Opens up a lot more of the playbook for Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. They're going to even get that one. There we go, right there, right back to Tunyon, right under, not pushing anything too hard down the field. Now, looks like we got Hollywood with the Gorillas jersey on too. What is, what's going on with the, with the Reapers? Hollywood, man. If it's not a spectacle, it ain't Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? out here, cats back and running around. They are here to be as toxic as possible. That's my super goal, Hollywood. There we go. Right here, just completely beating it right down to the Tunyon, using that mesh spot. Something super safe. Nice coaching from Rex right there. Rocket Zero showing that he's been in the lab and understands some of these concepts, right? I think he played O-line, D-line. Rocket? 
I'm gonna say D line. D line. Yeah. Looks adjust. Oh, looks like he can think on the line. Uh, think on the fly. Got big, strong arms. I think he just ran people over. Pancake people. Hey man, pancakes. I could go for some. Yo, shout out to IHOP. Let's go. Yes, sir, IHOP. But uh, it's kind of interesting seeing how pivotal Tunyon is for the offense right now for the Bandits because that man gets beat up and bullied 90% of the time naturally. So it's nice to see Bob get the ball a lot. There we go. Nobody's quite open in this situation, so let's see if he can throw it away. That's what I would do. I would have thrown it away. Taking a one-yard loss, not necessarily the worst. Now, very interesting. There, he's running the 49ers in a 3-4 defense. And man, it's tough like, in these passing situations to use those four linebackers because you do lose a little bit off the edge. Could this possibly be an error on? There we go. Oh, that was a tough one. That was a tough one. Now, I would have set my feet before I threw that pass and probably would have got home picking up that three yards. Let's see if Rocket can do it. As we know, once you get closer to that end zone, it's tough. We're basically in red zone territory. And I agree with that play because, once again, injuries are off. I would have just planted my feet and let Rodgers just get blasted and get that ball out on after time, on time perfectly. Let's see what happens. We got Randall Cobb. Ooh, okay. Big Bob Oh, that's a tough one. That's in the first down. Look, that was risky. That could have been a turnover. We've got a five out right here with the wide receivers lined up. Could be a best spot. Whoa. Look at that. Rocket Zero with the quick adjustments. Said you don't have time. That was amazing. I see veins and navels getting momentum. Is rolling towards Greenberg right now. Great offensive set right now. Great possession. Eight up. What was that? Uh, two and a half minutes o'clock. Oh, no. my Lord. No. No. Oh, you, oh, oh. My, you are disrespectful. I, I, Yo. If they would have made that. The Bandits came to play today. The, ga the gamble was there. They had one wide open. I think if I think if they had actually brought back, if, I don't know if the play is designed for it, but if that uh, second receiver had came back further to block, I think that gives the kicker a chance to plant. And any quarterback like a 30 or higher would have made that pass. I see I some strategy here getting out to 28. Short didn't want any run back. And let's not forget the Bandits did start on defense, meaning they're going to get the ball back if they can get a quick stop here. They're going to get the ball back to start half, I should say. I think if I were to banish and I wasn't getting the stop, I would use the rest of the second half to eat up the clock and then get a quick score and then take over right at the beginning of the next half. Let's see right here. All right, Chris McGaffrey. All right, that's a big game. This could be a touchdown. Oh, my God. Duking a little bit too early, but I understand. Now. I, I, I personally kept that going to the sideline because going for a sideline break and then a cutback would have given them some more yards and pitch. That's, that's a big answer. Now, see, I think this shows cheesy right here that Rocket can play and do not take them lightly. Right here, and Rocket's controlling the safety, patrolling the deep, but there's a wide open receiver. It's Debo Samuel down the corner, running wide open. She's just saying, nah, we're going to air this out. We're not playing no more. I'm not taking you any, any lightly. And Excellent response from the Reaper. This is where one of the most awesome ones of Poker Star is where he does have some knowledge of the game, but if you don't have a dependable secondary to hang over back in like that. There we go. Looking like McCaffrey almost gets in the end zone here. At this point, with this momentum, I almost let him score so that we can get the ball back, knowing we get it back at half. Yep. Just let him, just let him. But with a big goal line stop, I'd call that timeout right here. Don't let any more time go down. They can only run one, one or two more plays that you ensure that you get the ball back. Let's see what Rex is thinking. Yes, Rex is going to have a clock on them. The issue is, though, they're down that one, that, they're down that PAT attempt. So the Reaper scored seven and then holding the rest of the game. See, and cheesing. Oh, my God, just big whips. And somehow don't capitalize. Both teams making huge errors. You see, that timeout would have been. Now, see, Cheesy is not playing smart either because instead of milking the clock set, there's absolutely no chance. He's just running. Neither team using a timeout. Very curious here. I can understand the bandit side of it, where they're guaranteed to get the ball net back and only be technically down by one. But at the same time, like you said, like yeah, if you can limit it to two plays, you could have you could have gotten it to 50 seconds and had a chance to go down the field. So that's just that that right there's a close scenario. Going for two was was a big move, and it might bite them back here now. And that's not a miss. That should be good. But they sure made it close. Yeah. So the Reapers with a big time response in Madden. 
right here going into the second half, assuming, right? We do get a kickoff here. Yep. I don't think we're going to see a touchdown. If we do, so it'll be on some nuts speak, behavior. You've seen wilder things happen, and it's going to be interesting to see how they feel. Keep so they are going to take it out there. Oh, oh, no, no. no. Whoa, watch the block to the back. Hello. What the heck? Yo. Rock. Speed Central. That was Rocket. smart. I'm not gonna lie. I, I think it was they were, risky. They were one defender away from breaking that, in my opinion. One what this what this tells me right here is they they don't care. They're swinging. They're going out. It's hard. it's winner go home, and the bandits understand that if they do not take every risk possible, they could be sent home. And I agree with it. Fight for your right. You have Cobb wide open. Oh my, oh my lord! God. Can he break? Yeah, Cobb! Whoa, Cobb sprung. Breathe late into that play. I feel like Rocket was kind of winging it there, and then he was like, Wait a second, he saw what I saw, and he chucked that right down the field. If they had timeouts, oh, you mean if they had uh, used those timeouts and had more time? Yeah, yeah, that I'm, pass I'm the I'm pass extra hard right now. I'm like, <laughs> that, That's a field goal right there. So, this is one of the ones where if the bandits manage to drop this, you can look back on the coach and Rex, I will be having a little bit. Yeah, Rex is going to get took out. Yeah. I'm, I'm putting it on the list. You think he's playing. He really has a list. <laughs> and bringing it right back out, showing a ton of confidence. Wow. No, no, no. He did it again. No. He did it again. Yo. The meta. The cojones on this man. Now, I love it. Shout out to Pokerstar because that's instruction. I was about to say he's not using him as a blocker. Watson, he sits for, look right here on the replay for you guys right here. Oh, sitting right back there just waiting, knowing that they're going to suck all the defenders in. Pokerstar taking great instruction right past the 50-yard line. Can they capitalize? That's a tough one running. Good job. Good job. We are game though, and after back to back, back, to back reckless. laterals, reckless, and the and the le the timing on that while before getting as we were getting tackled, the perfectly timed that, and it came with the yards on it, and that time they actually had blockers. Going into hurry up right here, big hole down the middle, couldn't quite make the cut to capitalize, but not a bad move at all, putting it at third and one. The Bandits running that hurry up offense. I like it. And they're doing it quick too. They're in different formations. This is somebody who plays mad. Rocket Zero, we see you out here. And that's a freebie. Oh, just four progress. Four progress. Yeah, I know, but like at that point, you want to kind of cut up field. I know what he was going for. But Rocket showing great command here. It definitely should have played a little bit safer with that go going for two, but hey, I'm not mad at it. I mean, if you're moving down the field like this and making plays like that, I think you might have earned the confidence to try and do that. Would I do it again at this point? No. Right here, running right down the middle again. Set, I see a hole in your defense. Guarantee you either get a play action or just a straight up pass right here. I actually see Hollywood or Chief Hoover. Yep, on the line. Start Audible, running. yep. There we go. Let's cover a hole. They probably won't cover a Going right back to the run. They said, yo, we see the hole, and they're, they're going to keep abusing it. Let's, interesting here. Let's see if they put in A.J. Dillon and run it again. It looks like they are. I would actually go for a uh, call the timeout. Oh, it's quarter end. No, it is quarter end, and I think I see what the Bandits are doing here. They're hoping to milk the clock a little bit here. If they can get this first down, that's going to go a long way. And they got they that advantage again, so that buff is going to be huge going into these next federal uh, plays. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's cunning for a potential touchdown play here. Yeah, I mean, see, they, they ran it three times. And Fearless. Fearless. That was smart. They went and shuffled the place to make it look like they were picking a pass play. Knowing that now Cheesy has to adjust because he's running that 3-4. So in this situation, if you got a team that's running the ball a lot, you probably want to go 4-3. Now you're calling all your blitzes, all your attack defense. See what happens. But you're not worried about no. playing your normal position. So you're going to take chances. Slot, snap. Two third down opportunities to get off the field. Couldn't do and I believe we have a question. Five yards is we have a question. The bandit. Good yards uh, down, first down, Wait, what? Are we back? We are back. No way. Forgive us. At this point. Wow. Now it's extra interesting. Because then. That means that Cheesy's been running. I was, I was about to say, this is a big improvement. So I, I see what's going on here. Now I understand what he was doing. Those were definitely Cheese type punt returns. Cheese technology, cheese tech. And then it explains the cheese head because he went Packers. Now, see, that's just all nice for being a little slow, but that's a big stop right there. Fourth and one. 
Will we get a timeout here? Will they go for it? Is it a run? What is happening? Big decision right here for the Reapers. They're already down one. Cheesy doing one of the riskier things. And like I said, he's, he's, a, he's a risky player. Now the Packers calling the timeout. Not understanding quite why just yet, but we're going to find out. Really, a field goal takes the lead, and I would I would take my chances right there. I would just get my field goal yep, looks like and, and be happy with it. On the field right now. So there is a chance since it's a, a fourth and one that we do see a fake, uh, fake kick because it is oh so cheesy. Oh, never mind. Looks like they're going for it. No, they're definitely going for it, and it's interesting for the formation's sake. Uh, That's a first. Yeah, four progress to get in the first round. Oh, my Lord. That's a fake. They removed that a stop. Oh, that right there. Now, there's one thing you have to do. Run the ball, get a first down, and this is over, and we have the bandits actually. Yo. Just take the field goal. That And this is what I say going into it, right? And look at this. Big run right here. They call the timeout. We're going to get another run. If this is a first down, this is GG's. Yep, because they can just kneel out. They'll get the clock between the one plays and that. This is another example here. You yell, do not take those risks if, unless you're going to have it. Like, make sure you are going to score. Make sure. In this case, don't understand what it is. McCaffrey right there. Oh, close to a horse collar. Third and two. They call that timeout. I'm running it again. I'm, I'm going to burn that as much time as possible. And if we get the first down, it is a wrap and Rex coaching them to a W if, if that's the case. Running a draw play, and I did not like that play called there. You just got to go straight, right? Like, they're going to predict run to make sure. It, so right there, it's either you pass it or you keep it moving. But run that clock all the way down. Should leave them with about 14, 15 seconds. They're going to run that same cheese right there. You see those, uh, sorry, the returners going right back into formation. I would kick this one out of bounds. Or back towards the corner. Yeah, I would try and pin him. Just had the ball drop just inside the uh, field around like the 30 or 40. Honestly, just bounce back. Honestly, I'll take a delay a game. Yeah. Yeah. Close to taking a delay a game. That'll leave him with just one remaining in the score. Use everything. Here comes the 49ers punter now. Yeah. Got them going back for the second time because they're looking for that pitch play. They don't have timeouts. That's exactly what I would have done. Good punt. Hopefully it takes a good bounce. There we go. And not yeah. able to get a read on it. Yep. We are looking at a Aaron Rodgers Hail Mary situation here. Craig. Man, he came out of his darkness retreat. Hopefully his mental powers in real life transferred into the game and he can make this throw. Now, if Cheesy if Cheesy dropped this, drops this one, we heard him talking before and said he has a reckless play style as one of these sports game players. And last time I checked, he went for two. It was open, but he missed. You can't miss. The Packer oh, they're in a prevent. I would drop my line, <laughs> my defensive the lineman defense all the way in the coverage. I wouldn't even rush him. We have Tanya going right down the field. That should be a pick. Get, uh, ooh, they've got chance for one more play. What a way to, what a way to start this off, huh? It's kind of crazy. They're like, yeah, man, look at how they're doing. Together. And then we had it back. This so it's immediately changed the entire dynamic of how we're calling it. How we're calling it. Right, let's find out right here. I'm dropping everybody back in coverage. Prevents or prevents. Running the screen, trying to get something big going. They're going to run some laterals, and there's nothing there. The bandits coming away. 2 1 right over here to start. And no Hollywood. For CTR. No, no. Actually, they will have him for CTR. I'm sorry. He's back in rotation. So he's he's good. He's good for oh, yeah, CTR. Because... Right here, if I'm if I'm the bandits, I'm forfeiting. I'm forfeiting. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm forfeiting because why? Why would I? We we just came back with a bunch of momentum. We we stole a win from the Reapers, right? They were the well. It was actually they sold them that win. That look, don't get me wrong. The Bandits played great, but that should have been the tie game. But like you said, Cheesy got greedy and gave up the dub. You know what? You know what? The Bandits. The Last bandits, time I checked, I see the scoreboard. Yeah, true that. True That's that. That's just two one. Yep, you right. You right. I don't know who stole what from who. But it ain't getting returned. Yep. <laughs> it's because I got a receipt. That's that's pitch pocketed. And with that, shoot, I can't wait. I can't wait. I know we're gonna. I know we're probably gonna talk to Rocket or Rex. I want to hear either one because that was just that was that was awesome. That was clean. That's football. not what we were expecting, and that's being in the lab. Shout out to the Bandits for coming out and starting off two one right here, getting BNF and Madden out the way. Rocket just 
came out of nowhere. And I think we might be talking to Rocket here in a second. So I look forward to hearing him talking about what he's been working on in that gameplay. So here we got, we got an interview for you right now. OG Juki, and I got a special guest joining with me today. My name is Raven, and we are here with Mr. Rockets. And before we get to you, Rocket, those of you at home, don't forget to share, like, subscribe, become a part of the UEL family so you can be notified, you know, we can grow much larger and do bigger things. Appreciate y'all for joining us. Yes, sir. But sure. back to you, my brother. Come on now. Now, you were able to pull off a dub against Hollywood. Yeah. That's got to feel kind of big. He he was playing with his food. Yeah. And, and, and the hyenas came and snatched it right on up. The lion got his food, food, food pill foot in the jungle. How you feeling, man? Feeling great. Yeah, he said, you're trash, you're trash. I just kept a straight face. I knew we were going to take the dub. All I'm saying is, he called himself Hollywood, but all I see is Billboard sign. Yo! That's all, That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I got a question for you, man. So yeah. you guys were pretty much uh, down on all the way until the end of the second half, uh, pulling it off right there. So how how'd you manage to, to build from that pressure and just pull forward? Uh, what we did was we just regroup. Um, what Rex was telling me, just keep calm, keep the pressure up. We you know we got this. Just keep it up. That's all we it was really was. That was a great job, man. Thank you. Well, you guys uh, are, are playing for the money now. Um, you're up. You're up. You're up. Actually, yeah. And yeah. that's kind of surprising because you got the underdogs coming into this. No one expects sure. you to pull off the DNF fight. Against, you got to pull off the DNF fight against Scarlet. Massive and point. no one expects you to pull off this this here Madden win because they had the game in the bag. Oh, but yeah. you, know, you know, like once again, don't play with your food. Those are two massive uh -huh. wins right there that you yeah, guys pulled sure. up. Mm -hmm. Underdogs, all I'm gonna say is, hey, we're just gonna keep doing our thing and keep the energy up. That's all I gotta say. You ready for the rest of this matchup? There's still a lot of games to be played. You pretty confident? Yes, sir. Come Feeling on good? now. Yes, sir. Let's go. Thunders. Let's go. Wish you guys the best of the luck in this chase Thanks. to the bag, man. Let's go. Thank you. All right, man. Get back to it. Thank you. Back to you. So, Rocket, we're launching them to a 2 1 lead here early on with a little over three hours left to play. So, we are windling down on the first hour of play. What are your takeaways? Only three games through so far. Not exactly the fastest. Uh, the Bandits are here to steal and crush dreams. They they mean business. They 100% mean business. And for them to take that off of Hollywood like that, who is, like Rocket said, talking trash the entire time, that's – don't get got. Don't, don't get got. Don't get got. And I say that to say – hello. Yeah, I really didn't have a follow-up from that. Nobody's getting got. I'll tell you right now. But on the other, on the, on the other end of the spectrum, I promise you, uh, the Reapers have been in this situation before. They're not worried about two little games, to be quite honest with you. So, awesome on the bandits for the start. But at this point, that's not all it is. Exactly, because two little games against some of the other competitors they've gone against is a real battle. But to them, to the entire league, looking at this, it's oh, it's just the bandits. Well. It's just the bandits with a 2-1 lead right now, convincing wins in both their games. Exactly. I will say, though, the Reapers have been down by 6, 8, what was it, against the Ravens and came back and were able to seal off that win. So to them being down is nothing. They know the games that they feel as though they're going to secure. And once they start rolling, well, Madden was one of them. And so was DNF. But that just is more so a testament to the bandits' growth and having, well, really a, a dedicated – dedicated lineup to development i would say i think that's really what's what we're looking at here so hopefully they can keep it rolling right now we've got ctr and one of the top ctr players in hollywood mr wood out there doing his thing he's got the shades on actually after madden we have to refer to him as mr billboard until he oh yeah mr billboard sorry yes because uh cheesy right there in hollywood getting a little too cocky got put up in the hills for display exposed but you know what's crazy <laughs> How about this? How about a nice little showing for a new ownership over for the band? Yeah, that's another thing too. With Ace as well getting in on here, see his team come out fighting just like this and having that energy, man, that's gotta be a great feeling, especially for the players and the owner. And we get Need for Speed Hot Pursuit up next. That's an interesting one, a game that the Reapers feel very confident in, and we'll probably get Hollywood back in rotation for as well because they, oh wait, no, they won't. Interesting. They have Cat. I didn't see Super Move there. So we got Cat there, and then we got Luchi Sama available on the side of the bandit. So we got a control setup going on right now to make sure everybody's good to go. But the Reapers have been down before, and the Reapers have come back. But this bandit team, the energy they put out, it's going to be crazy. So who do we got? Who do we got? Who do we got? 
you got the Reapers on the top and bottom right, and you got the Bandits on the top and bottom left. So you got nice to look for the going on. You got the Bandits right now battling for first, and looks like you got who's that up there? Painful Boy taking first place, but target ability on the bottom. Hit by it still. And then we got the bottom right. So we got Dictator on bottom right, Mr. Wood. So Wood, Mr. Wood's on the bottom right. So keep an eye on him and paint the four as the two to really kind of set the major to break. As the Reapers take over the AR Yeah, the Reapers are taking over. Paint the four, not quite on that level yet. So we have the bandits actually bringing up the rear. Like I said, I know you want to see things for developing, but we're in playoff mode. It's not a game that I think the bandits will win. You're playing the wheel. You're playing to win. I'm not spending 20 minutes here. Not even the slider. Honestly, I would do Rex right now. I would see how this first race goes. And if there's no sign of a potential location to it, I'm looking at that uh, tracker at the bottom. And yeah, I would have that. Yeah, okay, it's not, not looking good right now. And you got Hollywood out of rotation, and that's not looking good for the next game. So the race is coming up. And if it's still confident in your picks, I'd say both needs to be in the Yeah, Hollywood is already done there. So yeah, I... Have not that bad, but... Yeah, throw this away. So, Hollywood putting his foot on the throw. Dick Sater Chicken providing the, an excellent second in this situation. Placing one and two, making it, I won't say virtually impossible, for the bandits to win, but it's not happening. That's why Rex is sitting back like that. He's like, uh, well, I know I want to see you guys and how far you've come, but it's not enough. Looks like Rex is back there signaling something to Mayor. They're, they may be forfeiting, as we said, because after that. I think this might be a check this race and make the decision there, but I don't like wasting time right now deciding for him for I There we go. Well, also a fast start, and four with the first, jockeying for his second, third at this point. Uh, and four. I'm kind of hanging on. Yeah, Lovejoy's had some noise. Lovejoy's not being able to make, it, make much of an impact as well. Well, Lovejoy is in second right now, so. And he, he did hit the shortcut. Hey. I just don't think he's on that level just yet, though. Yeah, this you know, right now, Pink Four also falling far behind. So, Lovejoy managing to stay in second, maybe can pull off the shocker and gets passed by Big Kid Chicken. And that's a tough one. I did like seeing that from Lovejoy right there, keeping up to start. But can he secure first place? But that's what it's going to take at this point. I don't see how they're dropping this one. But, Lovejoy, yeah, I'm not going down without a fight. Yeah, nothing wrong with fighting out at the very end, but with the first half, the first quarter of the game is ready to go over. I'd say I'd rather have more time to get more attack and stuff on the field than to continue playing. He is, he is hitting some of those shortcuts, but it's not consistent enough, right? He's, he's still losing lives in uh, Lovejoy. Same thing for Pain for Board. Pain for Board is really kind of a feel for the track, and this is so many. Got to know the track. I think the time is more important at this point. I yeah, and it's got hit by a slope just now. That a uh, painful drop. So that symmetrical flow happening when Lovejoy trying to fight in being a whole second behind second call oh, first place. Item use is highly important. Especially if you you looking to close the gap in the turn. Ways, but in order to use those items, you have to be successful. You have to be close. Yeah, you got to be able to see your opponent, and it's just not enough. Not enough in order to get them back into this. We're looking at a situation where Hollywood is going to lap paint the whole time. Like, that is a strong possibility. We've, we've got Rex making the gesture, so I think he has a plan in place. There may be a reason why he's playing this out. He's really looking. I think he's trying to use this as, as rep time, really. It's no time, man. It, it's the playoff, dog. Like, I understand wanting to get your players some extra play time in a, comp a competitive setting. This ain't it, my guy. I wonder, I wonder where, where Hollywood got the gorilla grip from. 
and, and cack out the children, bro. I'm like, are those just extra? Did they buy them off the site? Yo, they bought them. That that is a level of trolling I can respect. That if you're gonna spend your own money just to get an extra jersey, just to bother people. Next level. It looks like we're we're definitely gonna be looking at two two right after this. Just under three three hours, right? Yeah, just under three. We'll stop. Yeah, six punch this. Everything, right? No, it'll be one more after this. It's not me point, uh, point wise. Yeah, for sure. So if the Reapers get another first, second finish, then that's the end of TTR. It should be. It should be. I believe TTR itself even said there's no point for it. We win. So let's find out right here. Looks like Oak's going to try to go for a shortcut this now. And, uh... Right in. I mean, Hollywood right there in the, at the bottom right. Place him first, casually. Grass teammate right behind him, like, hey, I want to be, I'm getting close to you too. And honestly, yeah, he is pretty. like this. This is fast improvement for Big Ten. They didn't say we have one CTR ace. We have two, really, at this point. Big Ten are trying to climb the board too. Hey, that's that's how good teams work. Everybody laughs. Everybody gets better, and then you start turning some of your game in the competition among yourself to get better. Dictator definitely uh, giving room for money. He's got to. That's almost a whole second differential between first and second. Oh, well, wow. both of them big. really big snags. Big. Messed up right there, but I think they have enough. So yeah. I got to see some. That's, yeah, that was actually a two seconds down, down for about a second. Yeah, not quite enough to close them all the time for what they're about to lose here, but Hollywood will go back. Hitting all the turns, Dick Taylor insane. At this point, I think Dick Taylor Yeah, they're racing each other. Yeah. Two-man race, yeah, two race at the moment, and if I am the I'm going to call the replacement first again, that would make it stay consistent. Probably to uh, get this that break, right? So, like I said at the top of the, the top of the match, Hollywood showing exactly their perspective here. All right, I guess the billboard nickname only lasted uh, one set of clock timer. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. And excellent coaching as well to not use him in Gundam. Letting him be the anchor because that, that shifted him back into rotation twice. Yeah, the games that they needed. And that's you being able to have your leader being able to be in the Granted, Madden worked out the way he wanted, but still. Having here for CTR, which I thought he was going to be out for, was big brain beyond belief. Nah. <laughs> There we go. So we've got Big Ted and Chicken in first, Hollywood in second, Painful Boy in third, and Bug Joy in fourth at the moment. Bandits off to the left vertically. Reapers off to the right vertically for those just going now. Final lap is underway. Interesting position. That may be a strategy. They may, they may just want to play as few games as possible. Knowing that if, if it breaks right, they're going to be up on the scoreboard. I think that's that's the thought process still when it comes to time. And it could be because it's just the first half. But like, those, those time savings are a big deal. It, it could, like you said, it could be a tempo play. And I'm just I'm just kind of just like rolling the marbles around my empty head. Just like trying to figure out exactly what the goal was of the city. Like... Yeah, Hollywood coming up, because if they FF it once they start, Hollywood still have the rotation. But maybe they just didn't want to burn a forfeit, because if it becomes a close game in the second half, having those options available will probably keep the city. Yeah, definitely want to ensure that Hollywood's the sound that way he used. I mean, if it was going to be a, a dub either way, and you get five forfeits, hey man, we're, we're out through halftime. Use that forfeit, right? And that's that's just notes to, to all leap, but I'm sure there's a reason behind it. I definitely want to know it just so I can have that bit of personal information for myself about this. But, all right, we got last race, and no point in forfeiting now. You've already gone through. Uh, uh, finish it off. Love this stage, though. So. Yeah, anything with that neon purple type, that that figure, like bye bye. Uh, it, it bounces so well, so 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 right now. Uh, uh, man, you know, like all the games have really. Amazing vibrant colors. It's really good to see the palette how they layered everything. Right, CTR becoming one of the favorite games of UEO. Just in general. Like, I mean, people love to play CTR. 
Uh, oh, Jesus, no, 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 real is it? Yeah, the amount of sadness that people had for uh, CTR not making it to next season was very profound and loud, and Hollywood being one of the people. But guess what? Games always come back season after season, so all you're really going to have to do is just tune in for the next few months after this. But right now, we've got playoffs going on, and CTR is part of this wheel, and we're seeing the climax of a long season so far for everyone, right? In a good way. Like, yeah, everybody has enjoyed every moment of what they've done, and it's coming to fruition right here. And we're looking at 2 2 going into this next chapter of the game. Or game two, round one of the playoffs. Bonk. Yeah, I I would be lying if I said I did not ex I would be lying if I said I expected the game to be close at all. But going 2-2 into this matchup right now, I am really pumped for it and I'm looking forward to the rest of this match because outside of CTR so far, everything has been close. Well, it's been an interesting bounce of back and forth between the two teams, that's better way to say. Because Amazing Mare with a dominant showing during DNM, and then Madden just being an amazing tempo control game for Rex, and then the Reapers just being the Reapers for. What was the third one? Uh, Gundam. Yeah, Gundam, there we go. Gundam, Madden. Gundam, Gundam, Madden was the third one. So, with them playing a massive performance of Gundam and a massive performance of CTR with the band is doing as well as they did in DNF and Madden. It's we don't have a really good battle on our hands. And it looks like we got final lap going for the Reapers now. And who's that? Uh looks like Hollywood's been playing this uh throw on the number one scene for the recent player. And then who's that? Tech just came in for the beginning of his final lap. All right, and looks like we're coming to a close here. As lap two or three, we've already got two. <laughs> the the difference is crazy, right? The Reapers are already on their third lap, and both of the Bandits still on their last. With looks like we got Lovejoy coming, finally hitting that third. It's just not enough. Yeah, it's. That's kind of crazy, uh, crazy on how things are going with the race because don't un I, I find myself constantly going back to why, but sometimes you just can't really peek into the mind of a genius. If uh, it works out and the band is somehow clinch a dub at the end of all this, we're not going to be talking about the CTR and CTR. And if they do lose, where it came, comes down to a timing thing, where if they had gotten rid of CTR and have more time to play, then we'll be thinking about it. But, hey, that's what we're here for the league for. These, these micro decisions stack up, and it can either bring you a win or bring you a loss. And decisions that bring you a loss are definitely going to be the highlights of what people look back at. Looks like the Reapers are finished up and even got out of their seats. I think the Reapers went to the concession stand. Wow, they're they're done. Damn. This this disrespectful. Like I mean, I looked down at the Reapers box and I I saw nobody there and I, I felt some type of way. I was like, oh, where, where'd you go? All right, in the retirement of Billboard, let me go ahead and scratch that off the list. Hey, Billboard. As, uh, we didn't even get a full setup timer with that nickname. That's crazy. Yeah, no, not not even. So right now they're gonna go ahead and get set up for Need for Speed. They do have the cat. This is actually not the strongest Need for Speed lineup for the Reapers per se, but then again, not exactly the strongest lineup for the Bandits either. They do have the Cat, who is a pretty good racer, if I do say so myself overall. So that will play a factor in Need for Speed. It, the Cat looks like he, he played Need for Speed in his youth, didn't he? The, the long cat. flowy hair, the big stash. Yeah, he probably only I mean? used the Diablo SV and Lime Green and would go in reverse at the very end of the race to make fun of you. Hey, man, don't, don't call things out. It's not cool. <laughs> But just because uh, you might be accurate doesn't mean you got to say it. If it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, walks like a duck, it's the cat man. Oh, I was going to say a mongoose, but whatever, bro. <laughs> I mean, hey. So who do you think the band is going to be sending in? Is it, uh, it's four, right? Four oh, it's four. So th this is pretty much set so up. So these are the lineups? Yes. 
These are the lineups. Whatever game rolls next, we will see a full reset. It is a 4v4. So as you see right there, all of the players at the bottom who are um, not active are grayed out for this round. All the players that are lighted are active and able to play. That green bar means that they will be playing. They'll update that in just a moment down there at the bottom for the Reavers. So those four, that's the four we got going right there. The Cat, Scarlet, uh, Super Noob, and then Ricky Rockham versus Pokestar on the Bandit side. Magnus Am on the Bandit side. Lujusama on the Bandit side. And Amazing Mare on the Bandit side. So, hey, lineups are set. We don't have to have any mystery in terms of that. It's all going to be all about execution now. And this is one of those games where team chemistry and team dynamics really plays a huge part, whether you're the police or if you're the racers. And it's going to be interesting to see how the bandits deal with the Reapers' cohesiveness because it's just the Reapers on cops and the bandits on robbers. It's going to be it's going to be tough to try and deal with four cops moving as a unit on the road as compared to four individual racers trying to get away. Right. So in this case, I think the bandits should definitely be going for cop. But as we've seen all season across the litany of teams, it's been toss ups. Yeah, nobody's right? safe so in this game. We've seen the robbers win. We've seen the cops win. It's been pretty back and forth. So although I do think that it, the game favors the cops in advantage, it's, a lot of times it has to do with lineup and just whether or not people are paying attention. Yeah, because that, uh, what is it, about 500 meter head start that the most wanted has, which is the key of the race, whoever stops the most wanted. So we could see somebody take advantage of that. And it is a real strategy to have your teammates on the racer side sacrifice themselves to completely block off the police and get away. And the cops having to start from behind those racers ahead, you could run into a wall of racers. You can knock out three other racers, but it ain't the most wanted. It doesn't matter. Yeah, for sure. And at this point, like they could pull anything out of their pockets, right? So it just depends on what they want to do and how they want to attack attack this. So it'll be interesting. Uh, just off off top, right? We don't know. Who do you think is going to be cops? Who do you think is going to win RPS? Which is rock paper scissors? How we de determine? Who do you think is going to win RPS and get that cop spot? Um, I think the Reapers might have won. But one of the things I want to talk about and look back to is you remember the uh, Titus lockdown match, right? The right. retirement match. You remember how uh, Titus got racers and then sat in that uh, that little lagoon spot on the side of the road? Yeah. That was probably the most nasty thing I've ever seen done to somebody because, granted, it only worked because it was a 1v1. But now that you have three other racers to work with, you could block off two sides of that. And then whichever side you get the weaker cop on, push through and then take off on them. And that entire space is just enough space for a getaway. I mean, yeah, that's tough to pull off when you have a full squad, though. Definitely is, but uh, we'll see. See, that's a one v one strat that he, he, I'm sure he looked it up and he's like, "Hey, I'm gonna get away every single time." It worked against lockdown, it but this is this isn't this isn't lockdown over here. This is the Reapers. It's the Reapers, and like you said, it's not a 1v1, it's a 4v4, so... That's that's thing about that. That's four different brains on each side working together and to accomplish one goal. And you talk about a, a one-brain versus one-brain situation. You sound like you're living in the past. Yes, my glory days were in high school. And lives are told. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a guy in line you right over there. Come on now. Of course not. <laughs> We all glow up. We all keep doing our thing. That being said, I mean, I know one way to glow up. I see you got some merch on, bro. Ooh, this is brand new, too. I just got it today. Got this new, delicious UEL hoodie. Oh, let me put the hood up. Let me put the hood up. Now, I see, like, now you're just trying to show off. As if, like, I don't have a hood, too, bro. Like, hoodies are hoodies for a reason. I mean, it, it is a clean look, though. I do understand the simple black on white right there with the UEL logo right over your heart. It's right over your heart. All right, yeah, it's on the side. I still have one of those. <laughs> I mean, if you say so, bro. I mean, I I still use mine on, on a regular basis, so I'm not going to act like I don't have one. But that being said. Setup timer's hitting zero, so are we going to see this get set up? I'm trying to choose. There we go. And uh, it looks like we got a little bit of NDI right here. So we hear the audio from um, the team. Um, so we'll get that cleaned up. Go, yeah, you might hear some yeah, spicy do, talk. Do. 
we've got they close to the, they close to the most wanted. And you, can and I, you, can in turbo, in turbo, hitting, hitting, we're wrong, we're wrong, such as massive damage. It's gonna be interesting hearing the team talk about everything that cleaned up, so we make sure we don't get the strategies leaked out to everybody out there. I kind of want to hear. I don't mind it, but uh. Spice players be spicy players, you know? Alright, alright, y'all. And we are underway. Most wanted is Mr. Moo. That's an interesting one. That's not who they would want. They would definitely want the cat to be most wanted in this situation. Let's see if Super Noob's been playing and what he can do. With the cat being in, as in the most wanted, that means he's going to be a pivotal blocker and uh, pick and roll for the Reapers. Pick and roll? We talking about four? Yellow with four? Pretty much, you stop, hit a pick on a car, get him out the way, get a pop out the way, and get it back in the way. There we go. And it looks like we have a pull-off area. Are we going to see that sit strat, or are we just going to push all the way through it? So right now, we got all four officers still trailing uh, about 500 yards right now, so... Who are we spectating so I can figure out exactly what we got going? I believe we're spectating PC1. If I'm not mistaken. I know that's the indicator for Mr. New Bean. Oh, no. We are not. We are not, actually. We are we are right behind them. So they're blocking. Doing a good job. We got a cop right over here. So that might be... Jam the EMP. Stopping the cops attempt to interrupt that, but did slow them down just enough for a cop to be chasing now. Most wanted. This could be a pivotal moment for the bandits as they encroach. It's one cop. I will be trying to get in front of most wanted and corral and stop him. Stop, you know, I, I hard break it. Depending on how confident the uh, competent, excuse me, the player is at racers, a simple pit maneuver can cost them the game immediately instead of trying to go for one of the giant, huge, uh, the riskier pat. Ooh. Oh, hits a big spike strip set by the cops. And next game is going to be knockout, knockout city good. right after. So that's going to be interesting. A little dodgeball for you. And with that full reset coming up for knockout city, it's going to be interesting to see how the team approach that. But until we get to that, we out here racing, boys. So let's see. We got uh, Nitrous being used right now, trying to catch up with the most wanted. About a 564-yard difference between our current driver and the most wanted. Cop hot in his tail, probably waiting for cooldowns to come back up. Maybe the EMP him to slow him down and go for a pit maneuver. His spike trip should be coming up off a of cooldown here shortly. So it'll be interesting to see how the... Ooh. Oh, good. good shake of the, of the spike trip. Uh, Ooh, most wanted getting good. hit right there. Super Noob seemingly recovering, making a U-turn, but it looks like he's got, got two cops on it. Huge, and he's running into one right now. Ooh. Oh, my God. Collateral damage. We got the most wanted at about three-quarters health right now. Matt. Almost running into his own teammate. Twice. Right. Now, see, they need to catch the memo and turn around and get some help out there to Super Noob. Got to get, got to use that handbrake and get back into the mix really quickly. Got an EMP lock going on in the cop right now. Buy him some time because that second cop gets caught up there. Oh, there oh, it goes. EMP is successful. Car shut down and oh. going for the chase. Trying to, to go for the hit, him a little but bit more. missed it. Not a bad strategy. Trying to get that cop out completely. Running into your own blockade. Big mistake on the bandits. That's just lazy driving there. I think if you just took the sign to tap the brake and get around it, it would have saved more health and speed. But that's... Ooh, good inside control right there. He pushed him into it and made him push him back, and that's how you lose some speed. Awesome. Good recovery right there. So, but cop having the EMT ready. So, let's see if we can avoid that. What we could do. It looks got, like we drop back to one of the cops further back in the chase trying to catch up. Low on health, almost totaled out. So, this is where you're going to see a lot of the bracers in the back try and thin out the herd on the police so they have those, last op those lagging options gone because when you try and do that e-brake car turn, and let all the police fly past you, that guy in the back is usually the most deadly because you're starting to accelerate in the high speeds, and they're coming right up on you trying to make the head-on play. Right, and Reaper's getting out of top range right here. Most wanted, making their way, getting back into it. Oh, that's tough. That up. Comes just the way the map goes, and you have to have a little bit of a, uh, an assertive plan, right, to make sure that you can escape the vision, but I see what they're going for here. They're going to try and loop around. They've got some distance between the cops and most wanted and support. So Reaper's sitting in a good position here as the robbers. Like we said, either side can win, right? Yep. There we go. Getting a little bit of choppiness there, but that'll get straightened out in no time. So that being said, still in the same positions. 
Ooh, this shortcut's dangerous because it opens up right in front of a cop. Ooh, whiffs the shot. And I think he might have wrecked out because that was the last place officer who was already low on health. I think so. I think he had just enough to survive. All right, but with uh, that roadblock coming up where they're going to have to pick their spacing on it. All right, got, he gets it. Yep, there but it goes. That gives the officer a chance to catch back up. So now we got a chase back on. We're actually right now on Mr. Noob as the, what's the word? Most wanted. There we go. Officer about so three, 400 yards behind. Yeah, so it, it's still pretty close. We got the T intersection coming up based on traffic and how he takes this. Slows down, taking the safer turn route and turn option, which is fair. Right. And it is a it is a two v three right now, right? So we've got two two racers left, right? Two robbers left. Most one is still in in action. And two racers, three cops, with a growing distance between the most wanted and the police. And with one officer only being able to consistently stay on the most wanted, this is a tall order to face because, like you said, it's a it's a one. Oh Whoa. my God, they're looking to pin. That's some damage taken right there to Most Wanted. Let's see. I was just about to say, Subinu has been doing an excellent job as Most Wanted, showing that he has been in the lab practicing. Oh! Now he's mostly a shooter and gets hit with seem seemingly a jammer, right? Yeah, That's what it was? I think so. It was a, yeah, it was a jammer and then a, the follow-up. Most Wanted is in dire straits. Most Wanted is in dire straits right now, running low Come on health, on, Mr. Getting, getting bumped. If they can get in front and corral him, this could be GG's right here with the Bandits coming away with a big win. Oh, my God, those lights are on. Not a not a secure feeling. Yeah, that's a terrifying feeling. And the worst part is, is those bumps are still good. You can still pull ahead. But if you hit them with a good pit maneuver, if you're able to come in on the inside of a turn and catch that rear tire and spin them out completely, that damage you catch them at the end of the wall of the turn is huge. And they can probably take out the most one right then and there. Where did the officer go? Oh, my Lord. Did two he officers, out? Two oh. more. So it's a 1v2. Oh, no. That is not good. Where's the officer at? Is he up on the other side? Is he down below? I don't know, but he's way out of. So it looks like. Looks like the Reapers are going to get away with this one because. Hop's not going to be able to catch up. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, see, that was a very close match, though. Bandit's threatening right there at the end with a lot of that damage and constant pressure. Seemingly PC8. Let's find out who that was. That was Scarlet. So Scarlet out here playing excellent support role. Doing work to get rid of him. Yeah, and one of the things where knowledge of racers and just comfortability playing racing games, uh, if you notice that last uh, attempt at a bump when it came around that cave, he took that turn too wide and just ate rocks. If he had actually tightened up on that turn and kind of tried to battle him on the inside, he probably could have took him out and himself out and gave the other officer a chance to catch up. But you took that turn too wide in the low traction area with a uh, four Taurus in the dirt. Right. And that's what this is about. That's what this is about right here. Like Scarlet and Noob are were known as strictly a fighting game and a shooting game player. Right. So to come out here and secure a W like that in a game that wasn't necessarily your forte shows exactly what it means to be an ending game. Versatility is king here at the UEL. So I know a lot of people have heard me say that recently but it's because it's so true like how much more true does it get than that yeah like you said just like oh yeah they only play these kinds of games and then you see them you know a season later or a couple weeks later even in some situations and there's like oh this person's up we got this rocket zero yeah the mans came out and balled out yeah 100 percent. we did not see that coming not even we did not twice. see that coming the way the way we normally went now this game right here a little bit more of a 50 50 as the bandits do actually play a decent game of Knockout City, and so do the Reapers. What do you think for lineups? Um, I'm probably going to go with Lovejoy, Amazing Mare, Magnus, Sam, and Boosh. Four people, right? I don't think they'll put Amazing Mare in there. Amazing Mare is one of their fighting in main, so in case Guilty Gear were to come up, they would probably want to leave leave, leave Amazing Mare out. So in that case, I I would say they're probably going to go Luchi. Yeah, they're probably, probably going to go Magna. They're probably yeah. going to go Painful Boar. Probably going to go Rocket Zero. Uh, they could go with Hocus Star, but that's, you, you know, you want to save them for kind of KOF. Lovejoy, a little bit of a fighter as well. You want to save them for DBZ. So that's what I would do. As for the Reapers, they're probably throwing in Hollywood, the cat. Uh, and it's funny because, like, the cat in Hollywood may not be necessary. Ricky Rockham and maybe Cheesy in this situation. I think that gives them a well enough rounded lineup to take care of what they need to take care of. Um, I agree with that. Uh, Ricky Rockham. I'd probably say Ricky Rockham, Cheese Man, 
Call him Cheese Man because that sounds cooler. Cheese Man, the weird Cheese Man. Oh, oh, so cheesy. Yeah, also Cheesy Cheese Man. Ricky, Ricky Rock. Okay, all right. You know, I was just I was just validating. You know, you're right. You got it. Let me just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> so I say Ricky Rockham, oh so cheesy, and then is that chicken is that chicken tendy or chicken tech? I don't know. I get yelled at every time I eat. No, that is dictator chicken. Dictator chicken. Yeah, that's right. This is this is a scary thing. Dick, that's actually terrifying. Yeah, super. Have, have you ever seen a dictator chicken? Now see, there's Scissor Seven. I don't know. If it's an indica anime on right there, but. Yeah, they, I feel like there's dictator chicken on there. If, if, if they were ever one to see, but that's not the case. That's fair. I have no idea what you're talking about, so I'm just gonna. Oh, I'm gonna have to get you up. Awesome, awesome. Just super, some super fun to watch. But that's besides the point because it ain't more fun to watch than this competition right here. As we uh, approach the 30 minute mark, right? We're we're right under 40, so we're approaching the two hour 30 minute mark. That means pretty soon here we're gonna be heading into halftime. That's right. And Knockout City is what? First to 15, correct? First to 15 across. Uh, first to 15, best of three. Mono a mano. It is. That's three. You sure? I'm pretty sure it's just straight one. Uh, it's no, one. it's uh, three rounds of uh, 15. That means okay. right. Okay. Or, yes, three rounds of 15 if both teams win one of these. Bingo. Just double, just double checking. Getting it out there for the folks. I'm counting. That being said, really interesting. We haven't seen a timeout used either. Um, I think both teams are very comfortable right now. And I think. Well, the Reapers think we're the Reapers. We don't really need timeouts. Okay. And two, I think the Bandits are more concerned about saving them for the second half, which is still kind of weird because you have four. And two of them get used automatically at halftime. So they get thrown away. Exactly. That's a little bit of time management questions here, right? Both teams, like, if I'm the Reapers, I am the Reapers. So I'm going to use timeouts to make sure my games are set up and that we win as quick as possible without using as much time as possible because I think we're going to keep winning. So I want to distance the gap. I want more time to play games, right? If I'm the Bandits, however, I'm thinking, well, same thing. I, I don't want to play these games, some of these games, but if we do get one, why not call a timeout and make sure we set it up? Why not call a timeout and make sure that we don't go further than what we need to, right? Yeah, I, I don't know if Rex or the Bandits, the, the, team, the team idea is to save those two timeouts for after Knockout City to try and squeeze some stuff in, depending on what the wheel roll is, but it has to be like, they're going for like the 20 to 10 minute like buzzer beater timeout runs on both sides because like you said the reapers are like yeah we could just win everything but you still want to have more time to win so you can continue expanding on that lead right and for the reapers yeah a little, a little different from what i thought they were gonna where they were gonna go but they got hollywood dictator chicken super noob and ricky rockham and their mr thing super noob Mr. Super. Nah, because see, like, the Reapers seem to have some obsession with the title Mr. So they put it on all their players. Hey, look, if you, if you want respect, baby. That's their way of demanding it. So right here for the Bandits, we got Painful Board, Rocket Zero, Magna Sam, and Rockets. I said Rocket Zero, right? Yes. yes. Luchi Sama. Luchi Sama is one who just got, got grayed out. So interesting 4v4. I think this is a very winnable game for the Bandits. We could be looking at 3-3 three, three here. I would love it. Yeah, I think, I think so. A nice, and not just the, the Bandits win. I want the Bandits to make it the, in the third round, eat more time on the clock off and tie it up, and immediately punish the Reapers for not using their timeouts. Right, and sometimes there's just not enough games to even call those timeouts at the at the end of the half, right? So it's like, what's the, what's the point? One game might have taken 20, 25 minutes, so you're really only going to get to use one timeout if you so choose. Yeah. Outside of that, they, they go away come halftime. Like I said, coaching, time management, everything's key, especially now to the playoffs. Sort of these decisions and strategies should have already been ironed out and in place by the by mid season. And at the latest the last part, the third of the last third of the regular season. You should have had a good idea of what you're gonna do and how you're gonna handle all of these situations because you've played at least all the teams at least once by then. So you kinda have an idea, an inkling on how they play and how you line up to that and how you manage the clock. Exactly. And we've got knockouts starting right here. Speaking, that's exactly what the bandits said. I saw a lot of different lineups. They got Amazing Mayor back from suspension, right? Jet, Jet in the back from suspension as well. So, like, they they were geared up for the second half, and that's where a lot of their improvements come. As we saw with Amazing Mayor taking DNF duel. Super strong. Super strong. Like I said, Launcher, and I've seen around the league, has not been as strong a character or played properly, but. That was DNF. Now we're in Knockout City with right. the Reapers on the blue side, and the Bandits are gold. And we're currently checking out one of the Bandits right now. 
Luchisama Come. on Luchisama. Right now, 1-0 Bandits lead to start. Not bad. 2-0 for the Bandits to start. Get the next wheel spin for you right there. What do we got? And we'll we we kick the audio up in just a second. That's a little bit louder for y'all. 3-0 Bandits at the moment. And we've got yes, for honor. honor. Let's next. go. This will be interesting. So I think they might play that out. I think the Bandits will definitely play it out because For Honor is just a great game. But I hope they play it because it's a good game. But it could change on how they approach it based on how this game ends. There we go. Uh, you're about, you're putting your head against the wall. Come on now. Come on, buddy. We got you got to learn how to jump. So three o three o bandits. Lucci out here doing his thing. Oh, good dodge on the bomb ball there because that could have been an easy double score. Knowing how to use. Oh, good catch. Oh, good catch. Counter catch. Oh, that's a no, bomb. That's a bomb. That's a bomb. Boosh. Whiff. Uh oh. Uh. Risky on that uh that uh wake up catch after getting used as a bomb. Now see what I will say is both teams are playing a very smart smart game smart strategy relying on their teammates right. So not putting too much in. That's a bomb that actually with Hollywood. Flip Hollywood, thus getting him out the way. Four O bandits to start. Bandits with a super strong. The bandits are just getting seven out of here. zero right seven zero and these last three points have been all in rapid succession. Right, they're working as a team. Doing a little bit of having a little bit of gang mentality in terms of like picking on one person, right? Forcing them to react to multiple attempts to get them hit, and it's just a good gameplay from the bandits right now. But don't let that 7 0 fool you, it has been closer than you think, yeah. Because these decisions and plays have only been made the way I think that bomb counter. Oh, that's unfortunate. That, that's what Lu I'm saying. Yeah, Lucci was trying to make the play on that once he saw how everybody jumped back on the roof and right. got out the way, and you see he was trying to angle it so he can get out the way, but. Nah, man. That bomb See, play has a huge upside and a huge downside. Yeah, in that case, I'm just going all for it. I mean, like, you saw me, like, it is what it is. I'm going to try to make you uh, land your bomb on top of me away from my teammates than towards them, right? So, in that case, that's what I would have done. However, good, good shot hit from and a dodge right. and a knock away on the Reaper's ball. Reaper's making a nice little comeback as well. It is 8-4. It was just 7-0. Like I said, don't let the score fool you. It's been very close. Eight, even five. within this match. 8586. SD giving them another point. Eight, Bandits six. losing a little bit of form. Reapers just taking a moment to really gather their thoughts and work together as a team to counter. Now we've got an 8 6 close match. Magnus saying, doing his thing. Lucci with a good hit there on the Lucci with ball. a nice little bit of a sniper shot. And that's what happens when you pressure one person, right? Especially in situations where you're in a team setting like this. But you want to. Oh, looks like we've got the bomb going off. See what happens. Oh, my Lord. It is 8 9. Reapers 9 9. Up. nine. Bandits, so, Reapers, and it's a that. close one. Like I knew it would be a close one. Let's, they, mind you, Bandits started off 7-0. So started off like, strong, but like you get, consistency. You, you got to finish. Oh, oh just nice. missed timing the catch. Can't be mad at the attempt, but you can be mad at the fact that you just didn't time it properly. Use your eyeballs a little bit better, please, and thank you. Uh-oh. This is a big bomb. Is a big that bomb right there was a, wow. a determinant factor. Luck and a good roll gets him. Using the teammate. Oh. Instead of Ooh. going for the charge bomb, get him in there with the quick hit. So exactly. And it, also, oh, prevents, oh, oh, it oh. also prevents his life from being taken, right? That's a big bomb to be thrown. Let's see if the bandits can have a lot because he was down to one heart. So trying to protect his teammate in ways by actually throwing at them. Now they're getting a little bit landlocked and focused. Reaper's looking to take advantage. 11-10, probably 11-11, and possibly 11-12. Throwing oh, the teammate. Oh, getting thrown oh, off. Oh, getting thrown off. It is 11-12. 11-12, Reapers. This is Nip Tuck. 45 seconds. What are we going to do? 11. You got to come in big. You got to come in fast. You got to get a, They got a player set up right now. Hey, yo. But uh, they got a player with a bomb right now. Maybe we can get the double kill with that. But the Reapers have been responding to the bomb balls. Trying to exercise easily. patience. Let's see what they do. 11-14. Not looking good for the Bandits. This, oh, my God. 13-14. This is coming right down to the wire. Can... The defense. Oh, my Lord. What a catch. Wow. Wow. Spectacular performance from the Reapers to come back. I knew that was going to be a very close battle. It is best of one, first of 15. So I and they, man, I didn't want to say too much, but I was just like, hey, it is what it is. We're all getting the hang of things right here, including our viewers who are new to UEL. So as first of 15, saw an awesome back and forth. Reapers clutching that win out, something that they have done all season. When it gets tough, they seem to get tougher. And that, that's exactly what they did right there. Very close, clutched up with the catch. That could have gone a very different way, and we'd be looking at 3-3 as opposed to 4-2.
but mad props to the Reapers and for a great one. And what's interesting about that is that the Reapers literally just started doing what the Bandits were doing. Just started grouping up and spreading all their passes that, across the that, same group. Exactly. And That's then, how that game's played. And then when the Reapers got that wipe with one person left, they pushed that one person. So then all the lineups again when the Bandits came back through was a 3v4. Exactly. And just disjointed, masterful game plan to right there. Like, you saw it. I saw it. Great tempo play. Yeah, it was great. Like, 15, what, 15, 13 is what it ended. Yeah. So you can't even necessarily be mad if you're the Bandits. It's just a matter of a couple other decisions, and it goes the other way. But right now, we've got For Honor coming up, along with a little bit of an interview. I wonder who we're going to get this time. Uh, Hollywood was in that game, right? He was indeed in that game. And they came back and won, won right? They did indeed come back and win. That's what I saw. So it's probably going to be Hollywood running his mouth because it's showtime, baby. Right. Right. <laughs> right. And anybody that knows Hollywood, the name suits just well enough. So hopefully we get an opportunity to hear Hollywood talk right now as we head right into this beautiful little interview that we got set up. We'll see you on Tuesday. You know what it is. OG Juki back up in the building. Raven up in here too, man. And we are joined by Noob. What's happening, Noob? We're just, uh, we, the ba uh, bandits were up in Knockout City, 7 0, and we took it back. Listen, man, listen. Okay, so you guys were pretty much down the entire way. You guys were 7 and 0 all the way to 2 minutes and 50 seconds, and then pretty much at the end with 35 seconds left, we, you guys we came got to the 15 to 13. Yeah. It was an insane comeback. So, how, how, how do you think this is going to boost and move forward and transitions into the next games, you know, morality wise for your team? It's going to push us through and make us go even harder. For Honor is going to give us even more of a boost with who we have going in, some strong players, and we love For Honor. So, not only that, y'all kind of y'all kind of threw a couple games early. Um, yeah, wasn't expected to lose. Man, you know, the D and D. Man, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying. You got to get used. I don't know what Hollywood was thinking, but <laughs> I kind of got an idea what he was trying to do, but it didn't work out. Yeah, for him. he played with his food and cost y'all a game. Y'all were down, but now you you're, you're up two. Up to two. I yeah. wouldn't say I wouldn't say that they threw DNF though, because that was a really close one. No, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was super it close. Was yeah. match. Scarlet was the expected winner. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Or, but um, by far. Coming off of also two wins straight back to back. Which I was both in for. You were both in. I was just getting ready to say that you were in for both games. You know what I'm saying? You were most you were most wanted, weren't yep. you? Yeah. And you guys pulled off the victory with the escape. Mm -hmm. Doesn't happen often. Nope. It really doesn't. I was surprised to see it too. It really doesn't happen that often. That's got Usually people choose cops because they're easier to. Yeah, do. yeah, yeah. And it's harder to get out of the hard. range. It's harder to get big cops. Yeah. It's one of the few times you get to see it hidden. It's always nice to see somebody. Oh, yeah, definitely. But uh, like you uh, still allowed to play. For honest, the next game. You're not going in there for this one. No. But I'm pretty sure you think your team has this one sewed up. For sure, because I think we're putting in Chicken as another player, most likely. Yeah, and he, he, he goes he, bananas. He, yeah. he goes bananas. So before you go, though, like, uh, if there's one particular game you're looking forward to playing, what would it be? Well, Gundam already came up, so. Now, speaking of, you you and Ricky, mm -hmm. as always, uh, phenomenal. Obliterated, Ricky's dominated. Ricky's a yeah. monster. And uh, it's always fun to guys watch you guys play that. I don't think I've seen you guys lose a Gundam game yet. Uh, maybe. Not maybe on, not that I can recall. Well, I back. think we might have lost one. Hey, it was it early in the season before the second half? Probably. Yeah, see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And this last match was pretty intense, too. I, I believe you had the overall kills in the match, and I think Ricky had the overall damage between both of you guys, and you pretty much just carried the entire match in Gundam. Yeah. yeah so, yeah, you can tell that you've been definitely grinding this. Uh, when I want to roll, ooh, either Overwatch or Gears. We're definitely looking forward to it, man. You guys have... I've become a force to be reckoned with in this league. Absolutely. And you're you're you're, you're definitely making a, a good run for for the bag, and making a hell of a stand on your names and mm -hmm. putting telling the guys to put some respect on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because a lot of people still don't. You know what I'm saying? You believe you guys can do. Hell, at this height, I I don't know why they wouldn't believe they can't do it. To be honest. We got we've had eight wins in a row so far. Exactly. So. Yet to be stopped, but. Yep. Best of luck to you. I wish you the best of luck in the rest of these games, man. Get to it. Yes, yeah, sir. Have a good one, man. Back to you. Here we go. I know. I know. We're about to see some good four on play. Both these teams playing to some extent. 
don't know that this is necessarily strong as lineup for the bandits. So I am yeah. leaning Reapers yeah. in this situation, having the cat here. And last time I checked, man, how much money are we playing for for this playoffs? How much money are we really trying to bring home here? Uh, I do believe it is 40000 Bingo. So every single one of the wins throughout the season, teams have been getting paid out for those. You win, you get paid. You like money, bro? I love money. You love money? I love money, and I definitely love gaming. So I was getting paid to do gaming and getting paid, I mean, pretty well for what, what normally happens out here. I wouldn't necessarily be complaining either, now would I? No, not at all. And if you like gaming, and if you like money, and you think you're better than anybody here, or you think you might be able to get on another team. To wait, make wait, wait, wait. Can I say this part? Yeah. Sign up for next season. Because we said 40000 but really, we kind of passed that. Oh, we passed that. Yeah, yeah we a little bit past that. We talking $100,000. Dollars, a hundred grand for next season. Next season, you mean, like we're not talking two seasons down the line. We're not talking. No, we've doubled and then put up by twenty percent. So we doubled 25%. it, twenty-five percent, and then yes, added another double. And then added another twenty percent. Bingo! I'm hitting y'all with some quick math. Quick math. One, two, three, four, five. Right? You know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna do none of that here. <laughs> well, no, I could. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty. You know what I'm saying? Because you doubled up the forty. You know what I'm saying? Get you to eighty, and then twenty-five percent of that eighty right there is twenty, and then you just put it on top, and then you talking about our new grand prize, a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Quick math. Quick math. But it's gonna be interesting. To see how this four hundred game goes, because I personally love the uh, spear master on the samurai faction, because that's a that's a character I love. Is a really strong duelist. See, I'm a sucker, right? Because uh, uh, the game's got a samurai, and I'm normally picking it. That's probably like my favorite lore, probably because of my anime addiction at the time, right? So it's just something about like a sword being so powerful and being able to wield it. But it's like a delicate dance, right? So anything with a samurai, I'm here for. So four hundred, that's that's the class I use. So I'm right there with you. I like spearmen just because. It's death on a stick, and it could be as cool as it wants to be, or as just like grimy, dirty basics as it needs to be. Spears are just cool. It's keep nah, away. You just don't want to touch nobody. Don't want to get blood on the drip, dog. But how is he supposed to like win? You gotta show it all. True. M maybe the blood is an accessory. No, bro. It's the tears of your enemy. True. That's what you got to do, especially in a game like Four Honor, where we are literally swinging around pick pickaxes, swords, <laughs> mallets, clubs, you Spites name it. Clubs, they they, they, they still the winging. Swinging for the Bro, faces. this is not a, it's not outside the nightclub. It's outside Dorn. medieval's time. Let's go. Good day, my sir. <laughs> Good day, my sir. That's what we're doing out here. Lordship. Yeah, so it looks like the bandits actually took a time out here to make sure everything gets set up properly, meaning that they are looking forward to playing, meaning that they're expecting a 3-4 outcome after this right here i think now's a good time to look at the rest of the wheel being that we're a little bit under 30 minutes away from halftime right so we're six games through working on number seven bandits looking after starting off strong at 2-1 reapers have rattled off three straight wins a couple close wins at that in knockout city and uh need for speed good teams find a way to win those close games Yep. Right. You can, and right now they have the best record from the regular season. So they're the number one, number one seed with eight wins in a row to finish off the regular season. Trying to make it nine in a row, streaking into the playoffs. Trying to send the bandits back home to go back to Robin Banks instead of uh, playing video games. Look, H I twelve, you got some building to do. Don't let them talk reckless about you. Uh, Cheesy said it was a wash. And then proceeds to lose that, but that is besides the point. You gonna let a man named Ozo Cheesy bash, bash your team, my man? You gonna let that? Put a diss track out on him. <laughs> 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 but man, I'm for honor. Yeah, this this is gonna be an interesting one. I think I think the Bandits might be able to pull this off right over here. They've got Pokestar seemingly going in. Lovejoy, Painful Boar, and Amazing Mare. Not a bad trio right there. I would be very interesting to see. Depending on what rolls next. If All right, there's a Spearman. Who's that? Who's that? Yeah, that's your favorite right there. Game. Is that PC1? Uh, ew, it's Let's PC. see what the next spin is. Uh, it's a Reaper playing a Spearman. I, I'm conflicted. But I'm looking forward to seeing some great gameplay, though. What we got coming up? Show me potato salad. Uh, Guilty Gear. Okay, this, I was, I was for a second, I thought Amazing Mare was going to be out of rotation. We are going to see a very good game of Guilty Gear here. They don't necessarily have Garto, so it'll be interesting on the Reapers. They will be relying heavily on Scarlet after this for Guilty Gear to secure. But Hollywood, Ricky Rockham, I mean, they'll have a couple people. So it's Amazing Mare, 
Lucha. You know what? I think I think I'm leaning bandits for next game. But for this one, I let's see what happens. Yeah. As much as I I'm not gonna say I have this dang for the Reapers, but when it comes to the spear user for the samurai, she has a deceptive stance that actually cuts away her blocking indicator so you can't see it. Granted, if you fast attack through it, you can punish your spearman hard, but it can be crazy. It's like we're going to try and switch to another view real quick so we can get that a little bit smarter. There we go. There we are. Right the now, bandits. Oh, that is unfortunate. Got caught slack and Crusader getting the win. And you see the spearman. Right. It is 2-3. 2-3 uh, right now. And you saw the spearman running up to take advantage. And now it is 3-1 advantage to the Reapers. And the Reapers looking to make quick work here. First to three, I believe. There and we go. Notice, even though it's a 3-1 advantage, you kind of have to time your attacks when it comes to ganging up on somebody in uh, For Honor because you get a comeback mechanic called, uh, what is it? Uh, revenge. Revenge. And that revenge ups your health, ups your damage, ups your uh, defense, and you can get revenge for your team and kill the entire enemy team. Right, right here, so. super strong start from the Reapers in that first round off with a 3-0 three, three lead, really. I mean, like, it was 3-1. They only got one down, so. All right, Samurai Four, one. versus Stamp Spearman. So that is how they hide their attack grid. So he's waiting for the Spearman to step up because if you time it right, you can actually catch them out of that and get a full combo off that can usually end up taking about 50% health if you time it right. Exactly. And in this case, like winning those ones is what's important. And it looks like the bandits have already lost one as somebody made quick work, but it is now one one. Looks like engaged fights. Two downs. There we go. Oh my lord, we got a very nice one on one oh, going over here. Ooh, samurai. We will figure out who that is because you are putting in some work, but you need to do it a little bit quicker. There we go, Caught him going your team the needs you. Caught him Beautiful. The you saw that, right? How Beautiful. He Yes. That, that that was the reach for that because that stance is so powerful. The drawback is it's startup time. You go into the stance, and then you can actually make plays. He's trying to finish them, but I don't. That mechanic isn't quite in the game. But right now the bandits are up two one. So let's see what they can do. If I'm if I'm look, it, you just put on a masterful performance. Go help out your teammates. He, he, yes, he, I understand he, getting he, need to get into that fight right there because if you it's a two v one right now. I know you have faith in your team, but go make this an unfair battle. And look at that! Wow, he didn't look even at need that. To go there. He said, well, I'm going to just play. Lovejoy Love has put on a clinic on how to deal with Spearman. 3D walking, utilizing your pokes and your fast attacks, and trying to always work to the outside of the Spearman. Punish the, the hidden stance and just always put down good damage. All right, now we got a Samurai versus Samurai matchup, so we're going to see how he handles that. But once again, Samurai's biggest ability is doing those heavy attacks out of spin. Right. Good and counter good, good counter. Let's see if Lovejoy can bring this back because he's going to be vital to them winning, but it looks like he has a formidable opponent in front of him. Looks like Lovejoy. And Ricky Rockham. One of the most underrated. Oh, oh my God. Oh, he that almost had tough. the read. He almost had the read. Yes, Unfortunately, he had a sore That was tough. Up. Ooh, Lovejoy down. So it. Oh, but two of the Reapers are down right now. So this is a three. No, backwards. One. It is It is still two, two v two. It's very interesting at this point. Let's see if the Bandits can go and sneak this win off. Oh, my Lord. Oof. I'm nervous right here. Oh, no. It's a 2v1. It's not looking good. He charges in. He Two knows that he has the defense buff. That is yes. huge, though. If he takes advantage of the fight early, he's fine. But the problem is, is Crus uh, Crusader has a very linear attack strategy. So it's either counter and deal big damage or, oh, they got to revive. They got to revive. It is 3v1. It is not looking good for the Bandits. And that defense he will buff try and time just these. about yes. ran out. So he's got to. The trick is, is actually keeping everybody in front of you. That's a good push. Now watch Try the camera shift. Oh, my Lord. Woo! You got one person behind him. You see his maneuvers is, there you go. That was a good swing. Now you got to step forward. Good oh swing. Oh, my light God. Light attack. Light attack. Come on. Knock him down. What are they there doing? Go. Oh, execution interrupted. Oh, my God. The defense buff. Still 2v. Going for the revive. Backs off of him. I don't know why they're not just attacking in unison. Getting the health back. I don't think he's good enough they're to win this battle. I, I I see what they're trying to do, but I'm not playing with it. I would just much rather go directly for. There we go, and that, it's it's tough. Like, no, using to... using a teammate as a shield, an enemy as a shield, that is a huge big brain play. If he could get that, oh, oh my no. god, what? Yo, revenge! Oh, revenge! Let's go! We got revenge. They don't have enough health. Yo, oh run my god, him go down. get him! Run go him, get him down! 
Oh. Good, si right. good sidestep. Oh, my God. Oh, with the taunt. The taunt. The cannonballs are dropping. A counter. Ooh. You got to watch it. You got to make a play on that health. Oh, oh good interruption. Locked heavy. Locked oh, him. my God. Oh. He almost had it. The revenge was so key, but he let him get too much face and able to readjust at his own. Hands feet. on my head. What a match. Oh. No joke. I'm out of breath looking that at that. That was insane. That was intense. Looks like Lovejoy's not playing around anymore, but he got caught. Did he? Woo, with the sidestep. He said, come here, give Love, me those cookies. Lovejoy is not playing around anymore because Lovejoy realized some it's, of his reads caught him out. We it's got, basically Lovejoy versus Ricky. If they don't got Ricky on Lovejoy, Lovejoy does have the advantage. But right here, looking like he may lose this. But oh, no. Whoa. And gets the level up right there. Good finish. Love it is, with the execution, so there's right. no revive available. No revive. If I if I'm Lovejoy, oh don't don't fall off the edge now. Yeah, go no. find some health. Go help your teammates because they need it. They need it. Oh, get that. Oh, speed it's, boost. it's two v one. Go ahead, get that speed boost. Three v one. Get over there. Two v one. Yep. It's still two v one. You got to go finish that off before they get the revive. I if Actually, I'm Lovejoy, I'm getting the health. Take the revive right now. You got to revive to make uh, get the numbers advantage up, and you have a one on one. Yes. In your favor, so definitely do that. Now it's easy. Oh, look he's at this. bringing them over. Oh, this is it. Look at that. Woohoo. Come here. Make sure you pay. They, they have to play with patience. There is no revive here for the Reapers. So they have the advantage. This is a huge three on one. And the issue is, as they jump in and try and jump them, that revenge can go off and you can easily take two to three people down. Waiting for his back to be turned. Yep. Look at the run in. Now, now Ooh, finish him tough. off quickly. Revenge is close. Revenge is close. Get in. You've got the shot from behind. Finish. And there we go. Look at that. The bandits making it 2 2. Showing that they're not here to play the games. It depends on whether Ricky will get matched up with Lovejoy. I think that's the difference right there because he gave Lovejoy the most issues. But if Lovejoy gets that Spearman matchup again to end up this last round, I could see the Bandits cleaning this up. All right, Bandits uh, looks like he's going against one of the Crusaders, so this could be interesting. Crus strong, oh, no. strong open. Let Good. The unblockable oh, my and God. It immediately. Yo. Lovejoy putting on a clinic right now. Let's get it. Counter. If the bandits Combo win, we dodge. gotta get there it. We, we go. gotta get it. You would love joy if the bandits win. Combo dodge. Rolling it outside. A it's a tough battle, though. Oh, oh they're they decided to get rid of Lovejoy fast as possible because he is smart, the biggest threat. That's a smart move right there. Oh no, Lovejoy! The Reaper's playing a little dirty, but you're allowed to do that here in these middle times. Can Lovejoy secure oh, this Lovejoy's after getting lose. ambushed? Lo Lovejoy. Oh yeah, there it no! Goes. I knew it. Wow. Because they were timing their unblockables to start drifting to the right as that fight progressed, and he that's, knew he's that's a roll. Tough, that's a tough loss right there oh, for, the, for the Bandits. That's a tough one. And that is that's it. a tough one. They fought very well. I think if Lovejoy would have gotten the matchup against uh, Cheese Man again, or uh, Oso Cheesy, I he think would have won that. I think that. he would have packed up Cheesy. That, and that right there. Been, that was insane. You got to feel for the Bandits. They really fought. You can tell that they've been in the lab right there, and honestly, I— I think they were better than Chris in that yes, game. It was honestly because all all the losses that the Bandits suffered at the Reapers were a one to two bar difference. It was a small read or a bad dodge. Granted, that's how the game works, but like it's one of those knowledge checks that cost them those one on ones. Right. And that that was just tough because it looked like, to be quite honest, the Bandits were outplaying them most of the way through, but the Reapers just having a, just enough strategy to really hold them over. And I think one of the things they need to talk about going into the half is communication because if that call out was made for Lovejoy to adjust. Lovejoy should would have, I think Lovejoy would have had the wherewithal to back off that fight and run in on the Reaper running on Adam. Right. Because if you interrupt that run in and start punishing him right then and there, you get a significant advantage. Exactly. Yeah, you get a significant advantage and that, whew, still, nonetheless, great one. And like great I said, it says 5 2 on the scoreboard, but I just watched three or four close games that the band, this is what the bandits have done all season. So, this right here tells me, like, might be in for for a good match right here because it has been excellent so far. Yes. We've really only had one lopsided game, and that was, what, CTR? Yes. That's it. Outside of that, they are going toe-to-toe -to -toe at the moment, and they've got Guilty Gear, and there I say they might have the advantage right here. Um, the thing, thing with fighters is, yes, when you play in this league, you're playing the will. You are an ultimate end gamer. You're a pro where you have to play to what's available on the wheel and what you have. But at the end of the day, when it comes to certain things, especially when it comes to Scarlet being the fighting game champion, you have Amazing Mare who just packed you up earlier going in for Guilty Gear. So you, in the back of your head as a competitive fighter, have to get your win back. Right. And in this case, like, for the Bandits, they, they are built as a fighting game team. They just need a little bit to up their skill level a little bit so they can give teams trouble. 
So if they can get past Scarlet, they, they're going to have a fair chance in a lot of these fighters. And I think that's part of the strategy as to why they went with this lineup. So I believe they're going to go with Lovejoy, Pokestar, and Amazing Mare right here for Guilty Gear. All of them, I know, touch it to some degree. We are going to see Scarlet. If I had to guess, probably... Ooh, that's tough. Scarlet, Chicken, and I would say definitely Hollywood. not Noop. No, that, mm, it'd be Hollywood or, or Cat. And I think at this point, they'll put in Cat. Uh, just to... Maybe cheesy if they really think that Scarlet is significantly better than Amazing Mare. And then from there, it's going to be the uh, order decision that's going to make a difference because you have Lovejoy, who I think I think is a solid pick. Well, see. Okay. Yeah, but I haven't seen too much of Lovejoy in Guilty Gear. So he may have been in a lab. I don't know. I just I haven't seen enough to really warrant and say, like, hey, like it's going to make a significant difference here. I do know I've seen Pokestar, and I've definitely seen Amazing Mare. Uh, Amazing Mare is a Jacko player. Lovejoy going with Kai, definitely a base player. Uh, I'd say the most fundamentally sound fighter in, in that game. Yeah, Kai's, Kai and Soul have been those uh, those dueling base characters, like main character story in this aside, but their kits, their usability, and their overall kit, just solid fundamentals. If you know the game, you can be a problem for everybody against you. Ooh, and Dead look at this. Daylight. Oh, the dude, Reapers dude. forfeiting Guilty Gear. Knowing that they're at a disadvantage there. So we looking at four or five right now, baby. With DVD coming up. Right. And we will give you guys a rundown on who went in for the Reapers as well. But for the Bandits, it was Amazing Mare, Poker Star, and Lovejoy. The Reapers, we will give you an update as to who is and not available for this Dead by Daylight game. RPS depend determines winner. I'm sorry, killer versus survivors and survivors. And then whoever makes the pick, the other team does get the choice of the map. And in my opinion, I think this is a time where if you were the bandits, I don't know how confident they are in their killer mains, but this would be one of the few times I would actually, uh, I would give up killer to the Reapers because I think the Reaper team, I don't know how good they do with Dead by Daylight, but yeah. you do not want for them against one of you. And it's kind of vice versa with the uh, the team coercion, but personally, I would rather have the Reapers be on Killer than on Survivor. Well, Pain for Board normally plays their Killer, and he's out of rotation for this, right? So, depending on, I mean, I'm still going for Killer, right? I think that gives us gives you your better chance, even if you don't necessarily know how to use Killer, you can you can almost wing it if you have somebody that understands the game enough. Now, so you might not know the little metas and, and tricks to get the kills done, but. The, the basis of the game is, is interrupt the generators, interrupt them, and, and get them on the hook. And I think it's a little easier to pick up on Killer than it is Survivor, because Survivor requires four people who know what they're doing as opposed to one. Four people, not to mention uh, kit management, item management, and then looping, which is running the Killer around spaces, and then pallet dropping, and then also skill checks when it comes to healing and repairing those generators. So I, I can see your argument on that. It's just that the way the game's currently structured, Survivors have a huge advantage, especially with the uh, options killers have the option, the options of killers that we uh, players have to choose from compared to survivors. Because survivors has access to every perk in the game right now, whereas killers only have you only access to a certain amount of killers. Yeah. So it it sets up some weird strategy and weird conflicting situations where skill and knowledge of the game is what gets the killers over. It, it, it is, it is, but we've seen newer killers also get away with the w so it just depends on what lineup the reapers decide to go in they do lab this game they do play for sure and right now it looks like the reapers one killer so it's kind of a moot mo argument so you're kind of getting what you wanted to see and the bandits play survivor do i think that they have the coordination to pull this off that i am not sure about if i'm the bandits i'm considering a forfeit here they they have gotten the three wins right they didn't get that forfeit because they weren't good they got that forfeit because the Reapers knew what was coming. In my opinion, in this particular situation, one of the cool things about Dead by Daylight is, yes, it is a team game running on the survivor side, but you can turn it into a 1v1v1v killer because you can have people dedicate to dealing with just a killer or dealing with just generators, and it makes the killer make a decision on who's important and who they want to focus on because you can loop a killer who's greedy for somebody who's pallet dropped them or gotten a save off of them and make them tunnel them but which I, means focus them i'll tell you right now though if the cat's going in this is gg really he's, cats he's, like that he's uh, the hype was there for a reason right true he's very good he's he's good at killing that by the way he's a good killer 
I will be judging him. I mean, you can judge him all you want. The results will speak. Huh? I mean, but just like, like 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 we've been saying this entire time, these have not. There's been few commanding wins on either side of the board, so it ain't over till it's over. It ain't over till it's over, right? I'm telling you, it's over. I've seen enough, right? I'm going to make an educated guess. Educate. If I was going to the lotto, right? Going to the lotto. But yeah, if I was gambling on this, right? Gambling. My odds for this game right here, with this current setup with the cat, would probably be negative 800, right? Because uh, I'd have to spend what ten dollars to get eight back. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's exactly. How it works yeah, that's exactly that's exactly how I feel about this. That's that's how confident I feel in in the cat in this situation. So yes, I will spend that ten dollars to get eight dollars. I I ain't mad at you on it. It's yeah. gonna be interesting, like you said. Um, I am hoping that we see some interesting from the bandits when it comes to how they deal with the legendary Mister Meow Mix, aka the Cat, aka apparently that dude, Timothy see, himself, the third. I see, like it's, it's a bit of hype, but yeah, like they they got to this record with him without him. Right? But he is a a a factor that. Puts them over the top, if I do say so myself. But, and I think in this game, he's shown time in and time out that he understands how to play killer, plays a good killer, and will go ahead and make quick work. I just don't think that the Bandits have the coordination to stand to this in this situation. Not that he can't be outthought as a killer, per se, but it's not. he doesn't exactly make it easy for teams. Like I said, he's been, in, he, he, he's been here and hasn't been here, but he hasn't been here since I've been here, so I'm definitely looking forward to this because Dead by Dolly is definitely one of my personal favorites in a game that's near and dear to my heart. So I, I hope I get to see some good killer because there's not a lot of them. Because I've seen good survivors and I see bad survivors, but I've never seen a good killer. Feel me? Ooh, you need to watch a little bit more, brother. We, we got a few out here. I'm just saying. You can raise the shades all you want. It doesn't change what I said. <laughs> like, I, know, I know what I said. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. And, of course, like, We've got the timeout that was called, right? Yeah. Mentioned it earlier. That that right there should tell you everything. They really want to get in this game without any issues. And, and, it, let, and it, let Catman and do it cat might, thing. And it might be a quick killing. Okay. Gonna bounce around all nibbly bibbly like a cat. Yeah, I wonder what the next spin's gonna be, because at this point we will have been through nine games after Dead by Daylight, right? Yep. So with okay. that being said, we've got a good portion of sports games still left on the wheel. We've got a good portion of fighting games left on the wheel. Uh -huh. And a lot of shooters left on the a wheel. A lot of shooters. I don't even touch one yet, have we? We played Gundam. Gundam earlier. That It feels like strategy, but it is def definitely a shooter. That felt like an ass whooping. Right. <laughs> uh, butt whooping, excuse me. Hey, man, it's fine. Yeah. Shannon Sharp can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Skip. See, there you go. That's, a, that's, that's how I look at it. I mean, like, yeah, looks like that, right? Well, no, I mean, we heard it on NBI. But that's besides the point. We are not going to harp on my fair partner's foul language. Bad. I'm a bad, bad person. Third it's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what rolls after this, and then how fast this game goes. Because I think we roll straight. If we, sorry, I'm running the numbers in my head, and I think the average time to get a 4K, which is all four survivors dead, is about 10 to 15 minutes. So we might not see the next game in this half, but we will see what's going to be at the beginning of the next half. Unless we get a quick killing. And a timeout used for their next spin. That's what. That's why. That's why they called this timeout because they knew that they wanted to get this set up and get the game up and running. Because they, they, they honestly feel like they can get a quick, quick win here. I'm not saying that it's gonna happen per se, but it might be quicker than even you're thinking. And I think that's going straight into the strategy. So honestly, excellent timeout called right here. Depending on what game gets played after, they could finish this because I believe we've got 11 minutes. And it's looking like another timeout. Yeah. So the call. bandits. Getting charged a timeout again. Oh no, not charged. They called it. So still a little bit of setup issues. So maybe the, the I think the also. bandits might be tuning their kits. And just like uh, Rocket Zero when he came out earlier with how he played in Madden, this might be something that the bandits have been labbing and built strats for, and they're getting everything set up. And yep. this could be something where in the event that people might have been want, they might have gone back and walked out the Reapers potential killers. Yeah, but if and you, have a strat. If you don't know, if you don't know what killer you're going up against necessarily, right? Because Cat hasn't played killer in a while, so you may have switched your strategy. Some of that labbing doesn't necessarily go the the way you want it. 
that is true, but the one of the really frustrating things is if somebody who's a former killer main is survivors have like four perks that all of them can run, and no matter who the killer is, they're a pain. Granted, those perks have been nerfed over the past couple of seasons, but still, that that general kit still hasn't changed. So that could be a decision where they are working out the kit and their items to make sure everybody's set up properly. Yeah, for sure. And at this point, like that's what we're that's what we're looking at, right? Going back to the wheel. I mean, we we brought it up and started brushing up on it a little bit earlier, but what are you thinking? Are you thinking maybe oh, you know what would be interesting between these two teams? What's up? League of Legends, because the Reapers really don't play League of Legends. I think I've never seen the Reapers boot up a game of League. If they they're... they forfeit it. Um, that would be hilarious. They normally just straight forfeit that game. Uh, knowing Hollywood and them, if they get ahead enough in League, and if League shows up late enough in the game, they'll have no problem forfeiting it. I wouldn't be surprised. If they, well, I know they're like they like to run up scores and play games, but I wouldn't be surprised to see them make a coaching decision for once, since it is the playoffs. And boot up a game of league and just be bots. Make them go through the entire motion and eat up the entire clock. Yeah. Because that is a to, real strategy. To my knowledge, there's only a couple people that are on the bench that play League of Legends, but that's more than enough than to the make Reapers. a difference. Yeah. Yep. So in this case, uh, that may be what the bandits go for. So that's a game that would definitely be interesting if it rolls up. Right now, we've got another timeout as we get this set up. And we'll get that cracking out to you. I mean, at some point, like I said. How are the, how are the Reapers with Siege? Because that's another personal Ooh, favorite of mine. Very good. Very, very good. good. They're yeah, really very good. good season. Season. Well, mostly Hollywood. Hollywood, Hollywood does this thing in Siege for them. He, I'm not gonna say carries necessarily, he, but he puts in a lot of work and he yeah. makes their jobs a lot easier in Rainbow Six Siege. So Reapers is one of the better Siege teams in the league for sure. I like, I like, I like how uh, Hollywood directs the team when playing there. I still remember it to this day, uh, about three weeks ago, where Hollywood told uh, Super Noob to rotate as Cavera from upstairs. And it ended up getting them packed up, and it was a bad call. I think they ended up winning the round because of a last-second clutch. But that's it was one. an ace. W was it, it was an ace for that? Yeah, Hollywood aced that. Okay. So things worked out for that because him with uh, Super Noob going down his calf and allowed him to refrag everybody and ace. But it's going to be interesting to see if Hollywood's going to let some of his roamers, if Siege rolls, be roamers, and then call them when he needs them. But uh, what do you think the Bandits can actually – is there a game on the wheel that's still left that you look at and look at the bandits and go, yeah, easy dub or easy really, dub? Easy might be a stretch, but like, yeah, the bandits can definitely do this. Could definitely. King of Fighters. I think King of Fighters with that rules in League of Legends, like I was saying earlier, I think those are two impossibly smash, possibly smash. I thought uh, Mr. New played uh, Super New played Smash. He does kind of, not really. Okay, okay, okay. All right, looks like we're going into the fog. We got the wheel coming up for the next game. What do we got? Show me potato salad. This will determine a lot. We will get the time back up to you. And look, look at that. All right. Yeah, so, what, what it, all right. So that, for that. so for the people watching right now, if you're looking at these offerings being burnt, those are called white oak. And when the survivors bring them in, it increases the distance and spaces on the hooks for the killer. So what the bandits are going to be doing is get the hook spaced away from the killer. And then the last offering didn't flip over, so that means the killer's running Memento Mori. Meaning when you hook a survivor twice, instead of having to hook him the third time, you can just instantly kill them and get him out the game. So what the bandits are planning on doing is keeping Cat stretched out, making him risk losing a survivor during uh, his chases and his hooks, and try and draw out the game that way. So it's going to be interesting to see how it actually plays out in game, but I felt like I needed to get that out immediately. But what were you saying, brother? Well, I'm just saying, League of Legends rolled up right after, and I was like, this was definitely one of the games which would make the, the timeout strats very interesting. So you might get a forfeit timeout from the Reapers right over here, and that would give four wins, and then they'll spin again just to get the timeout if they like the game after. So risky strategies, or they could come out just to have play it and grind it out, like you said. It so it's tough. It kind of crazy that League of Legends rolls right after. I'm like, hey, man, yeah, that'd be crazy if that rolled right here. And then Super Smash Bros. in two of the games that I think the, the Bandits have a decided advantage on. And look, just, back to back. And looks like we're in game now. And like I said, they ran four White Oaks. Looks like Pokestar just got down and grabbed by Catman. Uh, we got a failed skill check on Generator with two people. So that's going to set them back about a quarter of the progress. We got, let's see, Bernadette. Bernadette for Chet. 
Mm. Right, the hooks are already on the hook. And then painful. Leaving the generator for s- some reason. I think they're going to go get them off the hook. I would have stayed on uh, the gen. You can't yeah. see skill check. You oh, okay, there we go. And you noticed how the repair bar turned yellow. The uh, spine, t- uh, spine chill popped, meaning the killer was looking at them affecting their progress. So Claudette, there we go. The name just clicked in my head. So we got Claudette cutting through middle right now. I personally think you need to be rotating around the backside of the map and getting to another generator instead of sitting around on this hook. Fortunately, there's a good chance the killer's running a perk called Barbecue and Chili. And that means whenever you hook a survivor, you reveal every survivor on the map outside of your terror radius. Terror radius is uh the range the killer gives a heartbeat to to all the players. So it's a really good information perk because if you see where everybody's at, you know what you can do. And if you don't see somebody, you know they're close. And I just want to say this. Last time I checked, this is another master class performance from the cat right now. And Dead by Daylight. Because he's got some hooks and they don't have a single generator done. Yeah, it's this is this is not a good start. You have two survivors already one hook on them. You got uh Luchi Sama already injured and no generator work being done, and they're just standing around doing nothing. The problem is when you have a killer like this that is this confident, you need to spread out. You need to go into a two one one strat and start setting up across the map. But instead they're playing on the hooks and can't do that. Yep. And remember what I said about that time, right? So once this is pretty much GG, if this is a quick enough finish, what are you going to do? Like, you know what I mean? That's that's what I'm saying. So I, I highly doubt that they're going to want to play League of Legends to finish. So one of the strategies might be to actually let them live a little bit longer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like just that in the overall, you don't have that issue. Yeah, I can definitely see the time management on that. Let them live and let uh let them deal with the lack of time because the league, like you said, will be an FF. So do they want to just have this game run out the entire first half and then get the dub? Well, really, the key is to get it to the six minute mark. But they may just forfeit this and then have the next game roll call a timeout. That way, they have to play the last game. So that's who we're watching right now is uh one of the Bandits players, as you can already tell, because they're survivors, and that's actually Luchi Sama in particular on the Claudette. And uh you can tell his skill checks aren't aren't all the way there yet. And he's very skittish because every time Spine Shield, that's perk on the top right of his uh diamond on the bottom right goes off, he immediately runs and moves. And that's where inexperience as a survivor and in this game becomes a problem because that repair progress that could have been almost half by now got weight. Oh, that's a big miss on the skill check. Yeah, like I said. And now he's healing. And this is where I think I have to agree with you about Cat, about him being a phenomenal killer because he's in their heads rent-free right now. Yeah. He's on the other side of the map. Spine Shield has not triggered for Lucci in almost a minute now, and he's completed nothing but heal. And that is a huge issue. Right. So right now, time is not being maximized effectively by the bandits. They have to hit these skill checks. And they have to get these generators up and running because right now they are on the hook. It looks like Painful Board is on his second. And one more means he's done. Painful Board uh, Painful board just got hit with a Trapper Trap. So now he has a 25% chance of getting out of it when these, the skill checks pop. So he has to get out of it before Catman gets to him. These skill checks are hurting. Yep. And they're hurting the bandits a lot more than it hurt me because this this was a chance to go four or five, right? Catch them off guard. But that's why those games earlier were super important to clutch out and knock out City. And what was the other super close one? Uh, we had Need for Speed. Yes, Need for Speed. Like, you got to capitalize whenever you have the, the better team, right? Yep. And when it comes to Need for Speed, when that last turn came in, didn't have the knowledge of handling gravel. Now we got Luchi Summer right now. Not having a lot of the knowledge on what he can be bold and what he can't be bold about. And here we are right now, missing skill checks and not getting that 50% mark on a generator is huge. Because if three survivors go down, that's it. Right. And that's the thing. The cat is not even close to him. He should have been done with the generator. Those skill checks, man. Those skill checks. Because you get it. And then all the players, their issue is they hear the sound indicator for the skill check. And then they immediately respond to it instead of letting it go off and then respond to it once it's on the wheel. Looks like we got a good one there, so there's no bonus progression, but at least he's able to get it going. 
now we have Catman looking at him. Now the question is to find out. Oh, he's not Trapper. I thought he was Trapper. What mask? Oof. Oh, Lucci. Yeah, Lucci trying to go go with the Jukes, but that's that's a big time wasted opportunity right there. You had a long time to hit the skill check, and you 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 know it's something that they have to lab up a little bit more. And this is what I'm talking about. Some of these games you just gotta forfeit them if you're asking me, right? If you don't think you're gonna win it, like forfeit it. Get to the games that you can because they could have forced them to play League of Legends or at least forfeit League of Legends and see what's next. And who knows? That's a game that you can win. And at this point, you're looking at, what, four, five, six, right? Yeah. And looking at a much closer game going into half, and now you're coming out of half having to dig out. So if those games that rolled, right? Like, so if you don't think you can beat the, if you don't think you can beat them, don't even. In this case, in this situation, getting them off the hook, very good. Hey, thanks, teammate. First generation just got completed about 20 seconds ago. So one step closer, only looks like Magnus got two hooks. So Magnus on death hook and Magnus got hit. And Lucci is just kind of creeping around the map. Bro, you got to you gotta get in there. You got to get on generators. Looks like Painful and Pokestar are on generators right now. Looks like they got off. Who would just be leaving candles up the steps like that? Back then, they were crazy. Hey man, murder dimension. This is not even the real world. Did you do you actually know the backstory about Dead by Daylight? I do not. So each one of the killers have either had an unfortunate circumstance in their life that got them sent there, or they were psychopaths in the first place. Uh the Wraith was actually a illegal immigrant that worked in a junkyard and he witnessed a mafia kill happen. So right before he tried to get away, they tried to kill him, and he actually crushed one of the mafia guys and became emboldened by it, started killing people, and eventually he was caught and he died. And that axe is actually one of his victims' heads. Well then. Yeah, it's... That's a nice story for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Dead by daylight. Not child friendly. Alright, and with that, Lucci is in struggle state. Right, and they did manage to get down three of the generators, so just two more left. But taking too much damage... They're going to lose at least one, if not two, of their survivors. Looks so like really is on a generator right now by the looks of that indicator on the bottom screen. Lucci's missing skill checks again. So Boar's hit. And, oh, he's the obsession. That's what that is. Uh, so when that uh, bracket goes around, that's when the obsession is being chased, if my memory is right. And his bar just went yellow. That means he's either critically injured or it's like hemorrhage or bleed, I think. So that means he either takes additional damage while he sprints. Good rescue on the hook with one generator left. And wow, Cat just sat there in stealth. All right, uh, borrowed time gets burned right there. So now Cat had to make a decision on if he was going to follow up with chasing the Claudette or not. And got away. Don't get in the locker. Don't get in the locker. No, no, no. Get in the locker. It's a great idea. I promise. Uh, no, it's fine. You know, and get out of there immediately. You yeah, know, let's get in there to get out of there. And if you notice right now, that's what makes Lucci has a heavy bleed that he needs to address, or he will get downed again. The bloodier your screen gets, which will pretty much eliminate him if he gets caught out again. Well, let's see if he can beat it out. He's definitely healing right now. So he has to mend, and then he has to heal again to actually get back. So they've got one more generator that if they can finish, I mean it'll go a long way if, if they can if they can maintain Lucci two. Can but right there, letting the killer know where you are. From another missed skill check. But if you look right now, you're in, they're in a great position. They're not in the three gym, which is where all three of the generators are on one side of the map. You have Wuchi working on the generator now. You have Pokestar working on the generator now. And then you have Manga working on the generator now. So that's three people actively working on the generator in three different places on the map, making things harder for Cat. Now, the trick is, is if Painful Boar is able to get a heal off properly, which he just did, he can either start positioning near a door because the doors are already spawned. You can see the outlines on the edge of the map, the giant uh, brick archways. The trick here now is getting a generator finish, which Lucci's heading towards right now. Is this a – oh, it's a healing totem. Okay. That's actually cool. That's what that blue totem is. Uh -oh. So – He needs that. Oh, that's a down right there for Pokestar. Hopefully, Manda can finish his generator, and Luch Lucci needs to Let's get Let's see if Lucci up. can clutch this right here because yeah. at this point, no more drop skill checks – Going towards, he's trying to figure out where the killer's about to hook them. And I think this is where that white oak has did them that huge justice on how they're able to catch up on those generators. Right. Because Cat's been playing uh, playing off the survivors, not so much the gens. 
and that's something a lot of good killers do, and sometimes overly cocky killers do, is they play off survivors, not the objective. Lucci right here could have been working on a generator, but honestly, I think he doesn't trust his own ability to not skill check. And also, the doors are now active now. So if you see the bottom left right now, that door indicator means it's now time to power up the doors and go for the escape. What I Lucci needs to do right now is heal himself up and start making a play to charge one of the doors. Yeah, that was an excellent, excellent communication move because that's why he wasn't working on the gen. They already had it. And oh my god, they all right. are all clustered. All right. It's not good. So you need to leave him alone. You need you need to leave him alone and need to get him out. I don't know why they're picking up but not charging a door because charging a door right now and getting out is your biggest priority. Now there's two people down. So that's two people. Two downs. He's probably gonna come back here to clean up. Yep. Yeah, I mean, that's what he's down. doing. You right. gotta run. Oh no, that Takes is the safety hit. Big now mistake. we'll see if Kat's gonna pay attention. And Lucci chose a horrible path to run in. Oh, overzealous swing. All right. We, trying to loop him, but at this point it, Cat's gonna tough. Cat's gonna break chase because he knows Lucci's not a priority player, and going back to one of the down survivors and making sure he doesn't get picked up is gonna be the big brain play for Cat. Trying to all right, survivor. You need you need to get these heels off. You need to get or or not split split split. This is this is a close one. I'm so, not gonna lie. Lucci need they need to leave Lucci on the ground. A focus are painful. Need one of the other three need to get on the door right now. Looks like they just healed on the back side of the map. That's where you see those two yellow indicators. And Pokestar just got down. Yeah, if two of them can hit the door the door here, they're, they'll be fine. He's going for the... This is your time. You need to be on a door right now. Yeah, this could be they're horribly coming. mismanaged from the bandits. They're they're going for the pickup. That's And both of them are coming. This is going to be GG here in a second. Because Spine Shield just triggered. And then now... With Spine Shell going red on and off like that, that means uh, Cat is looking towards where he saw Lucha get down and looking away so he can see if anybody's already cut across the map. Pokestar's done, so let's see what they can do here. They can't group like this. Yeah, they're grouped. They're making it nice and easy and for Cat to kind of pick them up. Just ran past the crow, so that means Cat has a general idea on what part of the map they're on, and as they're running, they're leaving scratch marks everywhere, which only the killer can see. They have no idea. There's, there's no markings on where the door is, and I think Cat... They had a door prep? They had a door prep? Yo, they're getting out. They're getting out. Whoa. Yo, let's go. <laughs> let's go, Bandit. Yo. Oh, they, let's go. The cat is shot. The Yo. cat is shot. Oh, my God. I, I think the, I think Lucci was the bait. They Yo. left Lucci behind on purpose. And Yo. So they used their weaker player. Because remember I was telling you about how he was playing the players and not the generators? They left Lucci behind because he's going to... Oh. Shout out to the bandit. Shout out to Rex. And shout the out to the are not playing leagues. That ties them up. Uh, sir, I think I owe you an apology. Sir. Sir, I have to give you your props. Oh, let's go. The wow. bandits went with the strat. I said, don't give the Reapers their teamwork as survivors. Yo, and they came together in the clutch. They're going crazy over there. The, the bandits called a timeout to make sure that League of Legends is played. Oh, the I'm sorry. The Reapers called a timeout. They want to play League of Legends. This is a new one. The Reapers are playing League. Tr they're essentially saying that there isn't any firepower over there for League. That's what they're saying. This is going to be the first time we see the Reapers play League. Is this one of those things that they've been labbing constantly on their own time, out of sight, out of mind, so all they can be ready for the playoff? All I'm going to say is there's one person that's here that isn't normally here, and all of a sudden now they're playing League. Coincidence? And the way we play League in the UEL, a lot of your gameplay and a lot of your points come from the jungle. So, is Catman a jungle man? We'll see. We'll see. I'm just more intrigued with the fact that there have been two games that, quite two, really three games that the Bandits could have won. And we may have been looking at a 6-4 <laughs> going, 6-4, possibly 6-3, going the Bandits way right now if they were able to clutch up in those last situations. And like we said, just because they're the underdog doesn't mean they didn't come to they didn't come prepared to fight. They've got a full seven man rotation, something that they haven't normally run. So in this case, they're here for their respect and that bag, baby. Yeah, the cat, the cat. I was, he was laughing. He was like, "Yo, there's no way they just got me." That that was impressive. I'm not gonna lie. That that's one of the most impressive performances because they had us all going. I mean, if you guys could hear right here how crazy everybody's going, both teams. Like the, that was completely unexpected. The white oak, the white oak offerings to spread out all the hooks, the buy time. I think, and then I think Magna and who else was in there for that? Uh, it was Magna, Rocket, Painful Boy, and Lucci. So that means 
Magna, Painful, and Rocket were all incompleting generators across the map, and Lucci was doing skill check baits. <laughs> Sounds... Yo, so if they ever went after Luffy... Lucci, he would think... Bandits! Yeah. Bandits, let's go! Big brain strategy, I love it. I love it. Because we were sitting there watching Lucci like, yo... Why is he whiffing, like... Every skill check. And, and he, but he hit, but the thing was, and I didn't, it didn't click in my head till just now. He hit all his healing skill checks, either good or great. So Lucci was being annoying because one of the things is the killer is that anybody misses a skill check or jumps or makes noise, it explodes and makes an indicator on the map. So that means he was constantly causing a draw to that side of the map. And then. Yeah, it's just big brain. Like we're sitting here and. Uh, like yeah, it's the bandits they don't play dead by daylight like that no nah, no way and lo and behold look at what we just ran into ah uh, there's few times i get to be right when it comes to the uel and calling games in my opinion on things and that was probably the most satisfying right i i'm ever gonna have but mostly because it was left and they made it right um let's just call it what it is nobody was expecting it it was just like all right cool this is this is their general idea i got that part but what is luch oh now we've got league of legends being played before happened honestly smart play from from the reapers they just dropped a game that they weren't expecting to drop right they clutched up games that honestly the bandits were probably expecting to win so league of legends not usually their strong suit they've never played it this season but they are playing it this time because it is a 20 minute game so going into half they're going to use it as somewhat of a, a melker right so they didn't want to call a forfeit but at the same time if they're going to beat us they're going to make us beat them and only use really we were only about a minute and a half over on the uh time before we head into halftime so with league being a 20 to 25 minute game really smart play from the reapers to really keep momentum even if they are to lose league of legends they're still gonna be they're gonna use a it, good tempo play exactly. for playing the uel which i i, I and now they get to come back out at half they don't have to worry about a 20 to 25 minute game or a forfeit in that game we've got playoffs baby we got do we have a match do we have a match playoffs baby. Uh, last time i checked chance. it is four five right now and this is what i was saying we have seen plenty of bandits games this season look exactly like this that is true i think people were fooled early in the season when they got um beat by the ravens by that that's score count that's really the only time it's happened all well, season where that's the only that time like somebody's been blown out like that right in in that capacity okay in that capacity which is you know what has people you know just thinking across the league like it's more so about are these teams going to play their best games on those days right and here's something um i want to bring attention to because the playoffs gonna be a lot tighter tighter next season season seven we got four new teams coming out but rex has always talked about these games don't matter these games don't matter. We're all going to be in the playoffs anyway. What if a lot of that was just getting his players used to everything and they're labbing in the back? So in, in any of these games happen, oh, man, it's just the bandits. Oh, for man, sure. The bandits. I mean, I think these games matter. It's the difference between playing the booze and playing the bandits and seeding, right? So your seeding does matter. But so here we are now. I know, I know what you're saying. It doesn't matter in terms of being in, but it, it, he's been saying this the whole time. So it doesn't it doesn't shock me, right? Rex, the the coach of the bandits right he's been thinking this whole time it doesn't matter i just want to get them developed and this is what he does rex is a is a he's he's a he's a scout man he knows how to find talent and he knows how to develop it and i think this is what he was he was going for magnus am a really strong rookie pick from this season and, like Maggie's and finding cool dude. and finding diamonds in the rough and lucia and rocket zero both undrafted and in the free agent market you didn't know that? No. Yeah, a lot of that. Those pivot, two. Yeah, a lot of those. That, two. That, it happens, man. Yeah. Hey, Nick, look, shooting out to another sport. Nikola Jokic was a second round pick. He's about to win a third straight MVP. Sometimes you never know. Brock Purdy was Mr. Irrelevant. Almost carried his team to the Super Bowl. I'm just saying, bro. Like, just do your diligence. And to all the GMs watching out here, like, make sure you're doing that diligence do your for this work. draft because. Last thing you want to do is potentially be the Reapers getting clapped up by some two players that you passed over. But then again, the Reapers were in the same position not that long ago. They started last season 0-2, started this season 0-2. Everybody said that they weren't going to win games with the Cat, and lo and behold, that's what it is. Now we've got another timeout. This is going to be a killer for the Bandits in the second half as they're left with only one timeout and not the time that you want to end up using the timeout either. That's rough. You can't. It In this situation, I'd almost forfeit then use that timeout. 
Yeah. Like it's, like it's, the time it, it's it's it sucks to give up a game that you know you should win, but like that timeout, that second timeout will come up in the second half, and I guarantee it's going to be the difference between them either clinching it or guaranteeing them losing it. It's going to be no in between. It's either they're guaranteed win or it costs them the loss. And there's one thing here at UEL that we we've, we've seen: you got to play these matches out, man. You you can't just rely on one thing. You have to play these matches out. And at this point, that's exactly what's going on. Looks like everybody's getting loaded in right now, so we're waiting for them to hit the rift. And it's going to be interesting, like you said, if it's going to be a drain game of the Reapers just kind of let the game play out the full timer, or if we see a dominant performance either from Mr. Meow, a.k.a. Catman, a.k.a. Hemothy, a.k.a. the dude that let three people escape just a game ago, and the Bandits. Well, don't forget, Ricky is an underrated player out here. It's like this does not. This wouldn't surprise me. This wouldn't surprise me if we see something different out of the Reapers, right? They haven't played it all season, but true. Being in, I mean, hearing hearing things that they've been they've been in that grind phase. So, wanted to make sure that League of Legends was no longer an automatic forfeit, right? You want to have some sort of decency in the game, and I think this is their time to test out, saying, "Hey, it's against the Bandits. It's technically the weaker team by record, right? Records are almost in flux, right? I think it's one nine and eight two, right? Yep. So." Anything can happen. And then Anything is possible. Saw with Rocket Zero and the band is with them breaking out tech into the playoffs now. There's a good chance the Reapers have done that too. Oh, it's the Reapers. Ah, league rolls at least one point. It, yeah. It's this this is going to be a nice little battle. This is going to be a nice little battle. Let's find out. But tomorrow. What's happening tomorrow? What's happening tomorrow? What's happening tomorrow? I don't know, bro. Just another playoff game. Third game of the playoffs, right? Third yep. game of the playoffs. Another winner go home, right? Yeah, pretty much. So, so who's so who's uh, playing for that? Bro, do I even pay attention to this league? I don't know. I I heard about it. Saw it on TV. Maybe saw a couple of text messages and advertisements. But it's gonna be the Rillas versus Karma. Talk about a team of growth and a team of dominance. Yes. Now. That being said, Gorillas versus Karma. Karma coming in after dropping to the Ghost in their last game, right? And didn't when the Ghost and the Gorillas met last time, or the Ghost and Karma met, didn't the Gorillas beat them, or was that like a really close game if I remember right? Because they lost to somebody wild recent, uh, a couple weeks ago. Are you talking about Karma? Yeah. yeah that, that's who they dropped. They dropped to the Ghost. No, I'm talking about the Gorillas. Didn't the, no, the, gr the Gorillas pulled off the upset victory against the Ravens. Oh, okay. That was their last game. Of the okay, season. okay. So, right there, the Gorillas trying to pull off another upset of the number two seeded Karma. It's gonna be interesting to see it happen because the growth on the Gorillas alone has been insane. With LJ Skater Girl, Jekyll, my God, Mister OG, OG Sk oh, sorry, LJ Skater Girl, Jekyll, Stars, Young Phenom out here getting better by the day, Tekken fund fundies on the uptick. Then you've got Bernay Alchemist rounding out for the probably the best FIFA duo in the league right now. Like they their synergy in that game is absolutely ridiculous. So the Gorillas looking looking to make that upset, but it's not going to be easy because Karma is a shooter team, a shooter team, and also one of the another one of those like complete teams that are. Uh... You just look at them and you don't see a bad option for any game. Now, see, Karma, Karma saying that they only dropped that last game because, quote, unquote, they don't have their starting lineup in. But last time I checked, whatever lineup you put in, that's it's your start. starting lineup. So, I mean, I, I, I make sure to reiterate that to, to the team. Like, you, you're going to have matchups, right? Every matchup is different. So I don't look at anything as a starting lineup as for, as opposed to like, hey, this is what we're going for this matchup. And we're trying to create this issue for the other team because having, for instance, the Reapers, right? Instead of Cheesy as their sports guy, they could have put in Straitza. But Cheesy does touch a few more of the games at a higher level, so they put him in for the well-rounded aspect of it. So it's not that Straitza wouldn't have been a fit here, but you could easily put Straitza into this lineup for any one of those players up there and be like, yeah, this is their starting lineup, and you would have had a plausible reason. So, hey, that Gorillas karma matchup, the Gorillas are probably saying the same thing. Hey, we're sending in our starting lineup. I'm talking about come get this work. That's how it is. That's how it is. I know the Gorillas are amped up. Got got a chance to talk to them. So, going to be another exciting game. I'll definitely be tapping in.
making sure that we got. Right. Going into champion select right now, we got a Warwick Jungle, which is a Oh, hold on. Well, let's get this wheel spin out of the way, and I'll speak my mind just a second and see what we got coming up after speak the half. Speak your mind, speak your mind. Moto GP. All right. So we started off with the patience coming out of the half. But if you notice, who's that X-ray aspect? Who's that is? So we got Ricky. Rock and Ricky's on Yasuo Jungle, which is a very greedy play off of the fact that uh, Yasuo's, I think it might have been updated. But I believe his passive doesn't work on jungle camp still, which allows him to mitigate damage for a couple of seconds. But we'll see how that goes. But Rocket Zero, with the Warwick in the jungle, allowing him to try and get early healthy clears and try and get uh, demand and control of those major monsters for the points. Because kills only count for one, count for one point in the UEL, where your Rift Herald and your Dragons and your Baron Nashers, where your big point leads are what's going to happen. So at the end of the game, at 25 minutes, unless you have a 25-minute ne 25 Nexus break, is going to determine what or who wins. So let's see what we got. We got probably Annie mid, Warwick jungle, Lucian and Seraphine bot with Gwen top lane with the flash and ignite. Oh no, they're running double. Oh, okay. So it turns out the Reapers are going to be running double smite, meaning they're going to have extra pressure on those jungle camps and a easier way to secure those points when those team fights break up or break out over those camps. Let's see, so we got Mordekaiser top, Yasuo mid, Samira supporting. Samira, Samira's at eighty carry. So you, so Yumi, uh, so Yumi, Samira, Evel Evelyn. Jungle, Yumi Samira bot, and the mortar kind of stop. Okay, I'm it took me a second to get uh get my uh, mind wrapped up all properly there. I apologize. But it's gonna be interesting to see how they push forward and try and push their advantages. Right, so based off of your analysis off top, who would you say has the advantage based off the team? Uh I personally like Warwick more in the jungle because he's able to stay stay healthy and utilize a lot of his kit in order to get really good clears. But that's my own personal bias. Biases, biases, bias. But uh, the Reapers coming in with double smite kind of negates that uh, ability that Warwick has because that means when two people rotate in, that's two, that's two, three hundred, eight hundred, and I believe a thousand at max level true damage done on the camps that they can fight with compared to Warwick's single smite and no executes. So it's gonna be yeah. Right. Sorry. Okay. Well, no, I just want to go and give everybody who is who. So we are going to be spectating Luchi-sama. Cheesy is running Yumi as Straitza. Mr. Meow is the cat as Samira. Ricky Ray is, I'm sorry, Ricky Rockham is X-Ray Aspect using Yasuo. Dictator Chicken is self-identified using Evelyn. Hollywood is Hollywoodster. There we go. And we will keep the score updated for you guys as well as we go through. And for the bandits, Luchisama is Lucian, projecting as as Flurry. Pokestar is Sapphire. Magnus Sam is Gwen, going as Go Rogue. Amazing Mare is the Amazing Mare, running Annie. Rocket Zero is Rocket Zero 99, using Warwick. So, that is who is who for those. And we will try and keep you guys updated on who's scoring what. We do have a different way of doing it here at the UEL. We'll find. But one of the nifty things about Warwick Jungle is that he's able to get early dragons and early Rift Heralds without team support. So that can be a sneaky way for them to steal objectives. And just keep an eye on that bottom right part of the map. As you see Warwick starting to circle from his bottom camps, he, he got blue done early. Now it looks like he's going for Scuttle Crab, but check in the mid. All right, so he warded River Bush, and he's going back into his jungle now to take care of Wolves. It's going to be interesting to see how to do this because Annie and Yasuo is an interesting matchup because Yasuo's W ability is a wind wall that gets wider the more points you get, but it nullifies all projectiles. So anything that actually has to travel to hit him gets nullified and erased completely. And we see Rocket Zero rolling into an enemy jungle right now. And dies to the Evelyn. Trying to counter jungle I I Evelyn is a very, very him? risky thing. Mayor, because Evelyn stays in uh, Evelyn's ability. 
Evelyn has the ability to lay out a lot of punishing it. damage really quickly from a, a deceptive ring. Yeah, close to the shop. Yeah, close the to the shop if you got the cash. Speaking of which, we're getting a little bit of NDI. Luchisama, Luchisama giving some direction. This tells me that the bandits have been playing as well. So this is going to be a really tight one going into the second half, right? So here we are three minutes into the game. I know we're a little bit. We well, no, actually, we're, we're, up to date. we're on time. Yeah, we are up on everything. We are not expecting a vote, so we are up to date. This is live. This is what's happening right now. If the Bandits can pull this off, it is 5-5 going into halftime. A big coup if they can do so. Standard uh, Annie Fair, and there's that win while I was telling you about that gets rid of passives. And that's one of the things you need to be worried about when you deal with Yasuo. Because he has a lot of mobility, and he has that tornado ability that comes off the cooldown every couple of seconds, which I'll explain here in a second. But as the anti player, you need to control your spacing and make sure you stay just far away, just far away enough from your own minions that Yasuo can't get to you for free using his E ability, which he's able to hit multiple minions to chain through. There we go. And if you notice right now, oh, there it goes off that wind or that tornado built up around Yasuo, his Q ability. If he hits two in a row, his third one turns into a tornado projectile that knocks people up, and that's how you actually use your ultimate with Yasuo when you connect with that tornado or if there's a hard knock up. Amazing they're having to retreat, get the minions back in front, but now pressure is swinging back around, playing a good distance. Now Yasuo has to wait for his. It's pretty good back and forth right here from these two off top. <laughs> uh, champion. So the funny thing is about this lane is it's running textbook as you would expect it. It looks like there's I don't know why he rotated up top like that, but any down with flash, early flash like that was kind of risky. He has enough mana. If see if uh the back was a bait or not, and it looks like it wasn't. So now they're gonna go ahead and back out. Uh, I don't like how uh Mare rolled into the jungle entrance like that and isolated them uh isolated herself from her minions in their tower, because now you have to burn flash in order to not die. With the uh, mana gem to get some extra mana for the land is the first purchase. I would recommend picking up boots right now for 350. I would wait for the gold, because Yasuo is not going to be able to get much out of it besides maybe a plate and a half. And we go to the top lane where we have Mordekaiser passive active fighting with the Warwick, and Warwick gets the kill. Rocket Zero goes up a kill after getting killed in the uh, jungle by Evelyn. So that's going to be a right. back for some good gold right now. And Reapers have one kill right now. So it looks like we are at 1-1. One, one. We get that straight to you. So two for the Reapers at the moment. Reapers have two points on the big board. Here at UEO, we play a little bit different. We play for Rifts, Dragons, Barons, and just overall kills. And that is how we tally up the score at the end of the 20 to 25 minutes. So obviously UEO with a little bit of a UEO spin. Of course, if you destroy the Nexus, man, it should do that in 25 minutes. Then you win the whole thing. Which is something that's really... Ooh, Evelyn with the gank down bot lane, getting rid of Seraphine. It looks like Samira's going to get out. Or, excuse me, Lucian's going to get out. And that's going to be a far back because Evelyn is, what, level 4 right about now? Level 5 because of the kill on Rocket. So, backing all the way up to Tier 2 just to make sure it's a safe back is a good idea. Staying in lane's not great. And, fun fact, anywhere on the map except for the, f the inhibitor turret, backing anywhere... Closer than that is a waste. Uh, backing closer. English is hard. Backing near your inhibitor turret takes more time than walking back. But since Luchisama walked all the way back, then back, he wasted a lot of time. And now the minions are naturally pushing to his tower on the bottom, as you can see with the red dots. Evelyn coming in with the the heart proc to try and stun, and he's gonna drop a stun, try and flash up. Oh, didn't have flash up. And now Rocket's gonna die because that flash being old and not having a stun up is gonna be the kill. And there you go. Evelyn fashion on the turret to get the kill. And that secures two points over to the Reapers. Let's see. There we go. You got bot lane rotating back in now. You got Yasuo. And I think Evelyn might have already gone back in the jungle, maybe into Rocket Zero's jungle to try and counter jungle to get that gold advantage to get some items up. Now, do you think that the bandits are playing for a bigger purpose here, right? Because right now on, on the overall score, they're down six to one because the bandits only have one kill. The Reapers have six. Do you think they're playing for the barons, the rifts? They Possibly. Do you think they're playing for the dragons and just using a lot of what they're doing as setup time as opposed to just going directly for and using some of that perceived inexperience on the Reaper side against them? 
that that seems to be the thing, and I think they're starting to adjust their play right now because, like you said, that perceived inexperience on the Reapers because they've never played it would be an inherent strategy to take advantage of. But now that you see that you're down by this much, Cat's in the game, showing how much of a difference maker he is and how much the team's been labbing this game in general, you have to adjust your strategy to try and start taking care of these uh, objectives. We've got a double kill in the bot lane just now with Yumi and Samira on Lucian and uh, Seraphine, and Warwick's hanging out in the jungle, and he just got found by Evelyn, so we're seeing how that fight's going right now. Warwick's only at f level 4 and gets cleaned up by the Evelyn. That's now 9-1 for kills, and the Reapers are up 7-1, I believe, at that point, once that gets updated. It's, it's not looking too good right now, because those major objective points are important, but if Warwick's only stuck at level 4, his smite deals less damage than Evelyn. And with Yasuo having smite as well, his ability to try and fight is bad. Oh, good stun! Good Timbers! Yep. It, Th this, didn't drop this. the ignite, he's going to get out. Oh, Those wow. back up. The autos aren't traveling. And he... That's a tough one to let go. That is a execution error on Mara's part, unfortunately. Once the combo started up and he dropped the stun with the Timbers, or got the stun off. He should have ignited immediately because that ignite tit is huge on damage. And now that Evelyn knows that her ult's up and the stun's not up, easy cleanup. And that's, that's a tough one. Yep. And Warwick's behind now at this point, about two levels to Evelyn. It's it's starting to look like the Reapers might clean this game up. And that's not even before we get to the major objectives. Dragon's been up for about a minute and a half now. Nobody's made an attempt on it. And, it's never, and it hasn't been warded at least by the bandits. Right, and that that's really the bandit's play because right now you're you're going against not just the skill level but the the level of the actual champions. The Reapers through these kills and through this teamwork have been able to build up their champions a little bit more, and that's playing a big factor into this. I know Luchi plays, but this may be a little bit much to overcome if you're not truly on the same page. Because it's one thing to know and know what you're doing. I know Mayor Luchi, but can you coordinate the rest of your team to get up to your skill level? And that seems like exactly what they're doing right now. Going for going for this. And the problem is, is that pink ward's been sitting there since they attempted the dragon start. And Evelyn's going to be stealth coming into this until she gets close to everybody. So now everybody, notice Yasuo's gone. Bot lane's gone. Uh, top lane's right there. So Yasuo's this gone. is where you got to pull off of the... You gotta pull for the they might steal the dragon. They're 100% stealing the dragon. Bot lane was not available for that. So that was a greedy fight start, especially with a ward there. If you would have saw that pink ward sitting there, you should have cleared the ward, dropped your own ward, and back off. And Ooh, Mare trying to get away. Can't get away. That's not a good... Oof, maybe, maybe, maybe Mare should have gone with a different champion in this situation actually, for the way they're playing. Actually, no. Annie's a phenomenal champion because of her stun and her ability to lock down either one person with her Q or multiple people to W or drop in a Tibbers bomb to stun everybody. Problem is, in this particular matchup against Yasuo being behind, is item optimization. Seeker's Arm Guard is an item that gives you mana, not mana, excuse me, ability power and armor stats. And that would have been huge going into Yasuo to have that little bit of durability to deal with his passive. Dragon gone, that's a point advantage, and that was Fire Dragon, this, so that gives him an attack buff as well. This is going to be a big drop for the Bandits. Definitely a momentum swinger that they could have, especially capitalizing off of that excellent Day by, day by Daylight win. Still in a favorable position if they're not able to pull this back going in 6 Forward from what it's looking like so far, but anything can literally happen. You never know. This could be one grand setup that we just don't see because we're so landlocked on Mare right now. So Mare right now doing a really good exchange right now. Tibbers bomb ignites after going off this time. That can is you a dead finish Yasuo. this time? There yeah. we go. Good finish this time. Good kill. This is how you start to mount these types of comebacks. Have to go ahead and get the get that dragon though. They really do. Because at this point, they are down they, on points, and they have They to... just took Riff Herald, so that's another five oh, points. Oh, that's tough. Six points, excuse me. So that means the Reapers are up 20 to 2? Looks like 23 to one to 2, probably. Ooh. This is not... This is not... This is not... Not looking good for the Bandits. And not to mention, you just saw that Evelyn cleared the... Excuse me, Riff Herald by herself. And as a mid laner with low health, without your stun up, you should know that the jungler is going to be near you because the objective was clear without them dying that's map awareness and uh just basic game 101 still no boots at 12 minutes so that's another thing mayor needed to have taken care of either being uh tabby 
just, just at least tier one moves. You don't have to be tier two at this point, but you need a tier one. You need that movement. And prioritizing stats, right? Uh, offensive stats instead of defensive stats or mobility is a huge problem in the uh, mid lane right now with Mayor's item selection. Because you can do all the damage you want, but if your skills are down, your pass is not up, and you can't get away, or at least maneuver and reposition, what are you even doing? Because Yasuo will get to you, and if you don't have some defensive stats to soak up some of that damage, then you're going to get packed up. Hey, man, guys, shoot. It's, real question is, where am I being sent to? Because the bandits, Shadow Realm, I don't know. There's some, some dude named Merrick with an evil laugh running around here because they're getting packed up and, and yeah. sent out of here. Yeah, this, is not, this is not what I was expecting from them. And it's not like they don't have players that play. I just think they honestly were not ready to compete against this level. And the thing is, is what's causing the bandits their issue is... I'm, give me a second. I'm going to get to that exact idea while I process through it. But Yasuo is already still a level up after, getting, after dying in lane. and has a completed Bloodthirster. And when you're at full health, Bloodthirster gives you an overshield. So now you have to go through two shields to start doing damage to Yasuo. And then you have the Evelyn marker coming in for the gank. That's just to back him up and actually have pressure. You're probably going to see the Evelyn drop Rift Herald here in a second, which is happening right now. So that Rift Herald is going to take tier one. So Mare needs to go ahead and back up off this turret right now, or Mare will die. All right, Yasuo coming on the backside, but that Rift Herald is going to connect. Tower's gone. And Smite burned on the Tibbers to get it out the way. And now Warwick's in the lane, not getting XP in the jungle, which he desperately needs. Top lane's dead with Mordekaiser getting the easy kills there. This is just uh, a fundamental failure across the board on not having, I'm not going to say not having proper practice, but more detailed practice and strategy right. and expecting the Reapers to forfeit this game. I think that's really what that comes down to. But And, it, and it's a carry type of situation, right? Because it's, it's really Mare and Lucci and probably Pokestar that play, but then at what level, right? So, for instance, the Ghosts, like, people didn't realize that Killer was a Masters in League. So it's, it wasn't like a, 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 a situation of not being prepared. It's more of not really understanding because you haven't seen it. So you don't know what to prepare against. And it's not like the Reapers are dispelling their secrets. You know what I mean? But so far, this has actually been a dominant, dominant performance. And that was a isolated cue from Mordekaiser, which when he does that big hammer swing, if there is no other people in that targeting path, it does, I believe, it's like 50 to almost 100% more damage than base. I could be wrong on the numbers, but it does deal more damage isolated. And back to your statement about the master level, the mastery level. There's just one player can influence a game of league, but a coordinated team can still topple just one player. Problem is, is the Reapers had that coercion and teamwork behind them. And they're just pushing their advantages as a team. So, really, cool. mad props to, to the Reapers for holding off in this situation, knowing that once they got their big dog back, like, they, they were going to run it. Getting their big dog back, but also the entire team putting the proper practice in. Oh, for sure. Because the Yasuo pick, Yasuo's are either feeders or some of the most deadly people on the map. But with Mordekaiser, Yasuo, Double Ignite, this is just a... This is just watching, like, an 18-year-old fight a 12-year-old. Like, whew. Oh, my Lord. And now they're just cleaning up. This is going to be a Nexus smash, and this is the first time I've seen that happen. I, has it happened before? Like, talk to me. It's, it hasn't happened. It hasn't happened. This is a dog washing. This is one of those situations where I'm going to spare my team's uh, moral fortitude and, and call on the forfeit, even though the game is well through like even like the fact that they're at the nexus and threatening it is 35 to 2 right now folks like this is this is the second wash of the day there <laughs> and is, is the wash we did not expect to be a wash yeah and bruh like i'm trying to just like make a meaningful sentence instead of just kind of like moving my lips and making sounds come out but it this is just this is just the it's, it's a whooping. It is a clean whooping. The Reapers have played. The Reapers have played an actual game of league. This is a UEL league. This is an actual league match where a better team is just dumpstering the other team. Like they're still getting the objectives. They're still getting the points they need. But we're gonna look at a sub twenty five minute nexus break, which is the first time that's happened this season at least. It might not even be twenty five minutes. We might get this in under twenty. 
like they just absolutely eviscerated Mayor. <laughs> Mayor is, th- yeah, this this has been something. Oh, I. This has been something, if I do say so myself. Can we just take a moment to realize that that's Hollywood on Mordekaiser, correct? Yes. Hollywood has played in the Gwen, which is a is a. I I think that matchup favors Mordekaiser, but he has played that top lane. Ah! He needs some milk. And that's game. They got one person up, and we're going to get a Nexus Smash at 19 minutes. Wow. A Nexus Smash with a 37-point <laughs> Yo, right. Hollywood. Hollywood out there dancing, doing his thing. So, really, what I hear here is it's been an okey-doke all season. They've been forfeiting all season, waiting to unleash this in the playoffs. And you know what? And they just unloaded a full clip on the Bandits. The Reapers snatching souls going into halftime where we will see you guys next because that was not the like yeah i'm gonna need the whole half to process and digest this this is like eating a heavy meal that i wasn't supposed to eat it's gonna take me a second to sit sit on this that being said we're gonna holler at y'all in about 15 minutes because we're going to halftime see y'all later
Juki and welcome back to the UEU Airwell Gamers Pro GoPro and I am joined by Raven and Mr. Hollywood. Mr. Wood, baby. Once again, those at home, thank you for joining us. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe so you can get in on all the UEL actions. Playoffs are up and going. Yes, sir. First round, game two, mm -hmm. Reapers yep. versus Bandits. Yep. Mr. Hollywood, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, man. You know, we was kind of trolling a little bit. Uh, we we was kind of trolling a little bit um the first half, but I'm not I'm not gonna let it get to anybody because we're trolling and everything. But I'm making sure the team stays compact and make sure their heads are right, so then we can come out here and sweep through the second half. What word word? That's all dope and all, but it's kind of it's kind of a, a little close there. You know, I'm actually yeah. surprised that the bandits are putting such a good fight to be honest. Because exactly. even though you guys are trolling, we're yeah. Not you know, ready to say, even usually, though they're trolling, it might backfire. You're not uh, in this position so close with a team mm -hmm. that's not supposed to be in there with you. When I say I usually, and what I mean by that, usually if you're sitting across from a better team and the lower team is sitting, if they're not supposed to be standing there, the score is supposed to reflect right, right. it. Yep, you know what exactly. I'm saying? Yep. Granted, you are up, but you're only up by, by two. two. Yeah, Man, you smoked it in Madden, bro. What was that? What happened? Hey, bro. Hey, bro. I just know I think we should have kicked the field. We should have kicked the field goal. I should have got the first down. It was a lot of things both me and Cheesy should have um, should have should have changed. No, no, no. Um, before when we didn't get the first down, oh. um, definitely some things we'll have to work on with that. Get the communication down a little better. There's and then we were kind of trolling dead by daylight, and then uh, DNF and Guilty Gear kind of came in knowing that they were gonna win that. That those two in Smash, and then. DVD kind of strong. But, DVD but, should have been yours, to be honest. Yeah, that was amen. just a massive flop. Hey man, when things get to your head, that's uh, not supposed to be in there. It's the that, consequences, guys. It's then, the consequences. But all that being said, you guys are still up too. Yeah, uh, you still are in the in the race for the bag. Mm -hmm. You've come a long way. Uh, speaking to you personally, it's only been you what your second season here. Yeah, this is my second season. And you've gone from what they call a bottom tier team to being one of the best coaches, if not the best coach player mm -hmm. coach in the league. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really. And that's a big compliment on you, yeah. sir. I've seen you in action, and you are uh, astounding to watch, especially out there on the floor. I know those at home. Don't get to see a lot of what we see. Yeah, oh, yeah. but it's, it's really you know, different. Seeing, yeah, it, it's really different seeing it close up, seeing you talk players through games and play those games and call your rotations, your timeouts and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You're a whiz, man, and it, it's 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 fun to see you work. Yeah, it's a lot of it's just a lot of studying, studying other teams. Like I have so many things for every team in the league that people don't know about. Like it just helps a lot going into the games, knowing who should be in, who should be playing in the whole match. If we should forfeit, if we win, it's just a big mind game that a lot of people don't understand it. So yeah. I'm waiting for everyone to catch on. So, so we'll actually see good coaching in this league because right now we don't have any. You know, I kind of want to chime into that one real quick because you know I was a former Reaper once upon a time. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. I, I got to see how you guys work the system between the teammates. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's pretty much flawless the way you guys run everything and make sure everybody is upping their skills. So I think that sets you apart from a lot of, if not everybody else in here in this league as a coach, you know, yeah. and as a team player. Dude, so seriously, props to you, man. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. But before we go, I just want to say that it's our year. And Karma, I hope we see you in the finals because I'm not trying to hear no excuses that, I, that we don't beat you. Hey. So I want to see you in the finals so then we can 10-0 you. First half, 10-0. And then we coming out and dubbing the, after the second half. Bro. Is it 10 -0? That's all I got. That's some big talk, but you know what? A part of me kind of believes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you got a lot of conviction with it. Yeah. But um, enough said from us here. I'm going to let you get back to what you came to do, man. Yes, you sir. got a game to go out there and win. I wish you the best of luck. Good luck to you guys. I really appreciate it, man. And uh, do your thing, man. Yes, sir. About to be 7-4, but let's get it. Back to you guys. Ooh. And I hear that spicy talk. 10-0 for Karma in the finals. Reapers saying it's their year. Reapers talking about it's their year. Hollywood always with the big talk. And you know what? There's one thing I'll give Hollywood. He talks. He backs it up. And he genuinely believes everything he says, right? So I'm here with...
the one and only Wonku, Wonky World, Wonky Slush, Cinematic. I mean, there's like 55 different names. Yeah, you already know I have 50 different personalities, a name for each one. Um, <laughs> Look, sure, they're making I'm her... joking. Just, nah, I think. I, 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 no. The voices are getting louder. Please help. You're saying that's a joke as you speak into the mic. But with that being said, looks like the Reaper's are already bypassing the bandits, bypassing the ghosts, and bypassing the booze. There is a road to be traveled. I think the rest of the league heard that. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's uh, it's going to take hard work because they don't have an easy division. I mean, I, in all honesty. Like, I mean, they got um, either the Booze or the Ghosts that have to play if they win this game. Um, and both those teams, I know, they want it too. They want it too. So. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I'm out there. I was talking to the Ghost owner, and he said, look, <laughs> best <laughs> believe we got the strats. And I'm like, after what they did to Karma, you never know. So. Coming up, we're going to have some exciting battles. Clearly, the Reapers are looking to fast pass the Bandits already. We know that they're the favorite going in, but last time I checked, scoreboard 6-4, and it could easily 6-4 the other way. Bandits dropping Absolutely. a couple games that they should not have dropped. They definitely still got some games up there, um, but uh, one thing uh, that we do notice about the second half, that's usually when the quote-unquote better team takes off. Um, and if they're even, then, you know, stay even. But, like, I, I usually, typically... If there's a team that's projected to win, they just take the second half. That's how I think. Yeah, I wouldn't say that necessarily all the time because, I mean, just look at us. Sometimes we're projected to win and we don't take off, right? It's not that we're not taking off, but it's nip and tuck. It's back and forth, right? Oh, yeah. Sometimes they do really well in the first half, and then second half happens, and it's completely Yeah, I don't look at it as halves. I just, it kind of depends on how the games break down and with the rotations, which is what makes UEL so unique. Absolutely. I mean, what else can you say, right? Can you say? I mean, I'm excited to see, uh, you know, both these teams battle it out. I do, like, I do believe the Bandits have a chance today. They just gotta, they gotta play to their best ability. They so. really have to capitalize, and in this situation, it looks like Lovejoy is gonna have to go in for MotoGP. And if Hollywood is available, which is what it seems is being shown right there, and honestly, they're probably putting in Dictator Chicken. He's been, he's yeah, been live. Yeah, I think people are still, still sleeping on Dictator Chicken. Still, like, I mean, I. Well, I think people are still sleeping on the Reapers players as a whole. I like, like, I don't know, chicken specifically. Like, I'm sorry, like, shout out to the rest of the Reapers, but chicken, like, nobody talks about him. And every time I see him going for a different game, I'm like, oh, like, okay, he, he kind of nice at this, too. I talk about him. Okay, look, I, I know. Talk, okay, so Ravens talk about him. The Ravens know. We know what's up. We, <laughs> yeah, which is why Ricky is such a threat. But that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to lie. A lot talking of talking about Ricky or chicken. I'm saying Ricky. Or both. <laughs> I'm saying Ricky's more <laughs> underrated than Chicken. I think people know what Chicken brings to the table at this point because Chicken is a grown man. You know, he has grown man presence about him. Ricky, Ricky has that is, ability to grow. Exactly. Yeah. Ricky's just a young buck. So when he comes in, he doesn't say too much to everybody. So we don't really have the inside track on the fact that he's kind of nice. If you notice, he's in a lot of their lineups. So that I, that's who I would pick. But I that's really just is. Myself, right? like I feel like he was one of the first of their players that was actually a keyboard and mouse player. Like everybody else playing a controller, and he was the first. Right. One. He brought I was the like, okay, All right, kid, you build. He was doing his thing. Um, and we're getting into MotoGP now, and it does look like that is Dictator Chicken. Um. Yep. It'll be Dictator Chicken versus Lovejoy. Lovejoy off to the right. Dictator Chicken off to the left. Oh, look, he's trying to. Right now, to, Lovejoy with the slight start. I Whoa, that's what you get for see, trying I am, to throw somebody off of a bike. You don't want to do that. That was fair. I do have Dictator winning this right here, so this is going to be an interesting competition. We're going to find out what... Oh, this is going next. to be a be, battle. That is going to be... But I um I respect the Reaper's decision to put in uh, Chicken instead of Hollywood because... That's the pick, you know, to be quite honest. I think yeah. he's a little bit better than Hollywood. I... I I would agree. And I mean, granted, we haven't seen him in a while in this game, so things could be different. But, um, so yeah, Lovejoy is on the right, and then Dick Chick is on the left. Dick Sorry yeah. Chicken handling these turns really yeah. tight, she staying in the her. pack with the, with the AI. It's all the way Showing the skill gap. He's all the way up in fourth. Yeah, he's, he's up there, and can't really say the same for Lovejoy. Well, Lovejoy, he, he might, yeah, he gonna take it here. This is where you just full send it into the wall, and just or not. No, he's gonna he's gonna I'm correct. Gonna it's just an issue because now he's gonna fall back of the pack, which isn't that big of a deal because he is at the end of the day racing yeah. Lovejoy, and he is still ahead of Lovejoy by a significant amount. Lovejoy crashing all over the place as if it's a party on our weekend, and he can't make it home because 
He's hit the turf way too many times. I haven't seen this this many graphics since. Yeah, big time. Big Terry Chicken will still take falls from time to time, which is what prevents him from necessarily being elite. Yeah, it, Lovejoy's coming into these turns a little bit too fast. He's not releasing the throttle coming out of those turns well enough either. So it's just one of those things where mechanically you have to get used to the game. And these racers are race, it's a racing sim, right? So the more in game, it, like real life knowledge you have, the more information helps. Exactly. The game, which is very true. <laughs> and Lovejoy recovers just to eat it again. Did you Rex. See what happened? Yes. It looked like he was going off a ramp in CTR. <laughs> he was flying up. Rex. Oh, chicken. Oh, Rex. Yeah, he probably he, he, just, he just gonna hit the wall here. He's accepting. Yeah, you, oh. you're not gonna beat. Okay. You're not gonna what, what beat. That spawn? <laughs> look at how far back he is. Wait, look, look at chicken. <gasps> oh, what's happening with chicken? Oh my God, he's stuck. Oh my God, he's stuck. No way. Oh, that might be a. Uh, that might be. Oh, wait. Autopilot. What is happening? What happened? Hello? If I this... think Lovejoy's too busy looking at what what's going on in his screen. He's like, what's going on? Yeah, if, if I'm the bandits, I'm focusing on what I have to do right now. Win. It may be a controller issue, which... Or just a game glitch. I think I it think might that, be a game glitch. I think glitch. a game glitch because he, he hit the wall, right? And he should have respawned, and it spawned him in the wall. It spawned him in the wall. It now his, his camera is inverted, pointing to the sky. What are we going to and do? And it's saying autopilot. That is. I That's mean, yeah. We I, I think we have to we have to run this back. I would honestly. That is such a. We have to run this back. That is such a weird. I've never. Yeah. This this is a glitch. Like, hey, for those of you that play MotoGP religiously, is this something that happens? Because I, I have never seen this, ever. Yeah, we've well, never seen. I've never. Seen yeah. Right now, Lovejoy is poised to just go ahead and finish. I mean, and bro, I take you want to you want to talk about the bandits catching a break. That if, if they decide to let them have this point, that is a really exciting uh, or well, lucky. Well, that's a lucky thing for for the bandits. What I'm thinking right there. here is this will actually give Lovejoy a chance to practice because I think they're gonna run this back. I mean, yeah, at least he's getting used to the turns. Thing. I I would run it back first, but um, we'll see. We'll see what the game master decides to do. Uh, again. <laughs> That's so weird. Like he can't, well, or like like respawn or something. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Cause look what it's also showing on his side. It's just FL. Is that like? Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm looking at it right now. I'm like I play MotoGP, but not like. I don't understand all the little coding messages. <laughs> like, no, yeah, that? for sure. Like using using each one, but hey, it's just a Google search away, right? So Google searches, see what everything means. Watch a couple of actual matches in real life. Listen to the commentary, and then you'll find out. And the bandits, the so, win. Oh, they, they're giving the bandits the win here. I mean, we'll get an explanation in just a moment. I mean, chicken shouldn't crash. He just shouldn't have crashed. If you want to crash, it wouldn't happen. I mean, that is that is true. That's that's so unfortunate. I, uh, that's crazy. But up next for you guys, we, we have got DBZ, and that's a huge break <laughs> for the for the yeah, bandits because I'm telling you right now, Lovejoy was getting packed was getting up. Mm -hmm. So dusted, um, but no. Dragon Ball Fighters, obviously for the Reapers, we had to have Mr. Wood, we had to have Mr. Noob, and we had to have Mr. Rift go in. Well, Mr. Scarlet, sorry. Um, so with this, in this case, they're really going to be relying heavily on Scarlet. Yeah, for sure. Um, Super Noob is going to be a human punching bag. Uh, that's okay. I know Hollywood has touched role. this game a little bit. Yeah, Hollywood's um, touched it, but he may be a human punching bag. So it would be interesting for the Reapers as to what strategy they go with. Do better than. Reapers. Oh yeah, he's not gonna. He's I not know, gonna get know him in cat lab this. So uh, yeah, he's yeah. I, I will see. We'll see that. Um, but you know, the bandits ain't gonna play around. This is their opportunity to tie this game right now. Oh, it's a they big. They will send it, and I think the bandits take this. This is it's a big like mind you. But I'm, I'm not, not gonna underestimate Scarlet because Scarlet can very well. He could squad wipe. In this I mean, case, though, I know Lovejoy drafting him. He was actually pretty good at DBZ. Lucci is straight. Pokestar is good. Mayor. Amazing Mare is good. Like, they actually kind of all touch Dragon Ball Fighters, except for maybe Painful Boar. And honestly, I saw Rocket Zero. So you're really looking at Painful Boar and Magnus M that just don't really play it like that. And they so have a full reset. So they don't have to put, you know, those players that don't play. Exactly. Um, but it looks like we're getting... 
Amazing Mayor Lovejoy and Rocket, Rocket Zero. Zero. Bandit, so I think that's interesting cool. to not use Lucci here. And I think the reason being is they're Rocket hoping Blitz. to hold him for for Tekken. I, I'm just not so sure. I think no, I think that's a safe bet because I think like uh I really I, yeah, I think with Mayor and Lovejoy they definitely can do it. And I know Rocket has played this a number of times this season, so right. I honestly I think this lineup would be fine for them. The lineup should be fine, but can are they good enough to beat Scarlet? Are they good enough to beat the remaining three? for the reapers that's what we're looking to find out here hand of bandits the heavy underdog and i repeat arf, arf. heavy shout out to schultz army but I'm telling you can they make a six six can they even this up this you were talking about a takeoff earlier weren't you and it might be a bandit's takeoff this it is... might be a bandit's takeoff okay Hey, Outside hey. of that, no. I mean, you can make you can make the case. You can make the case the Reapers got lucky in a couple of these games as well, too, right? So it's been back and forth. This is what happens. Sometimes things don't roll in your favor, but you roll with the punches. If you're really the better team, it won't be that big of a deal because you're gonna win five straight anyways, right? Like like you said, they're thinking 10 0 first half against Karma. So I respect it. Big talk. Now it's just time to back it up. No. No, they said karma. So I'm, I'm going with this. I, 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 in Hollywood, we trust, right? In Hollywood, we trust. Oh, and that looks like that was a Reaper's forfeit. Reaper's forfeit, Dragon Ball and Fighters, was, right into F1, F1 with Hollywood being available. But Magna Sam is also available. See how it's wow, we're going to get ourselves a nice little matchup right here. I, they will put in Magna Sam. I, oh, yeah, 100%. Mark, mark my words. I'm calling that one. Yeah, no, it's Magna Sam. Or nothing. Just let me look smart for like two no. seconds. That's so rude. Absolutely not. That's that's not even cool. Well, all right. You can tell them about how Hollywood likes to play this game. But okay, Hollywood does like to play this game a lot, and he's actually pretty good. What does he like? Reckless. Yes, he likes to play. <laughs> he likes to play dirty. For sure. He likes Get in front to take out your tires. Like, oh, give me those. Give me those axles. You ever see? Y'all ever watch Family Guy? It's like when Stewie wanted his money from Brian, and he just beat his knees with the bat. That's how Hollywood plays. Uh, yes, yes. Where's my money? Where's my <laughs> money, brah? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So, yeah. Wait, literally. So this will be this will be interesting. Or do the Reapers just put someone else in the series? I don't think they would. Also very interesting. If we look at it, we we essentially had almost back-to-back -back sim races roll up in yeah. F1 and MotoGP. But the Reapers somehow, some way forfeiting Dragon Ball Fighters. I don't know. I actually would have played that out if I were them. But the fact that they had Super Noob. I mean, because you never know. Scarlet could have gone through all three of them, right? It just would have been very, a Herculean much, effort. He's capable of it, for sure. Yeah. So, F1, we're rolling right here. It is Magnus Sam for the Bandits. They will be putting in Hollywood because they need to secure this W. They said this is light work. <laughs> the Bandits, on the other hand, said, hello. We Thank ain't you. the only ones who kept something in the tank. Who would have thought this? Courtney. I'm oh, sorry. Wrong. <laughs> I used your gum nickname. You I won't do it again. It's okay. It's okay. My name's Michael. See, look, now, now we both got a government oh, out here. Yes, yeah, so I'm your alternate Michael. personalities are meeting right now for the first time ever. <laughs> <laughs> I literally had a whole conversation with my school, uh, my school classmates about that. I'm like, my government name and Wonku are two totally different people. Oh, for sure. Two totally different people. Same entity, different people. Exactly. Um, but this will be a. Man, I, I'm curious to see if Sam can avoid. I want to see Magnus Sam pull this off. I, I do want too. to see the Bandits take another lead late into the, well, early into the second half, but, but late later. into the middle, middle of the game. So this will be a huge thing because they did start off 2-1. Came out with energy and were like, can they keep it up? And they have literally played like this all season. They've been in most of the games they've played. They've given the Ghosts a run for their money. They've given the Booze at times a run for their money. They've given... Every team except for maybe one in this league, maybe two, I think, in Karma and, and, and Ravens, where they didn't really compete that heavily, a run for their money. Again, that was at the beginning of the season. Yes, it was at the beginning of the season. It was very be – so I believe – I don't think it would be like that anymore with the way they've been working. Like I th Yes. I think – They are consistently they at practice in the venue. Exactly. They, they live here, basically. They're like, no, like they want to be the next Reapers. They want to be the next ones on the come they up. Have the, they have and that mind potential. You, mind you. Big props to them because they're doing this with the cat in the lineup. They're the doing, unquote, doing fantastic. Quote unquote, the difference himself. I realize they are not playing Eric. I, I thought I thought about that. I was like cheesy instead of Garto. 
I was like, I would have. Cheesy does have like a good like. Yeah, but for what they need. Games. I think I think Garcia they would have won DBZ. Yeah, I think in this no, matchup and no, Guilty Gear, Guilty Gear DBZ, he provides support in the fighters. He can play every single one of the okay. shooters. I think for this matchup in particular, I would have gone with Garto somewhere in there. Maybe for Noob, maybe for Cheesy, but I do realize that they're going for the even more veteran veterans, right? And and Cheesy and Noob. I don't know though. I don't know. It's tough. I mean, that's what happens when you have so much depth, right? In the Reaper. You have options. You're like, ah, dang. Like, but I will say this. They've got straight in the building. They've got Garto in the building. They, they come to it's support weird. their team. They I, ball I, hard. I, I I really do respect the Reapers for that because they have like that family thing between them, and that's like that's honestly beautiful. I think any team could be really good if they had that with their team. Exactly. Like, like fam- any team, like you, yeah. you mix in family and business. It's technically a no no. Trades happen, things happen. People move on to different teams, but it's all about the bonds you build in the process of doing so. All the trade means in these situations, which both teams have have made trades for. All it means is that you're of value if to somebody else as well as the team, right? So exactly. So. Here you go. We're like family, but it's just like any any other sport. We gotta do what we gotta do to get ahead. Don't get any ideas. What you mean any ideas? Don't Why would you talk about me? No, never that. Me? All my ideas stay in my brain. Good. You find out when to execute it though. <laughs> oh well, yeah, that's there. Do it. That's the herds on the block. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gotta trade the owner. Everybody be going. <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> come on. Yeah. But, man, we're going to get into this F1. They got seven seconds on that setup timer. Right. I'm like over here rubbing my hands like a little. Uh, I'm, I'm like, so oh, curious. Yes. Look, I got my pencil. I got my thinking pencil. I don't know where this came from. I just found thinking it. Thinking pencil. Well, so, that was actually third anime. Because I'm going to take no- Ah! There we go. Right on time. Getting it set up and started. Let's see what map they go to. See if I have That's respect for them. Let's find out who won the RPS, and then that will determine who chose the map. Oh, they picked the very first map. So whoever won RPS... It's probably Magnus Hans. What? No, I'm just kidding. The first map actually is pretty... Uh, It's not like... It's not like CTR. It's not like a, the easiest. I'm going to be a happy camper next. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 2K is happy up next camper after camper. this. And that is a game that I fully expect the reason. Magna Sam on. is on top. Magna Sam up top. And he is yeah, he pushing a little heavy inside the traffic. Very comfortable, though. He Hollywood already off to cool. number five, beating the pack. Let's see. He definitely got to be careful. That. Comes... Oof, that was a little. Oof. Okay, yeah, he got it. He took a little bit of a, like a, I don't know. He like yeeted that wheel. They were pretty good with keeping handling. So he probably, I didn't see what presets they ran, but probably run a better handling. Right. Magnus Sam running a little bit of a, a risky play here, but he's not scared to DNF. He says, my opponent is in fifth place. I am trying to get to I fourth. Get there. I am trying to get to number one. Or he can play and see if uh, Hollywood takes himself out first. Well, you can do it that way, but when... You can tell right here that Magnus M has a, a slight mastery of passing, so he understands the basic concept. So I, if I were him, I would race this way because Hollywood isn't messing up. Right there at the top of the race, they're not clustered like they are where where Magnus M is. So Magnus M just simply has to fight through more traffic to get up to Hollywood regardless. So I would bank on that. Uh, if you feel comfortable navigating through the traffic, just do it. Taking a little bit of a wide turn there, but it's fine. I see nothing. There we go. Good downshifts from Hollywood. I believe he has them on automatic. No, no problem with that. Pretty decent turns from Magnus M. Hitting the curves just a little bit oh, on man. the first map. So it makes it a little bit easier. See, in these situations, sometimes like if you think you're going up against somebody that is perceived to be, be better, you might even want to just go to a map that you both don't know. Yeah, I mean... That's a very valid point. Oh my gosh, Sam. That is a corner cut. You have to have one of those wheels on that red and white stripe for it not to be a corner cut. That will be a penalization for him later on. He's right now, Hollywood is comfortable. Yeah. Sam's got the penalties racking up right now. Um, you know, he has a couple collisions. He got that corner cutting now. He's really got to play this careful. And he's got to hope that Hollywood just make some kind of mistake here that he can capitalize which you won't hollywood is in a comfortable position he's he's got enough space in between him and the ai's yep, he for is. the race so he's 
masterfully staying right behind. He's okay to be in fifth place because he is racing against Magnus Sam at the end of the day. Yes, we all want first to secure it. But in this case, he's just making sure that he keeps enough space in between him and the AIs and the ones behind him. But at the same time, winning. Magnus Sam still holding at 13, though. So definitely giving credit for keeping up with the AI. 13 out of 20. Bad. He's just got to... He's got to find his break. Right. He's got to find his, his MO and, and figure out when to cut these cars off and get these passes going. Ryan, they keep... <laughs> they're blocking him off. They're like, nah, bro. You are not getting past me. Look at the AI oh, up there. Like yeah, the AI up there making an aggressive pass, and I think they got Are it. Are you going to try it right here? No, that's corner cutting. Ooh, almost, almost gets away with the corner cutting, but he does move up a position, so worth it taking out one of the AIs. It's going to send him back from a time perspective, but it will allow him to keep up with Hollywood to some extent. So really, he's hoping that Hollywood somehow gets a collision, but he's kind of past that point in the race right now. To make a really, really dumb mistake in order to to, to play this right now. So I don't, I don't think Hollywood plans on doing that anytime soon. Because look at the way he's taking these I mean, he's taking them smoothly, keeping his, his position. Uh, I, I think he'll be fine. Pretty much. Oh wait. Oh, Magnus Sam is passing another He's game. Passing, oh, but no, yeah. the AI takes it right back. He was like, "Yeah, you." Mag Magnus still has time to come up in this race. He just has to start racing a lot more massively than what what he's been on. Really decent pass, but oh, not good enough to keep. Yeah, but not. See, momentum right here isn't what he wants. That's the that's the thing. So I mean, he made it work. Puts him right back at eleventh though. So not too much. Hollywood might pass uh Mr. Russell here soon. Just get pretty close to him. Might be too much ground for Magna to make up here. Technically, right now, if you see yeah, those those red indicators right there, these are these have actually been the worst personal laps for Hollywood at this given moment. Oh. Whereas Magnus M has put together his best personal laps for the stretches, as you can tell by the indicator. So this was. This was Magnus' best lap by far, so he's settled down and gotten more comfortable. It's just he has to catch up. Magna, if you can look on his face, he's concentrated, trying to figure out the trying. best way. Yeah, he he really is. He's like, no, oh, he's POV. He biting his lip right now. Yeah, Hollywood, you're playing a video game, my guy. <laughs> he he biting his lip like he's taking a selfie. Like, well, the girl's gonna love this one. <laughs> Big case of oh, my, what Magna, you? Magna, Magna. Did it not give him a corner cutting? No, because he had one wheel on that striped line for all of that. I mean, hey. Break the rules. <laughs> Break the rules. <laughs> he looked up at us like, I mean, it worked. <laughs> hey, hey. Last time I checked, you didn't get penalized, my boy. It worked. Do what you got to do. It I got to respect it. Put some respect on my name. R-E-S-P-E-C-K. Gotta do it. <laughs> he really did. He just played. He played F1 the U E O way. Overall, though, Hollywood with a super solid performance has not lost any ground. As a matter of fact, has gained it. Let's see. Magna right here, one of the one of the up and coming rookies. Definitely some good development right here. He's come in. He's been dedicated from day one that he's joined the league and put in time and effort. You've seen him get a lot spicier. But right here, he's getting cooled off by Hollywood. Uh, he's making the face. With 2K coming up next, this is an opportunity. This car. Give me a... That the bandits may go. have left past, let past them. And you really don't want that. No, at least he's finishing the race. No, he's going to finish the race. He um uh, it's not like it's a it's not like it's a blowout win. It is it is closer than the positioning would say. I would say yes. So right here, getting that pass. Yep, taking a pass on the AI. AI coming right back. And it's all about the angle sometimes as you take these turns, right? So right here, AI baiting. There we go. Good pass. Top corner again. Yeah, I 
five lap if he needs again. Alright, now they're on a. They've been on lap five. It looks like Hollywood's getting closer and closer. Yeah, Hollywood looking like he's going to close this out right here, give the Reapers that win that they needed. Also, keep it in them back at 7 6. Oh, for sure. Uh, Hollywood's getting a little low there. He's just got to. He definitely can afford to just chill out and let it, you know, charge. He doesn't have to full send it here. I mean, he might just just to be a little bit cocky. So it looks like he's full sending right here. He's at 8% on it. Yeah, but it's really just the. Sam the doesn't have much more, but. Correct me if I'm wrong, but if it goes down, it won't cut off. Deckard flag. Yep, he's right there in the home stretch. Both of them at eight percent. Walks away, and that is a good win for Hollywood, walking away it's with the really disrespect. Nice. Now, with that being said, like overall, Henderson played a very good match today. Oh yeah, for sure, and it's not over. We still have an hour and a half. Okay. Okay. I know this. Uh, this game right here is a little bit of my stomping grounds up. So. Shoot back to it. Yeah, there you go. I knew you wanted to see my face. Dude, knew it. But uh, I knew it. Two K, not twenty two, not twenty one. Absolutely not sixteen. That's the 21. first two K I played. Um, yes, it was actually the first two K. Uh, yeah, I think it was the first two K I played. Was it really? I was yeah in high school. I was very obsessed with like basketball and soccer so i like lived breathed and consumed soccer and, and basketball i watch it i played it i played the games yeah it was are you still consumed with either one of those uh no but i do miss playing soccer a lot i would love to i'm not playing you in basketball if that's what you're asking what, that's not what i was asking. okay i thought usually I when like i say i play basketball people be like take it outside and i'm like why do you see me like i'm short Really, is that the defining factor? Okay, look, <laughs> look. <laughs> yes, it is. It okay, is. I'm just asking. It is. I, I didn't say anything. I I, look, I was really bad at like layups. Like they were my like biggest weakness. But I could shoot oh, the yeah. threes. I could shoot the threes. You could shoot the threes. You was Katie on them. I was Katie. You was Steph right out there. Yeah, I was. It was really weird. Like I was like, why can't I? Why can't I do the easy part? <laughs> so when Post Malone came out with White Iverson, was that your jam? Um, no. Okay, I'm just asking. Absolutely not. But, uh, okay, so they're already graying out who's going to be going in. Yeah, and honestly, okay. I mean, <laughs> in this situation, you, if Cat is in with Cheesy Chicken, and what is it, Scarlet? Noob? Is it Scarlet or Noob? They might be saving yeah. Scarlet for the next fighting game. We know that we're going to see Luchi Sama here. Oh, wait, no, that is the four that has to go in for the bandits, correct? Yes. So, Wait. yeah, th there we have it right there. Star, Lucci, Boar, and somebody else. I'm looking on my phone. I can't see the rest of them. So, yeah. Hokestar, Lucci. It's not looking good for the bandits, if I'm being quite honest. You think so? You think so? Now, see, there's still a shot. There's still a shot. No, there's a chance. It's, but... it's just going to be Lucci versus... Yes, and the, the world does not help. Universe. The world watches and it laughs while you struggle. It's universal. It's like, huh? You're you're struggling? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. You start laughing and struggle? <laughs> no, that's that's what the world does to you. The world laughs, but you got to prove that you're stronger and you're better, and then you could be like, "Freak you, world! I'm better." Are you gonna like yell that at the top of your lungs? Yes. Wait, hold on. Time out. Wait, 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 wait. Hollywood talks a lot, right? Yeah. So you might want to hear somebody that talks a lot. And we got literally three of the biggest trash talkers right there on Outside the Wheel, our podcast. Definitely okay. tap in. Yeah, G-Boyne. I'm not even going to attempt to point because I always get it mixed up. I had a, I had a brain for a second. I'm like, every time I do yes. it the way I think it is, it's wrong. So I'm going to do it this way. But and I did it right. Don't you think it's fitting? Yes, it is. That we have the biggest trash talkers also the ones leading our podcast. And to be quite it honest, be it has been fire. Oh, yeah. Would be a retired player? I wonder if uh, for player those player. who missed it, Titus versus Lockdown for retirement. I liken it to loving basketball, but it's loving your career. So <laughs> somebody, somebody you had a career shit. And it wasn't Titus. Personally, I wouldn't allow you to talk about me like that. I'm well, personally, saying. you also would have won. No, I'm, I'm bad. I'm one of the worst players in the world. Oh, the mic shocked me. 
<laughs> well, I can't, I can't fight I think the, the mic. Mike was disagreeing with me. He was like, "You better shut up. Don't finish that sentence." No, I am actually like one of the worst though. Hey, well, the rankings say right. That's yeah, what it is. I'm bad. Come on. There you go. The rankings say I'm bad. What are you like? One seventy fifth out of like a hundred? That's crazy. One ninety eight. One ninety eight. Out of like. But you know who isn't rated that low? Hollywood and <laughs> the cat. Both of them rated within the top ten. Actually, pretty impressive feat. I mean, the Ravens have a few of those themselves, but Reapers obviously showing that they just get W's. That's what they do. I gotta give credit where credit's due. Absolutely, yeah. But we'll see. Um... So we've got Lucci, Painful Bore, Rocket, Rocket. Which we're probably gonna be an underrated pick in here. I think so. I think he might be able to show something. So if 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 Rocket and Lucci can work together. And painful board, Pokestar. Pokestar will probably run big man if I had to guess. I mean, normally it's a guess as to what you're doing with these other teams. But in this case, the cat is solid at 2K. So that might be enough. As is Cheesy. He's also solid. Noob and D Dictator Chicken. They're going to fulfill roles. That's what they're going to do. And it looks like really depends on whether. I know Lucci's solid. I know he's solid in 2K. But I don't think he's carrying it. I've seen it. He, he makes some questionable decisions when he's the lead dog. I guess sometimes a yeah, definitely a lot of pressure. Definitely an area for the bandits to go and go and uh, recruit. I would say probably for the draft that most it's people should register for, right? On April Fools. April April first is the draft draft, and we're gonna be having an expansion draft on the. If you don't get April fooled. Join the draft and get picked. My brain hurts. Mine does too. I could even like say that sentence smoothly. I I, I hard, but I kind of like. Oh no, I was my brain was stuttering. I didn't physically stutter that time, but my brain was stuttering. Right, and they're getting 2K set up right now. 30 under 30 seconds left on that timeout right there. Hold. So, who are you leaning towards winning this one right here? I think it's going to be a Reapers one as well. If if the Bandits win here, I'll be very shocked, but last time I checked, I've been shocked about four or five different times today with the Bandits. So, be though. Hey, look. I'm, I'm in shock on both sides. I love the dog fight. I would love for KOF to roll up next. <laughs> KOF would be for lanes right now. Or what if it's a 1v1? They send Scarlet in because they have to. And then KOF or something rolls up that Scarlet can't participate in. Why? Dun, dun, dun. No? Yeah, Ricky would have to go in. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying or, or a 1v1 could roll. Yeah, but we actually got two of them out the way in F1 and MotoGP. Very interesting whenever they're out the way because then it takes out some of the... Sh you don't have to worry as much about the anchors at that point, right? Because at this point, we only have two, maybe three. MK11, UFC, and what is... Nope, I think that's it for the 1v1s left, right? Everything else is a team-based yeah, team or at least two. Mash is 4v4, Fortnite 4, UFC and MK. Wreckfest is 5, Rocket League is 3. Scarlet's had to play uh, UFC a number of times. So it's weird. Right, and there could be a rotation breakdown here for the Reapers. That could cost them a win, but their rotation is pretty strong. Yeah. I do have to say so myself. Definitely right? they'll, they'll be on um, Only time will tell and the wheel will tell. Uh, whatever the wheel wants, the wheel is going to get, so we'll see what she determines. The wheel is pretty free. See whose fate... Uh, she lies. Did, did you just use a pun? Did I say we'll see? <laughs> did you just say we'll see? No, no pun intended. I, I'll okay, say that. please. I was we'll like, please. We'll see. Like, normally, the corny puns are meant for me. I say them. No, I, well, I'm saying it. You're the one that's noticing it. Like, I didn't even, like, it wasn't intentional. That's because my corny meter is all the way up. Shout out to Michael Bicu. Just saying. You spinning off them puns like it's a monster bet. Like get because because the, the, the wheel spins. Yeah. I, I, I see. If I try, if I try, it don't it don't it don't work. Yeah, you just gotta let them roll off the tongue. I mean, you've you've seen the way I speak. There's no there's no arguing my no, back and forth. You can do it. Like if, if if there's actually like some I don't know. But that I was, overwhelmed. That people that was not an intentional pun, so that didn't work. Like I mean, I, I guess it worked. I don't know. I mean, it worked. I I'm, cringed. I guess I'm not punny. I'm not. Here, here at the UEO, we like to apologize for some of our commentary. <laughs> but no, for real, I'm looking forward to this 2K. 2K, you know what else I'm looking forward to? I 
if I swear we're on the same page. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me see. Let me see. Close my eyes when you think. You're probably about to talk about some of the games that got announced this past Thursday for next season, aren't you? Mind reader? Mind reader? No, don't do that. The US government will be after me in a heartbeat. I'm not a mind reader. I'm just right here to guess it. He's right here. Yeah, no, that yeah, but yeah, yeah, no. What what were you excited for? Some surprising that lose off? Uh, that doesn't count. It's been up there before. I'm talking about the game. I'm talking it's about the new I'm talking about the new I games. I would that also we say that, that I'm know. excited that Rocket League is not there anymore. You're excited that it's not? Yes. But you're one of the best. Okay. Game. Oh. Us Rocket League players are in a lot of pain, except for Snappy. Shout out to Snappy. He loves that game. I'm happy he loves that game. Because not, not nobody else does. Oh, Jerry, too. Yeah, One of Jerry. the interesting ones that I saw was Star Wars Battlefront. I used to love that game. And Titanfall. I used to play. Actually, I played those at the same time. So, I'm excited for WWE. I, I think I'm really excited. I, I, I was, was jumping up and down, screaming about Rhea Ripley. Uh, shout out to Rhea Ripley. I love you a lot. Oh, if my you're God. Watching this, please, like. I can't wait to get in the lab on that game with y'all. I am not good, but I can get good at that game. It is. Hey, fun. man. I'm going I'm, I'm to be playing that just because, you know. I mean, it's it's it's, ah, it's fun. I'm just glad we got like kind of like a variety and like all oh the for sure we got very like unique games like um we even got, like Champions. Assassin's Creed Black Flag that was a shocker I was like I didn't even really? know there was multiplayer because I, oh, like, I played Assassin's Creed Black Flag oh I love that I got it with my Xbox my original chunky Xbox One when I when I you know got it I yeah that's probably that one of the most played it. Assassin's Creeds it was yeah, so, and it was so but good I, the way they did it I just don't remember there being like multiplayer. There was multiplayer. Know, it's just it was like PvP. Yeah, it was in its infancy. That's the thing, especially for a game like Assassin's Creed, something that's traditionally a one a one player story based mode. But some of the PvP in these one player games is actually really good, and that being added to the wheel, it's crazy. What about any notable omissions? There were a couple for me. CTR, Madden, crazy. Let's not talk about CTR either. Oh, let's not talk about Madden. Madden's a great one on the wheel. No, I, hate always, I know you hate it. It's fine. No, okay. actually, I like Madden. Madden is interesting to watch and listen to the booze. Um, <laughs> obvious reasons. Um, but no, it can be. It just it's very unpredictable, and I love it. Uh, but you know, CTR, I'm very, very sad about. I know there's only like, only like three or four people that are actually sad about CTR. Um, but you know, we all we're we're going down together. It's it's gonna it, be okay, guys. It's funny though because I think that's the whole purpose of the league, right? Like just because a lot of your "Quote unquote strengths are on the wheel one season doesn't mean that they're going to be there. Next I knew it because, like, uh, couple seasons ago, Tekken came off, and I'm like, Oh, haha, Titus, you can take off Rocket League next season. He was like, mm-hmm. No, no, he didn't do it, but then he did this. But so. one thing that always happens good games always come back. That game's not good, don't bring it back. That game is <laughs> still to the Shadow Realm. See, as much as you don't like it, like, you should respect the fact that that game has it's very successful. Like, I mean, that game, you're good or not, that's it. Yes, and I agree, and I feel like the skill gap is giant. I honestly don't think it's fair to the different players, but, you know, I guess you should just play it if it came out. So, we got that next spin going up right here. We will let you know who's who. And it's Fortnite next. We're getting the checks right here. Getting back close. So right here, what they're doing is getting this control set up and the situation set up. You're like two. So for the bandits. Oh, they're using the Kembe Mutumbo for the bandits. That is an interesting pick. A little bit lengthier. A little bit lengthier. Can get dominated, but defensively, high pick. So we definitely know who's who. The bandits are in black. The Reapers. And all the other things. <laughs> How you watch that? Interesting. Yep, taking KD into the paint, challenging Shaq. Not really a good idea. So you got Kareem Abdul Jabbar and Mutumbo on the court. I don't understand the pick right there. I think they just dumped their, their less successful players onto those two. Giving Rocket Curry and Lucci KD. Lucci missing two shots to start off. Not a good start for him. Fast break on the way. They got Russell Westbrook. Cheesy out here doing cheesy things with Westbrook. Easy to stop. Get Kareem in front of him. Make it happen. 
Jeezy's just gonna... Uh, by the way, I'm back. Hello. But Jeezy, by the way, is just gonna do things that, one, annoy you as a player, and two, look flashy, because that's his MO, that's his thing, and he's gonna do whatever he can to be as petty as possible while playing the game. Oh, that's, that's a good green piece. Only because it was contested. If he was any more open, that shot is going down. Come on, you got to hit those pull-ups. Good. Okay, that was terrible timing, but you got away with it. Count your blessings because that is one for three, and that should have been over three, and that's a bucket. Oh, oh but you're scared. Soft. Pull up. You got KD open in the midi. Yeah. Nobody to really challenge Shaq. That's an easy bucket. One, three. Reaper's way right now. Dictator Chicken is running. Hurry. That's interesting. Just Dictator Chicken. Nice like that. See, right here, you're, you're rushing. You're rushing. Yeah, you had that entire time to take that shot. It's not the entire time. It's just that you were scared. That's what it comes down to. Like, the, the timing in which he shot it was fine. The The result was like, oh, I'm scared. Just watch the animation. That'll that'll tell you right there. But everybody's too focused on that shot. Meter. And that's an easy bucket. Cheesy. Oh, so cheesy. Living up to his name. Took that hat off for a reason, though. What you going to do about it? I mean, it's kind of it's kind of hot in here. You gotta 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 cool the nugget. Hot in here. Out yeah, there. Hot in here. So hot. So right now we've got that should be good right there. Yep. Done. Way to get on the board. Good shot from Rocket. Don't be scared. It's just Westbrook on the other end. No problem. He'll give you the ball. Yeah. And nobody covering KD. That should be an easy bucket. But <laughs> they're not sure about themselves. Got to have confidence because there's one thing you're going to do. If you're going to take the risk, you need to believe in it completely. Interesting, the cat missing that wide open jumper. Oh, that's a tough one. You don't want to be going up with Matumbo, not with Shaq in the paint. And that's a dunk right here. Cheesy. Boom. On your head. Double clutch. Let them know. Oh, that should have been a steal right there. And, and one. Is he Himothy? Should have been. And one and ball back or something. Oh, that's a that's a mouse in the house. Take advantage of that. KD post up, turn around fader. But nope, they're not good enough. Ooh. I've seen the air ball in a while. That's uh... not good enough. And if Cheesy is cherry picking, right, you should be able to call that out. He scored a majority of his buckets off of the runouts. So as a team, you need to be able to call that out and just have your big go right back down the court the second you miss that jumper if you don't get the rebound. Or better yet, have the guard stick with him or get in the passing lane. Something to make them respect you. Good bucket from Kareem. Best player in the game. I'll say it every time I'm on stream to, to people figure it out. I heard about that. A lot of a lot of explanation about why Kareem is the better big when it comes to Shaq. And it's not even close. I have to agree. Now, see, if we were talking about real life, yeah, we, we're talking about something different. Good shot yeah. from the cat. If we're talking about real life, it'd be a, it'd be a battle, right? Because Shaq being the most dominant. But you're talking 2K, right? So size rules all and defensive rating length plays into a factor. Right now. Good, good, good finish from, I'm sorry, who is that? Lucci right there. So we've got 6-5. Get in the passing lane. That's a steal. Why? Are they, oh, my God. It's irritating me. Give it to Westbrook on the three. Come on. All right, keep Make Kareem. the bad decision. All right, you got to rotate Kareem back. Oh, never mind. I got my tumbo. Come on. There oh, you good go. block. See, oh, right there. Just it. just having the Kembe and KD right there challenging that, that shot right there made it very difficult. That Don't might let him heat up your face. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. Oh, no, it's good. That's Curry. Don't let him heat up. Curry heats up. You know his lights out. He's pulling up from half court, mid court, behind your back, the parking your lot, your granny house, wherever. He's pulling up. You're now ex girlfriend. Curry like that. That's another one. Curry like that. Bandits not, not getting out on defense. That's going to be their downfall right here. They are not out of this. They're only down six. So a couple stops, a couple buckets, and they're right into it. The only thing is they can't, probably can't let them score any more times. Because they're going to catch momentum, and you got to hit those wide-open shots. you got to. That was Curry's release pass. is easy, and it's another. They, they're they going to be heating up pretty soon. You're going to see their badges click, click in, and these rating boosts for the Reapers. It looks like the Reapers coming out and making sure once this game was tied up, they go up by two. That's a good shot, though. Yeah, that's nice. That's a good shot. Now you're down by five. Still not enough. Got it. You got what? Ooh, why did you pull the defender? That was your best chance to get in the stop. Like, right there, it's so simple. You have Kareem. Shaq, why are you covering Shaq so close if you're Kareem? Just stand in the paint and make everybody else respect you. Mutombo, I, I understand being out there. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. That's just a tough contest, but that was a good shot. And this is going to hurt. Oh, wow. Getting a Got little. Spooked him. Yep. 
You've got Curry right there. Pass the ball to him. He's got to hit it, though. That's good. There you go. Because he was go. wide open. If he had a defender on him, that was not going down. I'm surprised he didn't take the second to step back and try and pull for the two on that. Well, it was just his, his uh, placement footing, so that was the issue. Westbrook crashed into the hoop. Curry with a wide open jumper, but deciding to pass on it because it was a good closeout by the other Curry. Let's see. That, that was the bad right there. See that they don't have they don't have the necessary coaching in, in this, right? So they need to tell the big man to stay in the paint because now Westbrook is hot and he's not even like a good park player, bro. So <laughs> I mean, it, it's I'm yeah, I have no words for it. Like he's not a good park player. Go up and there you go. One free buckets. Badge is up, double clutch, reverse dunk, in your mouth, How on you your head. It? Keep it moving. All right, so Garnett dribbling past. Oh, that's a tough shot. That's if he would have nailed that, that should have gone on, be honest. Look, look, you're getting beat with the same thing every time. I don't even have anything else to say. I'm going to just sit back and watch. If he would have nailed that jumper, would that have put him on fire immediately because it was contested that heavily? No, so it's 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 more than just one shot, right? It's, it's a buildup of shots and, and plays. So it could be assists, defensive plays, essentially all the things that would be, you know, pertinent in a real basketball match. So, yes, the tough shot. Now, see, if he had hit a couple shots before and then hit that tough jumper, that actually probably would have made that tough jumper go in because you're in rhythm. So it's a rhythm play. That's why I was starting off at the, at the, at the top saying that KD was one for three because you're automatically putting your KD at a disadvantage. I see just their KD. Good. That's right. But this good, good foul, good foul. You want to stop the ball? You're down by eight. You guys are having trouble making stops. So you've got Matumbo on Shaq. So that's probably where the issue is lying, and that should have been a contest. But nope, you let KD double windmill clutch on you. you just call out every single one of these moves that the, when the bandits go back and watch this, they realize how bad they are performing. Right yeah, now. definitely take the wheel on this one. I'm just. Oh come on. Oh, not him. Please. Put it back up. Put it back out. Nope, good pass. There we go. Now, I don't think the Bandits have it in them to make the stops because I haven't seen it. <laughs> so, but anything can happen. Can't miss nothing that ain't there. Oh, oh. good block. Okay. Good block. Okay. That's, that's what you got to do. You have the bigs. Contest everything in the paint. All right. All right. Come on. You got it. You got it. Nope. There you go. You gotta, you gotta keep this defense up. You gotta keep them going back to the top of the key, because one of these blocks is eventually gonna roll in your favor, so they're going out of bounds. And that's the issue right here. They use too big, right? So now one of them has to guard KD, and that's leaving KD either open or you, you can't run Kareem into the paint. So you're really relying on Matumba, who's a smaller big, but not quite as versatile as Kareem. So Kareem has to defend the perimeter. It's, it's a bad strategy. Like, you could have picked Giannis, and you would have gotten more or less the same result and had a perimeter defender, which would have put Kareem in the paint and would have made their lives very difficult in the Reapers. Ooh. Yeah, he no. tried it. See, you see that right there? That's what happens when you contest. Good pump. It's Steph. Pull up. You got Mouse in the house, Steph Curry, and seven-foot KD with a, like, seven-six wingspan or something ridiculous like that. Pull up. Curry's not going to stop that if you have a green bean in you. And that's why they're about to throw this game. Yep. Shaq in the paint. Dominant. This one might have hurt my eyeball just a little bit. I was so sad. That bad? Just a little bit. Because cause I didn't understand the strategy in picking the tumble. Even, even if he was the solo big, it's not who you want. Because Kareem has the offense and defense. So why would you pick a defensive star? You, you get what I'm saying? Like, he can only stay in the paint. He doesn't have perimeter defense. So now you've got two paint players, and one of them has to guard KD. And then you guys let them cherry pick the whole game with Westbrook, who isn't a good, who isn't a good Westbrook player. Like I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it. This is a bad idea for the Bandits. Let them know. They gotta know. Yeah. So it's fine. It's the playoffs, though. They've competed so far. It's just something that you know. It's probably my game. That's probably why I'm going at your heart. Hey, man. You Fight for what you love, and they ain't fighting for it, so you got to say something. Well, I love you, yeah, so I fight for that. All right. And so, the Reaper's getting an easy W right there. Had I known, I would have went up personally and told Rex, forfeit this. You don't. It's not good. 
Yes, hundred percent. Because it's it's not the comp for it. That's not the comp. Yeah, I, it was it was already an uphill battle for them because you were you were basically relying on Lucci, and and Pokestar. so right there, all you had to do was put Giannis Giannis in for Matumbo, and there, boom, problem solved. Kareem drops in the paint. Giannis can play the perimeter, back down KD. So you get more points off of that, even if your your teammates don't know what to do. So running a double big strategy doesn't work unless the other team is doing that. And that's that's why I'm looking at it and, and just a little blown by it. Because Rocket and Lucci had what it take what it takes to win that that match right there, but they just didn't have the support. And that's where the bandits have to have to get better. But hey, I mean, we're gonna go shoot out to an interview, and that's the best part. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna hear from one of the Reapers for sure. If I had to guess, we're probably gonna hear from the cat. It's about that time that he does it. If it's not the cat, then I guess wrong. We're going to find out. Now. Right back at you. OG Juki in the building. How you doing, folks? Raven right here accompanying OJ Juki. Hey, yo, this your boy Lovejoy. Dr. Lovejoy to y'all Dr. out here. Lovejoy. Dr. Lovejoy. It's official as of now. I mean, yeah, you can put me, you can change my name to Dr. Lovejoy if you want. I'm fine. Well, how are you Dr. doing today, sir? I'm pretty good. Pretty good. You know, this game's closer than what I expected, what everyone expected, honestly. But we're going to come out. We're going to take the dub after. We're going to take the dub in Fortnite, and then this is going to be it. Yeah, man. Um, You guys looking a lot stronger than recent transactions. Much stronger. A, Much. A, a, a lot more of a force than you have in recent times. But I don't get to see you play often. Um, well, in, in a lot more of the recent games, I haven't seen you out in the field. Well, ma mainly because it's mainly because of work. But like, Understood. I'm here when I'm here. Understood. But you know, um, you guys are here in full effect today. Facts. Yeah. Uh, you're you're you actually stolen a couple of games out of these guys. Oh yeah. Yeah. And you Moto GP was a steal. And you are quite, you are quite the, uh, uh, a competitor in uh, For Honor, sir. I wasn't expecting that, but we'll... You got mad squabbles, Jake. But we'll take, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll take the one-on-one -on -one duels, and we'll take the one-on-one -on -one duels. Shout out to Mr. Fear for helping me. Shout out for Boar and all the, everybody helping me out with that game. So, you know, got to give people the props. Oh, Boar went off, man. He oh, went man. off. Like, he, he carried that team pretty much right there. Oh, for yeah. Honor. Oh, yeah. That 3v1, when, yeah. when he almost took it, I was like... He went hard. Yeah, I was, was like, I was gonna lose my mind if he actually pulled it off right there. I the think area. everybody was. I was like, yeah. "Come on, boy! Come on! Come on!" It was good though. Yep, super tight. So you're in a competitive match right now. Um, you guys were tied up just a moment ago. Yeah. With the Reapers having to increase that lead by mm -hmm. two again, but you're looking at a game that you guys are generally pretty uh uh, uh well uh pretty well rounded well, at. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, very confident at. Oh yeah, super uh, confident. I think Sam, Sam, I think the lineup we have in for Fortnite can take it. And then make it eight seven. Then whatever rolls next, we'll take that. We're gonna we're going for the upset today. That's it. Yeah, that's man. it. Um, like I said, it's it, it, it's it's quite surprising to see where you guys are right now. Um, nobody saw this coming at Absolutely. all. Absolutely, nobody no. saw the game being this close. Absolutely. No way. But I mean, we did. You're you're we making saw us winning. That's it. <laughs> we saw we did. We're, as we're long on, as you did, you're good. Because all I see is. Oh, Reapers are going up against the Ghost. Reapers are going against the Booze. Ain't nobody thinking we're going to win except us. Yo, everybody looks We know we're going to do the next one. You were definitely counted out. I'm going to be honest with you. I expect to see what I'm saying right now. See yeah. They come this hard. Because it, it, it didn't show in the regular season. But all in all, you guys are here now, and you're, you're definitely in, in the fight for it. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? Is the, is the pressure weighing on you? or Not even a side. It's being a rookie on being running the squad with five rookies and then having Amazing Mayor come out later in the season. Perfect. This is your first season Perfect. too, right? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, me, Rocket, Boar, Sam, Lucci, all first all, season. All first season. Well, the rookie squad is definitely putting up a fight right now, man. It's, it's, it's fun to see because I, I, I hate a blowout. Which oh, was, absolutely. Which yeah. was what everybody was expecting, but it, it's, it's not me. You guys I was expecting it. I'm not going to lie. I'll be honest. I was never expecting a blowout. We played them three times. It was the first time was a wash. The second time was closer. And this time we're going to go out for the win. Yeah. All right, man. Well, best of luck to you, man. Thank you still got some work to do. Uh, We're going to take it home. We're going to win it. I don't care. We're going to win it. That's all that matters. <laughs> I got to go in, I gotta go into it with the winner's mentality, and that's it. All right. Well, you heard it here first. Dr. Lovejoy said it's in the bag for him and the bandits. Taking the, we the bandits. We stealing this win. All right, man. Best of luck to you. Thank Good you, luck. brother. Thank you. Back, Back to, to you guys. guys. Hey, man. I respect Lovejoy for that. Also, I'm back, guys. Hi. <laughs> what up buddy but yeah 
can Juki and them stop like burying the bandits? Every I mean, interview, it's like, hey, it's... we we didn't expect we you didn't, to yeah, actually I thought it was do it. Wow, wow. Well, yeah, you guys can actually play video games. That's crazy. <laughs> look at the score. You guys aren't bots. Oh wow, that's crazy. Nobody expected this, bro. Look, I I'm sorry, but I expected it. Like, I. I just know, and just like Lovejoy said, it, this is their third time playing them. The first time, it was a wash. Because, I mean, that's literally the beginning of the season. Brand new team, you know. I think, did they play back-to-back? -back? They might have played back-to-back -back weekends. I don't remember. Um, but regardless, second time, it was a lot closer. And this time, Lovejoy says they're going to take it. We'll see. We'll see. But I think I think they can definitely do it. The potential is, de the potential is definitely there. And like you said, wash, then competitive competitive loss and then now look where we're at now six eight and going into Fortnite, and they felt comfortable about it and lovejoy said it you gotta have that, that winner's, winner's mentality. mentality and that's where i was like yep i respect it for that you have to like speak it speak it you know fake it till you make it <laughs> fake it till you make 100%. it 100 but uh i think i think they can make it they truly can make it the reapers can also make it they also have that winner's mentality so they're not gonna let it go easily and as you see like it's been i mean it's been back and forth so we'll see. I believe that the Bandits should take Fortnite here, um, but the Reapers could very well prove me wrong. Uh, they have Oso Cheesy in there. I know um, he plays it a little bit, a little, 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 um, little bit. Mr. Meow in there, he plays that as well. Uh, what doesn't he play at this point? Yeah, I mean that's that's the Cat Man right there. Um, He's all over the place. Ricky Rockham. Of course he does. He doesn't own a car, he, he so he has to be good. Yeah, he has to be good at Fortnite. Uh, Scarlet, he's gonna be like the old man when it comes to this. Uh, <laughs> Where did everybody go? Just see his thumbstick just slowly move up. <laughs> yep, no, exactly. Uh, no, shout out to Scarlet though. He's a he's a G man, but I don't I don't know about Fortnite. His brother Scans though, I've been seeing him rocking the beer skin. He been going kind of crazy. Hey, you never know. You never know because that family is ridiculous when it comes to their labbing in general. When it comes to Tekken, oh, yeah. so like you put other games in with them being UEL pros. You might got some tech. Hey, man, I think if Scarlet gets himself a Dragon Ball skin, he will be just as good as his brother. I think I think that's what it takes. Really, just slap on Goku, instant win. Yes. You're Goku. I mean, nobody's beating Goku. <laughs> Nobody beats Goku. Nobody. Nobody. Well, we got two minutes left on the, <laughs> uh... Was, oh, yo, did the, Re the Reapers just used their last time out. We see, that can... That can that, bite him in the butt in the end. That could. I was, speak, uh, I was saying this to uh, Black Diamond earlier. These timeouts could be the difference between a blowout and a guaranteed win. Yep. Yep. And timeouts are actually extremely crucial, and some teams don't know that. Mainly when you're uh, when you're down, but uh, this is not a comfortable lead for the Reapers. I, I would say that right now. Like, this is not a very comfortable lead. Yeah, um, what, like an hour and ten minutes left, only up by two? Two, it's, yeah, it, anything can happen. Anything can certainly happen, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm kind of curious. I want to see Friday roll. I want to see Reapers play a survivor, and I want to see if they can escape again. Because I think the last time they did escape from Boar. I'm still trying to figure out how they con uh, Meowth, because that entire setup with the White Oaks and then... The way Luigi purposely never landed a skill check just to annoy the killer, and then him slow and him slow rolling the escape when he got picked back up was what allowed them to get three out guaranteed. So like the layers and the strategy there between the white oak offerings, the perk selection, and then Luigi constantly popping uh, skill checks. Yeah, I actually didn't see that, but I heard about it as soon as I walked in. Everyone was like, "You see the Dead by Daylight game?" I was like. Insane. I've been driving, man. I'm not trying to be on my phone while I'm driving, you know? Yeah, two people up on, uh, yeah, one person on death hook, two people are uh, going into the second hook, and they're behind on five generators. Then they went down to four, and then went down to one, and then two people got hooked, and then two people got unhooked, and then last generator got completed, and then Lucci went for an unhook, or bait for an unhook. He got down. He got left behind because Catman went back to see who's still there. It got up. Lucci took the safety hit, and they got three out. Oh, cool. Like, and you just see Lucci sitting there like, all right, whatever, I just got to stop him at the door. Door was already 99. Walked up, touched the door, three, walked out. That is crazy. Like. That's actually crazy. Bruh. I, I, yeah, no, I am curious to see uh, Friday. I am very curious. 
And Friday, unlike DVD, is way more killer friendly. I think, yeah, at least. Um, but the Reapers have managed to win a Survivor like two or three times now, so we'll have to see. Definitely have to see. And it looks like we're getting everything almost finalized with Fortnite. Who do you think is going to win this? Who do you think is going to pull out the fourth night? I, I think it's going to be, it should be the Bandits, but I think the Reapers can definitely do it as well, especially with Ricky up in there, with uh, Oso Cheesy up in there, with, the, with Mr. Catman in there, and even with the Scarlet Rift in there, you know? So, you know, they can clutch this one out, but my bets are on the Bandits. <laughs> the problem is, is like, both me and Diamond were like, yeah, man, the Bandits got this. Poop the bitch. Violently. Just violently poop everywhere. Selling games. Cha-ching. You hear that? That's the sound of the banditos selling. Yeah. If, no, I were... um, if they sell Fortnite, man, I might have to have a conversation with them after and be like, all right, guys. It's a free game. How are you selling this? Yeah, let's, let's it's not GameStop. Stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no. <sighs> okay, Fortnite. Um, I want to see some KOF, too. I would love to I see would it. love to see. I, I am never, never not ready to see KOF. It's a, it's a game that really grew on me this season. Um, so he was. Oh my gosh, they're just building straight up with both teams building straight up with no platforms. Yo, who just fell off? Oh, that I Magna? Think, oh, I think they're resetting. That's what it is. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, that I'm got like, me worried for a these, second. I'm these like... bots, they're they're building up with no like protection underneath of their stair builds. Like, what is wrong with you guys? Ooh, I knew it. So Scarlet's up. I freaking knew it. Pokestar plays MK11, doesn't he? Yes, but I don't think he plays. He he, he lost Scarlet a lot. And we know love you. That's unfortunate. I, f I knew, I knew that MK was gonna roll. All right, so it looks like we're having a bit of a technical setup, right? Uh, setup situation. So we're gonna let them get that uh, squared away. But MK11, you got Scarlet up, the Fighting Wheel Champion right now, available for that. So, folks, our Lovejoy, who do you think is gonna take less punches to the face at this point? They might just punch Joy in. Pokestar. I don't even know, man. I think they're just gonna they're just gonna forfeit it. I think it would be the better bet. I don't think there's any way they could take it. All right, so it looks like we're spectating the one, the only Meowman Catman. That's the Catman, the drummer for. Oh, and he just got inked in the head like he owed somebody money. Oh, Oso Cheesy is knocked. Oso Cheesy is dead. Oh, Mr. Catman is knocked. Mr. Cheesy, Mr. <laughs> Mr. 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 Every Mr. Every Oh, um, yes, bandits, nice. And bandits get the first round. <laughs> the Mr. The very... Squad is gone. <laughs> yes, the team Mr. has been eliminated. That's, that's actually the Reapers' like uh, alternative uh, name. It's team Mr. Oh, I, oh, there's a lot of yelling out there. Oh, oh there is. Uh, it's getting aggressive. What, what the kids would call uh, popping off. Yeah, I think. I think. Yeah, that's what the kids nowadays call it. Uh, Orville Redenbacher in this. <laughs> Mom, get the kids out. house. <laughs> I'm about to go crazy. All these noobs. Ma, look, I'm winning. I'm doing so great. Look at my 90s. <laughs> I'm cranking them, man. <laughs> cranking. All right, back into the fighting. Who we got right now? Is that that is, ten? I think that's, that's the question mark. Okay. Rick um, Rocks 10. That is Ricky. Come on, man. You don't own a car. You have to be good at this game. You could get you, cut for this. Yeah. Personally, if you if you don't own a car and you are not good at Fortnite, you are off the team. Yeah, you don't that, matter what team you're on. Yup. So Ricky you better start stepping up. All right, Sam's going in, Mr. Peely man. I really don't like the way the Peely cape looks with Peely. Just just not look good to me. It's a banana Pulling with arms. Pulling up with the impulse grenade. Those actually aren't those shotgun oh, grenades. My bad. Yo. Hey, oh, that yo. whiff hurts. Sam. Sam is on. 18 don't let him hunt. do it to you. Build. Survive. Eat that slurpfish while you're in the air, bro. You ain't gonna shoot. Just eat the slurpfish. You're doing he's challenging on them things all right so we got now oh Mayor amazing man down to like 36 health she's gotta pop this chug jug real quick with no protection around her bro that if they, if startup this, animation is ridiculously it's 15 seconds to pop this so if they let her they're gonna let her do it reapers you guys are butt <laughs> you guys are actually butt look she's <laughs> she just just down there chilling oh my gosh and boris don't matter bandits win don't matter. That's a dub. That's a dub. You thought they were going to sell Sam it. Sam out there like, Wee! Yeah, no, I should have never doubted them for a second. Yeah, they went crazy. Oh, That's over. 2 0. Bandits win that. Ooh. And we got the chicken cam going. I told you. Bandits win that easy dub. Uh, so they're only down one, but MK11 up and Scarlet available. So. Unless they put chicken in. They might put chicken in, I think. 
there's I would say I would I would try and see who they put in. Um if they don't put Scarlet in, then yeah, just I don't know why they wouldn't Yeah, these games are too close for them to be pulling punches or trying to be Ooh, cute. Or maybe because stuff. okay, if you look at their rotation, if another like three v three fighter were to roll, Scarlet could be more useful there. That is true. So that actually, I I definitely could see the Reapers just putting in Chicken here because I think Chicken still should win. Um, uh, it's less of a guarantee than if they were to put Scarlet in. Um, uh, but I think they're gonna just put Scarlet yeah. In. I think they're just full setting it because Chicken can still be a decent uh anchor or lead off to have your new or your weaker fighters behind that. But Scarlet just guaranteeing a potential win. I think it's kind of higher upside. Um, the chance of like uh, like second or like kof roll I, they're gonna roll they're gonna roll i'm not even gonna lie one of them is bound to roll because i'm saying this right now i knew i knew for a fact mk was gonna roll after fortnite i just did not say anything i freaking knew it and now i'm feeling like it's gonna be kof for Tekken just because they're putting scarlet in i i feel like i feel like the wheel's not gonna be on the reaper side right now that that'd be the worst feeling in the world. You burn up all your time out to make some questionable decisions on some of the games, and then starts because the Smash is still up there. That is a ban is dumb. They still, I mean, I, th I feel like the Reapers would play it out because they have Scarlet, and what Scarlet is in there. But like, there's just games on there that I see that are still banned stuff. So all right, we got Scarlet on Noob Cybot, and we got Pokestar on Sindel, and it's already just not going well for uh, Pokestar. I don't know what. Oh, yeah, I think it is a button check. I think you're right. I what see, is... You see that interactable glowing side there? Is it a sandwich? You know, it was a, a skull witch. Skull witch? Skull witch. No, it was just a skull, but... That's crazy that could be... Hey, that was, like, fun. Where, where's my... Or, sorry. Look, he used my government name. I used his. Um, hey, it shows that we're close, though. Black Diamond. He was over here, you know, dissing my pun. Making fun of my puns. How was, how was the skull witch? I think that was good. I immediately thought about the Brood Witch from uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Well, I guess my pun was not great. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need Black Diamond to come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Look, I know he's got the puns. I don't. You know, I'm trying, okay? I'm trying my very best. I'm not gonna make the same pun I did earlier. Uh, to be funny. But, you know, it's, it's not working out too well for me. Alright, let's see what... Uh, Let's see what they do here, though. I'm curious to see if Pokestar can just, like, let his clutch gene just shine. It's... I don't like that. You never know. Pressure creates diamonds, and you can either come become a diamond or get lit up like a piece of charcoal, so... All I right, mean, so back in the character select. I, you know, I love Pokestar, but my only memory of him really playing MK is when uh, Chicken Peck beat him blindfolded. It was so foul. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. I missed the bus. Run that back by me again? Yes. Uh, so Chicken Tech, when he came into the league, was like, I'm never losing MK. Well, first off, he lost to Cat later on. So that really bit him in the butt. Mm -hmm. um, but he, his first performance was against Pokestar. And, like, again, I love Pokestar, but Chicken Tech is significantly better. Like, it, it's like, this isn't one of Pokestar's main games. He's, he's picked it up, played it a little more. But uh, Chicken Tech said he was going to play him blindfolded. And what did he do? He played him blindfolded. And he beat him blindfolded and gave him mercy and still won well so but then after that he played the cat and lost to the cat so the legend of the cat is just ridiculous yes he is it's, 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 it's gotten ridiculous but now we got Pokestar against Scarlet the fighting game will champion so Looks like they're gonna wait out to a lot of that setup timer because both teams are trying to play the clock to try and they're they're mutually agreeing to play the clock right now, which is actually kind of crazy because if it could man, it could bite both either one. I of the feel teams. like the Reapers of both the teams should not be doing that because they don't have any. I well, the Bandits have time. It uh, has one. One. Left, so I mean, that's that better is, than none. Yeah. That and is. They, and with how close the score is, yeah, this is. But I, Street Fighter. Scarlet will be able to go in. Yep, because it's they a 5v5. Five. They got very lucky with that. But I was hoping the Siege Bandits will. can win that. But they got Chicken. So Chicken is our, like, I would say their main Street Fighter guy. So I think they'll be, yeah, the Reavers should be all right.
They could be all right, but... But then again, if they put Scarlet in, then he'll be out for that entire rotation, which actually, I don't think they will put him in. I think they're just going to play chicken. I think that would be the better move for him. And it's probably going to be chicken at the end of the rotation, too, just to protect. But let's see what happens with the Sindel Noob Sabot matchup. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, got to tech, though. You got to love the grabs in this game. It's a guessing game. Oh, man. The screaming don't, don't work. You gotta punch it. <laughs> you got. You got to do. You got to do a little more than the vocal cords. Oh my god! All right. So it looks like Focus Star is just gonna get knowledge checked out of this. He's dead. Goes for the mix up. Doesn't do anything. Just trap again. Just trap again. All right. It's just gonna be a flawless. No, he no, got. He got li very little bit of. <laughs> just enough chip to not get perfect. That's hilarious. All right. All right. All right. Well. Let's see if he does it this time. It Come on, buddy. Gotta do something. You got you got you got you got to you got it. You gotta press a button, bro. Like what? Interrupt somewhere. That, that was not the place to do it. Uh, this might I be the don't. Flawless. I think this, this is gonna flawless. be the flawless. This gonna be Wake the up button flawless. and get tucked in. This gonna be the flawless. Yep. Oh man. He forgot how to do it. Oh no, he didn't. All right. Penalty. Yep. Oh, he started just accepting his fate at this point. He's like, yep. Oh man. I think you're gonna need a bucket, a bucket, the mop for this one. Flawless victory. Ooh. That one stinks. All right. So maybe the, the first round. I think you know what it was. Download. He's tr trying oh, to get yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's, inf here's where it changes. In information gathering. Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So he doesn't walk away. Sweet kid. Yo, wait. What? Might actually be a download run? I was being uh, partially sarcastic, but uh Yeah, what? Might actually be a download run? Oh, oh. okay, that hurts a little bit. Okay, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. Alright. Alright, yep, rip cage broken out. Scarlet was that. like, yeah, download. Yeah, yeah, no, no, you. forget your, forget your download. I'm downloading. <laughs> downloading every streaming platform so everybody can see this. Oh, uh, oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, let's go, Pokestar. All right, All right Pokestar. Oh, oh. Uh, uh. That is the final yeah, game that... champion. He can't get away with too much. No. Oh, oh, man. And he got, okay. He did a lot better that round, though. I will say that. And then Scarlet did even more better. Yeah, oh, yeah, even, even better. he did even better. He did better. Better, 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 better. Let's see. If, let's see if he can do even. Most splendiferously. Better, better. Yes. I want to see. I think so far. Uh, These grabs are actually are ridiculous. So, I don't like the way she screams like that. Didn't old Sindel's like scream used to be a projectile that actually traveled instead of a cone? I or is it always been true? I don't know. That's a good question. So. Okay, 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 let me go take a round. You got it, you got it. Oh. Grabs, man. You got Nobody's teching the grabs. Skeleton got, did not either. Got it, got to tech those. Alright, looks like we got the to fatal blow off. That's. Death, death, death. Death. And that's a GG. No mercy. He won't. He might for time. Nope, he's just gonna. He's gonna go with the fatality again. All right. All right. Guess she just fell apart under pressure. Yeah, it's just, it, it'd be like that sometimes. Bro. Like, I, I understand. Personally, I can relate. Hashtag same bestie. Hashtag girl boss. <laughs> she was, what? <laughs> Did I say something? <laughs> <laughs> oh. She was just being a queen. Sometimes you just gotta let yourself go. Let yourself fall apart a little bit, and then we and we pick up the pieces, <laughs> put yourself back together, and go back out there. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, my eyes are watering. All right, Street Fighter Five next. Scarlet not in rotation. What do? Please speak. Still laughing. <laughs> I think. I think. I think for. I think for this, they save the girl boss slayer. <laughs> <laughs> they go ahead, and they go ahead and put in Mr. Cheesy instead, just to just in case the game like KOF or or something like that comes up, or they might just go for the overkill and put in Mr. Uh, Girl Boss Slayer and and just seal the deal. 
<laughs> Send help. We're not okay. We're not. We're uh, really not. <laughs> it's It's been crazy over here, man. All right, so with the bandits, the way the rotation worked out, Lovejoy has to go in. So we got. And then Lovejoy. they have they have options. And then least. yeah, they got they got. <laughs> oh, look! All those people who just pop back up. Uh, who would you think you'd be the optimal choice for the bandits? Here? I was gonna say Mayor. Facts. Probably Lucci, maybe. Okay. So mm -hmm. Pokestar, yeah. No, Pokestar yeah. actually got Pokestar. He got nice as Street Fighter. He got um his little Elsa. I forgot her name. Could, could something. Cloud help! Cloud help! I, I don't know. But, uh, so we've got Pokestar, Amazing po Mayor. Colleen? Colleen. Colleen, Texas? Yes. I don't know, but yeah, she looks like Elsa, so I call her Elsa. But yeah. So, oh, the ice chick that looks like she's from Russia. Yes, yes, that oh, okay, one. Okay, yes, okay, okay, yes, I, yes. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yep, that one. Yep. I have no now idea what the character does, but I know who you're talking he about. Do, yes. She's got ice he does uh, ice things and Russian things, so... so Cold, chilled vodka and violence. Got yes, it. absolutely. Spot on. <laughs> internet. Thanks, internet. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to the internet. We uh. We're being great. Being a real one. Being Always having my out. back when I'm unsure of, of things. Or which when is I'm a in lot of things. For Twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Let's uh, see who the Reapers put in as their uh their their fifth. I'm curious. Like, I I don't think they put in Scarlet. Yeah. Oh, okay. They put in Scarlet. Hey, at, like I said earlier, these games have been, this match has been so close, trying to kind of like pull punches to save anything, especially without having any timeouts anymore. I think they're just going to go pedal to the metal and force every win they can. Because yeah, I think both teams are. Yeah, but that timeout does make a bit of a difference for the Bandits, but with the Reapers not having any, they have to be twice as aggressive just to make sure they can either build a lead or maintain the lead they have. Absolutely. We will see. Man, we're... we're... The bandits, they can win this. They can win this. They just really got to go in there with that winner's mentality. And you know what? Lovejoy's in there, so it's there. Yeah, it's, it's definitely in the, it's in the air. And don't know what uh, the coaching decision, or what not coaching decision, what was going on with the coaching during that MK11 match. But there was some light in his eye, but it so was immediately some, snuffed out. He started slaying a little bit, but then it you know wasn't enough. Um but I, I do feel a lot more confident with Pokestar and Street Fighter uh, rather than uh, the worst Street Mortal, Fighter Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Yes, yes. And I've, you know, I've trained with him a little bit, like definitely at the start of when we both started playing both of the games. Um, we were actually equivalent in Street Fighter at one point, and we are most definitely not equivalent in Street Fighter anymore. He You're is definitely. Street Fighter? He's, like, no, he bullies me. He's like that big, mean bully. He's like, oh, you think you're good at that game? No. Yeah. Like I said, Pokestar is one of my one of my good friends, so um, I definitely I am brutally honest about his his skill sets in games. His Street Fighter uh, plays a lot lot better, like significantly better than his Mortal Kombat play. Now don't let me down, bro. Don't don't do me dirty, cause I've done this. I've like hyped up players and they go yeah, in and they let's go, sell. Let's go. They sell for free ninety nine, and then I'm just like, wow. I didn't say that. <laughs> I said nothing. So commentator curse. Commentator yeah, curse is a real thing, y'all. It <laughs> really is. So I'm. Yeah, we'll see. Um, hopefully, I didn't commentate. They have the skills. Style, but... Will you pick them? I'm not going to ruin it for them, but they have the skills. Yes, they do. So we'll see. Especially, so they have Lovejoy in there, Pokestar, Rocket Zero, Luchi Sama, and Amazing Mare. Um, and then for the Reapers, uh, I believe they had Mr. Wood, Mr. Chicken, Mr. Scarlet, Mr. Noob, and Mr. Rock'em. So I'm thinking for the Reapers, the order probably goes Rock'em, Noob, uh, Wood, Chicken, Scarlet. Right? Is that the right amount of people? No, I think it'd be Chicken last, Scarlet first. Is Chicken the Himothy of the group when it comes to Street Fighter? Absolutely. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, 100. percent Um, but we'll see. All right, looks like we got Vega. So that is either Jelkin <laughs> first. Yep, I was gonna say it's either Chicken or uh, uh, Vega. It's actually Scarlet. Oh, Scarlet. They're both Vega. <laughs> yeah, Vega one is uh, Jelkin Chicken, and that's who's up right now. All right. So that so, is. Uh, I think it might be a button check. And we got the wheel coming up with UFC, UFC next. Yeah. Ooh, and Painful Boar is available. Painful Boar has Nightquil in his hands when it comes to UFC. Yes. I am absolutely. so absolutely, and he makes sure to lay out a. Nice little Tempur-Pedic mattress underneath 
before the match starts, you know. I'm not sponsored, by the way. Um, <laughs> they like to, you know, ah, ah. He, he loves to give the hands, so we'll see. We'll see who he will. Oh, but this one is Meow. Uh, Meow likes it like, hands as well. Uh, uh, you know what? It's, he lost in DVD, so I'm called the legend of myth. He is definitely good. He's definitely great, but it's not the legendary Catman because he got, he got, he got played in DVD. He did. He's not perfect. We will see. We'll see if he is looking to redeem himself in UFC. Because I'm pretty sure that's who they're gonna put in, unless they decide to put in Cheesy. But I think I think Cat is the better. The Cat needs to change his profession to door to door salesman. <laughs> the way he was selling out there, oh. direct sales, Dur from hand to consumer. That's all I want. <laughs> Thank you, Cloud. Hey, look, look at Street Fighter promoting their new game. <laughs> Bless their hearts. Gotta love it. Hey, you know, I'm happy for them. I'm excited for it. Um, actually, as a non-fighting game player, I am excited for Street Fighter 6. I'm really pumped for it as well. Some great character development. A lot of change in 6 on. Luchi, not. Luchi's not. Not a slouch for this, that's for sure, but... I mean, we gotta see if he can take... Okay, yeah, take some take some health, take whatever you can, because this is their number one player in this game. Look at you. Okay, okay, okay. Beautiful neutral. Nice patience. Beautiful patience from... from uh, I'll let you see an EX cannon fight to kind of... Oh. Luchi, if you... Oh. That's gonna hurt, but Luchi taking out, Wake like... Wake up. Here we go. That should've been EX. Ooh. Hold that. Oh! oh! You know what? Luchi did an amazing amount of damage against Chicken. The only thing I wish I would've seen more for him is more EX options out of Wake Up. Because Kami, I do think, has priority on that. And if he gone for the EX cannon spite on the overhead, I think he won the he, train. He would, I, yeah, no, I definitely see where you're coming from there. All right, so it looks like Rocket up next, I want to I wanna see. Zero Gil. Yep, okay. All right. Yo, where's his pants at? Somebody get his pants some pants. Get his pants some pants. I don't want to see those. Like, why is he wearing a tidy white? Oh, my back. Bro. All right, he took away that, that extra health. Hold back, don't press. Stop pressing. You're... He... Oh, he's just trying to... He's trying to get to the other side. There you go. Someone told him to hold back. That plus the block? He got... He got to do something here. Oh, is, is that EX dive on Vegas? Good job. Oh. Use your beat trigger. Okay. Okay. Dude. Yeah, I think... I think Chicken's gonna figure that out now. Um... Yep. Alright. I mean... Chicken's only got a little bit of health left to work with, so... Oh, and Pokestar is on the sticks! If Pokestar doesn't finish this, you know what? Unfriended. Pokestar, man. Don't want... Sindel's not in this game. You got a chance. He got, he got, he got Elsa, don't worry. Please tell me he's using my favorite out. Oh. I gotta go yell at him. Oh, bro, they got one of Colleen that she's wearing like a, like a witch outfit or something like that, and I'm like, mm, every time. My favorite. Anyways. I'm a fan of the uniform. That's just me. So let's see what happens. Uh, it's gonna get icy up in here. Looks like they're both trying to play the range game, and it looks like Chicken. I mean, realistically, Pokestar could play the range game and just win because Chicken has to matter. Chicken has less health. True. But I think I think Pokestar gonna win this. He gonna win this. Ooh, that's plus. he gonna win this. That, that, that's and that's plus? Pokestar. Hey, Chicken doing his his, his part, taking out two. Pokestar now having full health. But the thing is, the two that were taken out compared to the one that got got rid of, uh, do you really think it was adva advantageous of them? Versus. All right, so we got G. Uh, we got Hollywood. No, that's not. That's Ricky. So. All right, folks. Sorry, this is the opportunity to get everybody back in the game. Ricky playing? No, this yeah. is Hollywood playing right now. This is Hollywood oh, that's playing good, right that's now. Oh, that's clean confirmed. Yeah, yeah that is Major gonna... damage. Oh, man. Pokestar. I told you. I told All you right, he's significantly better. He's gonna do it. He's gonna take out Mr. Wood. So, also, fun fact. If you don't know, Pokestar is a former Reaper. Really? Yes. He's a former Reaper. Both him and uh, GFC Mayor. So, this is... Every time I see this match, I think of Vengeance. You know, he's looking for revenge. He's looking to take back what, what the Reapers did for me that he had in him. Oh, man. You got it. You got to yep. do it, Pokestar. You got to do it. Nice. There you go. Because nice. can't, you, can't, you can't let him just ship you out for free. That, that's what he's there for. Just like that is kind of a little, little more of an even game. I know, you know, uh, Ricky's going to be coming in here with his full health. Pokestar, not going to have that. Uh, but I think... I think... Like, 
And uh, I think Ricky does have the better hair between the two, so. Oh, I love Jury. I am a Jury fangirl. If you don't know, I like my alternative ladies. They are my favorite people in this world. I enjoy female characters that kick people in the face myself. So. <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> that's valid. Yeah. Take that. Good blow. Ready? <laughs> All right. Uh, All right, he's pressing a lot of buttons. I think Pokestar is doing a really good job of controlling neutral, so. and Rick is just kind of like, Oh no! You're gonna have to. I need to see some more EX. Pokestar is playing way too aggressive. He's lucky he has life left, and he is out of it. Wow, I yeah. truly, solely believe that Pokestar should have won that there, but. I think a couple EX ice drops would have forced uh, Rock'em to jump in, and that might have given him better better options out of that, but he just kind of did a rushdown and got met with better blocking. I actually recall Lovejoy being good at this game. Like, he came out and surprised me. So I, I'm curious to see if I am remembering correctly or not. He's jumping a lot, though. If uh, Ricky could just DP. Oh, oh yep, okay. Throw no command grab? Yep. Now you'll die! No, you won't. No command grab! Okay, so I'm a dirty player. One of my teammates is a lord. So you and know I deal, I deal with that command grab so much. So I'm very upset. I'm not seeing it right now. Okay, that was. Cool. Yeah, I mean, he got, he got the dub. Hey, you're not supposed to tech those. <laughs> Spoiler alert. You're, you're um, it's uh, if you're on default controls, I believe that's X plus square. X. Don't tell me. Tell them. They don't know it. It's X plus square, by the way. If you're on default, of course, of course. All right, now we got noob. This love toy should. Win. But it's real. You're right. I respect Noob for playing Ryu and not Honda. Because <laughs> I thought that's what I was going to see. Yeah, I'm... Oh, man, it's even worse then. <laughs> he ain't mean to do that. <laughs> he did that on accident. <laughs> I know Don't call him going... out like that. I know they're out there going, Let's go, Noober! Let's go, Noober! That's what they call him. He's not... He did, he did it on accident? Maybe he did it on purpose. Yo. Bro, every time I say someone should win something, they are not winning it. Do the command grab! Come on! Please! Okay, alright. Yo, that, that's dead. dead. That's a confirm. Dead. Yep, they're saying that's Newbert. That's Newbert. Alright. That's the part they're saying right now. Lovejoy with critical art and full dream trigger just gets tucked in. I don't I don't care what the situation is, but you should never die with resources. That's the worst that's thing really to have ever. And it looks like we got us. Oh, oh no. That's, is that the Amazing Mare coming up? That's the Amazing Mare coming up, so we'll see if she can clutch it out. And she's got her uh, her fight stick with her, doesn't she? No, yeah, absolutely. Oh, she's always well, got that ready to go, so we'll see if she's uh, ready to take out New Newbert. Doing, Newbert doing a nervous laugh and wiping his hands off. He's not going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, in danger! <laughs> I'm in danger! He is in danger right now. Uh, I like the fit, though. I love the fit. I really like my alternative ladies. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Um, that is a dangerous hit. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Period. Whoa. Period. Uh oh. 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 Sweet. Uh oh. She don't know. She don't know how to do with the sweet. Ooh. Oh. Didn't... I respect that though. Yo. All right, shoot. Him. Oh, toes. There you go. Something. Get I am so sorry, noob, for doubting you. I am so sorry, bro. Dude, noob with a what was it, about sixty percent on the way out the door. He did really well. Like I will, I will say he did his part. He did what he needed to do. And then the Vega coming in, but the way uh, Amazing Mayor burned meter and really ran that, this is gonna be a good match. We will see. Let's see. She's got to get like the first few hits off, and and looks like oh no. <laughs> oh no grab for you. This this can go either way right now, and it's looking like Scarlet is just oh, oh, putting oh. on the pressure. Oh no, Scarlet is putting on a no. Yeah. Mayor, you gotta do something. Hold back. Oh, ooh, okay. Oh. Okay, respectable. Okay. All right. No health demon. No health demon. Oh, my. No. <laughs> Yo. Oh. Man, and Mayor almost. I thought she was gonna come back. Mayor. I start going crazy. If Mayor had maybe not got hit with that, uh, that DP Tatsu at the end of the last round, I think that would have left her with the health she needed to actually make that comeback. That um, was. Man. Oh, that loss hurt so, so close. That. But that we got UFC coming up, and 
Boar's ready to cut season. It's Boar. Bo Boar's had NyQuil in his hands ever for a while now, so. I'm trying to throw some hands. No, I'm good. Talk trash, not fight. <laughs> hey, look, I did Taekwondo for like three years. Never made it to Black Belt, so that really <laughs> that tells you how good I was. Oh, that, that's and I wrestled. Funny. Thank you. Wrestling. So you yeah. can like slam people through tables and do choke slams? I'd... And power bombs? Yep. I told you when I said I love Rhea Ripley, I wanted to be just like her. Granted, she... I was wrestling before I even knew who she was, so... I think she was still in Australia. Yeah, I think she was. What was it, like four or five years ago? Ew. Or two or three? Oh, oh no, I'll do that. I don't remember. Right out of the fingers. I don't remember. It, it probably isn't that long ago. It was a while ago, but... Yes, I did. I did some uh, martial arting because of my brother. So shout out to uh, my brother. I've been shouting a lot. <laughs> shout, shouting out a lot of people. Shout out. Yes. So you're welcome. Um. But UFC. UFC, man, this is I interesting. Want I want to see who wins RPS and what weight class. I knew. I knew it was gonna be this matchup. Yeah, cat members painful bore. Who wins, the cat or the pig? I always forget that boars are pigs. The way, way was, more I, violent and not as tasty pigs. I have to ask Boar about his name. I'm I'm pretty set on the fact that it's probably a randomly generated Xbox gamer tag. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm talking about? Like they usually give you those like Hey buddy, here's your first Xbox. They, what they are you take, gonna make your name? They, Auto. they take um I'm trying to remember English. Oh my gosh. Um Is it an adjective? Is it is it an yeah, adjective and they take a noun and then they take some numbers, and they're like, boom, name. Check it out. This is Percocet Wildcat. Hey, hey Boar, if you don't know, you actually get one free name change on Xbox the first time, you know, you get your randomly generated name. So if you, if you want to take advantage of that, I recommend that you do that, because, I mean. I mean, being painful board 316 your tough. entire gaming career. It's like, hey, who are you? It's like, oh, yeah. I'm painful board 316. Bro, aren't you like 30 now? Yeah. <laughs> You never use that free name tag change on Xbox, gamer tag change? No, I'm paying for four for life. You know what I'm saying? I respect the loyalty to the name. To the game, baby. Game. Absolutely. I don't even remember what mine was, but all I remember my first gamer tag. I've actually talked about it on the podcast, so you should go watch the podcast. Um, I was on one of the one of the first episodes, so if you want to know what my original gamer tag was and how unfitting it was to my personality, then you might want to go check that out. Just saying. Go check out the podcast. Patriot Girl. <laughs> no, I wouldn't have been surprised though. I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't have been surprised. All right, so we're in, and it looks like we're gonna have it's time for the main event. Ready? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. So we Are got painful boar in the red and black trunks, and we got Mr. Meow in the blue and white. We got the wheel spin for the next game coming up, and it is going to be Overwatch Two. This is gonna be crazy. All right. Let's see, we got. They're kind of just dueling, jousting with each other right now, kind of figuring out this is how they're gonna approach it. Uh, this is right. Edwards Mirror too, so this is interesting. Edwards Mirror. So we got two kickboxers right here. It's your boy Black Diamond back, by the way. Ooh. So let me get this straight. The cat is in blue, correct? Yes, that's what is uh, being told. The blue and white. And I'm looking at the trunks, and I'm oh, two good over hands. There we go. Uh, so Cat putting good pressure, using the distance. Boar trying to figure it out, and it is a mirror match. Ooh. Excellent head kick, good that's timing. The, that's one of Boar's specialties. That those Counter Strike head kicks. Right, but you don't want to throw those out too much because the stamina will. Be. Good catch. I, I personally might have taken him to the ground since it's a mirror match, so you've got about the same advantage. Those head, th that head hunting is gonna leave. Boar wide open. Well, the thing is, though, Boar gets you in that head hunting game, and then once you get into his pacing, that's where he gets the knockouts. His last knockout was dragging it to a head hunt, and he landed that nasty counter kick. But he was also playing somebody that isn't anywhere near as good as the cat. So you have to play him as if he's got the skill that he has, because the cat is actually very good at UFC. And you can see right here, they're both patient, so they both understand actual UFC. Which is, ooh, that's a that's good, a that was a good leg, leg kick. Trying to fire it back. Good hook. Trading hooks. Right here, if one of them can get a little slip and counter, Edwards has there we go. some broken combos. Excellent body shots from the cat. This is a very even first round. 
I would, oh, good ooh, overhand. Nice overhand. I would like to see Boar actually use that lead leg for some of those calf kicks. But if you look at the stamina battle right now, uh, Cat is winning, and that that, it, that plays a big factor. And that is a – it's very marginal, but it is there. And like you said, it kind of – it builds it builds up over good time. Back. Good Ooh, uppercut. uppercut. Open it oh, up. Check the leg. He's down on the mat. Yeah. Check the foot. Went in for a knee to the body. Good Just clinch, not the right clinch. distance. Oops. If I'm Boar, I'm probably playing an in-and-out style here because I have something that is just as formidable. I don't think Boar oh, has uh -oh. played. It's dangerous. Yep, he's dangerous. Block and weave. Block and weave. It's okay. He's still good. All right. There you go. Take the shots to the body. Try and buy, buy some health. So right now, round one, definitely going to, to the cat. More significant strikes landed. More and, damage done. And, and, he's winning, and he's winning the stamina battle. But winning it hard. So it's going to be interesting to see if Boar revisits it. Ooh, that was a good combo. And oh, he's mixing overhead. it up. Oh, my God. The Cat is putting on a clinic right now. Or was looked at as one of the better USC fighters, but the Cat's showing right here why he's one of the differences. But honestly, I'm happy that we're getting a matchup this good. Yeah, because usually it's one person who's getting tucked in, and that's the end of it. But we're seeing a really good mastery from both parties. And you're seeing Boar now who's got to adjust his play style in order to move and move forward in this fight. Right. And if you want to move the needle in the right direction of your Boar, you have to be more patient. Right now, you you have been caught more. You're you're down in the damage. Your head health is lower. Your body health is lower, and your leg health, and your stamina. So you're really losing this fight on all fronts. So I'm taking this to the ground if I'm bored. And the question is, that might be the right thing to do, but does he have the confidence in order to get that done? Because like you said, Cat is the more advanced player, and stats do make a difference. I don't even know if Cat's necessarily the most advanced player. I think he's just being smarter right now. He's playing more patient, and I got to give it to Bore. He's not throwing out a lot of those head hunting. Head kicks, but he keeps just, getting opened up. It, it, his tempo's been stolen. Normally, it is Boar on the other side of things like this, and now Boar's trying to play from behind in this fight. Well, this this round is still early, so Boar can steal this. Oh, 100% he like, can. Like, right there, blocking that overhead. If you can if you can duck that overhead and come up with a... Ooh, oh, that nasty elbow. That'll turn the tide. Surprise again, stunned off of that. But look look at Edwards... Uh, I'm sorry, look at um the Cats block out. So even that's in his favor. Like, it's not going well right now for Boar. But it's not, there, yes, it's not going well. The head is getting rocked again. He's got I've been punched like that. It's not he's got, fun. He's got, to, he's got to back up. He's got to back up. Yeah, his head health is hurt. You got to take your time. It's not looking good. Oh, my oh. God. He, These overhands The cat slap. is putting those overhands and timing them ever so they're, all, they're They're sliding in when the block's always down. Yes. Right when Boar tries to make them take it. Uh, it's because Boar can't block the situation. And shout out to UFC for having an amazing block mechanic. I yeah, mean, it is it, it is spot on. It feels like you're actually yes, playing it, or dealing with a real UFC fight. Like you have to understand the timing. And when you have a mirror match, you have nobody but to blame than yourself. Because right now you're getting pieced up oh, yeah. by your counterpart. And it's simply the cat mixing up shots, making you have to think. You, you keep eating those body shots, so your stamina is going lower. Like what are you supposed to do in this situation? At this point, I think Boris is going to have to look for a very pivotal, powerful counter. Oh, and he can do it because he also has Edwards. That's the crazy part. Question is, look at that right leg. It is on fumes. If I'm Boar, I'm taking this to the ground as soon as I can and trying to score points and steal this round. Because right now, you don't want to go down two rounds with your team needing this win overall and Overwatch it happening next. Overwatch is a long game. Very long game. Oh, and that front kick. To the jaw. It hurts. Oh, he's he's crumpled, down. He's Boar is not used get... to being in this position. Oh, no. Oh, no. Full mount. He's unloading. Oh, Move your head. Yeah. Nope, it's over. Out. It's over. And the the cat boar. coming out and swinging like he stole something. And the boar was painfully put to sleep. Man, why the boar? Man? Like, that's a good animal, too. Why are we doing that to animal? I'm, boars are kind of a menace. No, boars, no, boars are a menace because they're on top. Boars are menace because they're on top. Like, look at this. Look at the replay. Tired. As soon as he hit the full mount, he blocked, but he didn't even move his head. That was with a shot that went through the guard, so that should tell you everything you need to know. Catman pieced him up and put him down, and 24 minutes left. You know, it's funny, though, because the Bandits really, I, I think the Bandits really had a strong shot to win this. Overall, if I'm being quite honest. Yes, I agree wholeheartedly. Like, Wait. there's a lot of games that were back and forth, and it, right now it's not looking good with a little over 25 minutes. Yeah, I mean, we're going to get an interview here in a little bit, but, like, 
one same story of the season for the for the bandit so far great showing yes good build good, good back and forth and then they just have to secure things like a pound cake in a tin can just crumbled oh, well i'm kind of like that one. but either way i mean let's see <laughs> pound cake how many what five bakers four bakers three bakers for a pound cake two bakers for a pound cake one baker oh okay, okay. that's what it is Even right here, accompanied by Straza. How you, you doing, sir? I'm doing all right, my man. I'm doing all right. So just to, to, to get a little quick summary with you, y'all were cutting it close for a little mm. bit. You gave up a couple games, lost a couple games. You maybe shouldn't have won. Y'all were tied up again for a little bit, but now you guys are starting to pull that lead. You're up for now. Yes, sir. Um, you're starting to to, to solidify <laughs> this win. Um, it seems like the the the, the bandits have kind of lost their chance into you know sewing this thing up and taking a lead in the whole mm -hmm. situation, taking that lead back. But overall, how you feeling about the game, man? I mean, I'm feeling great, man. You know, I'm not playing today, and me and uh, Gardo's also not playing today, so you know we're not really at full capacity right now. But we just wanted to take today, have fun. You know, it's our last game of the re like of not the regular season, but playoffs even, like, uh, of just having fun, you know? Like, we knew we would beat the Bandits. Like, I'm not going to lie. We beat them three times or two times already. But, like, we just wanted to play, have fun, and then, you know, next week, booze or ghosts, whoever wins that match, it's going to be straight business, and then after that, it's karma, and it's straight business. So, you know, it was just our last time to, you know, kind of relax and stuff, you know? What? So how are you feeling uh, against uh – more likely than not, who do you think is going to win, the booze or the ghost for the next one that you think you're going to have to be going up against? Um, I mean, I don't know. It all depends on if the booze are running. Obviously, their five men is very strong. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, it's like one of the strongest in the mm -hmm. league. And then, but you know, I have faith in the ghost too. But, you know, Cutters ain't going to be there. So, you know, it, it could go either way. So, I honestly don't know. It's just going to be a good game to watch. So, make That's sure y'all tune in. Make sure y'all tune in. Well, all right, man. Well, I wish you the best of luck in the rest of this. Good luck. Got, still got a couple good more games to play yes, sir. Uh, to solidify this win. But best of luck to you, and I'll be seeing you on the other side, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Do your thing, my man. Thank you, sir. Back to you guys. Did you hear that? I'm not in. Gatto's not in. So the team's not at full capacity. So he's I'm not saying, trying to sow no oats. But did he just take a little mini shot at his own team? Yo, he 100% took a dump on his own team just now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the guy to say it. Man said, we're up 11-7, to 7, but we'd be up more if I and Gata were on there. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? That's crazy. It'd be your own people, right? It'd be your own. But all right, we got some overwatch action going on right now. We got Super Noob on Le Messi doing the healing thing on defense. Very minimal movement from the bomb at this point. And I think it's actually, yep. About that time where we uh, unfortunately see what the bandits do more consistently than anything else, and that's fall apart. Cue the Post Malone. No, no, no. I wouldn't say that. I don't think they fall apart because, honestly, this is probably their best performance of the season. Uh, they're going up against the number one ranked team in the whole league, not just the division, and they pushed them right here and got seven good wins and kept the match close. And, honestly, the last three wins, they had a – the last three games, they had a shot. If they win two out of the last three – looking at the same close game that we've been watching this whole time. So I'm actually not going to say that they fell apart. I just think it's little things that can be done to improve those those chances, to be honest. Well, in my typical fashion, it's towards the end of the match, so I have to become a bad person. So you can do the right thing and say the right thing. I unfortunately will not. But like you said, it was close, but it's not now. So it's going to take them somehow making a play. And if them starting off attacking instead of defending, that is a huge uh, – that's a huge oof. We got two minutes left on the clock for them to try and make it to the first point. And they have not hit a single point just yet, so just a little bit of distance. I think that car has only moved good. like, what, 24 meters, which is 30 feet, 40 feet, something like that. I could be off of my conversions. Only measuring freedom to deal with it. Love it. <laughs> but once again, just Reaper's not cohesion. Uh, that team cohesion just... Yeah, and, and honestly, they're Probably the Reapers are probably the best Overwatch team in the league. Um, when they have their best Overwatch lineup in, they're a problem to deal with. 
which they don't have because Gato and Zarn in. Apparently. Apparently. Supposedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Spectacularly. Can we just take a moment to appreciate Super Moves, uh, Super Doom's positioning with his mercy? Dude's been shot maybe three times since this game started, but nobody he's been healing has gone below half. He's been shot three times during this game and it hasn't even been by nobody in game. It's like it's not good. Yo, know, I guess it's it's on the outside. The doctor might as well give him a shot. Yep. Fifty five seconds left. That bus is still going that truck's still going backwards. <clears throat> Did you just say I'm fifty Tyson? I said fifty seconds left, the bus is still going backwards. Okay, Come on, dog. Sorry. I'm just listening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just listening, I swear. Just hanging out, bro. Just hanging out. Say three times. Hey, ooh, bars? Do I have bars? Do you have bars? New rap group? Me? Diamond Anarchist? Okay, that's rap awesome. duo? Or would it be Black Anarchist? No, no, that's too common. Yeah, Diamond Anarchist, I think is. BDR Anarchist? BDR Anarchist? ABD? Anarchist Black Diamond? Yeah, throw, throw the initials up. Make a nice little album cover. I'm down with it. I'm down with it. It'll be like Big Crit. You know what I'm saying? Put the put the uh, abbreviation. It's like, it's King Remembered in Time. It's just too much. Imagine. Hey, Big King Remembered in Time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that, that's what he did. That's what we're going to do. But let's just uh, take a moment to realize just, I don't know if the Reapers allowed it or what, but the band has got a huge push right now. Now they're playing the objective hard with a giant push to the point. If they're able to get this secured, with the overtime going, they could make a push to get back into this. But 17 minutes left, I know what it is. Never mind. There's 17 minutes left in the match, right? Loser goes home. They let them move the bus up to the next point to eat up more time. They're playing UEL. Diabolic. They're not just playing Overwatch in this situation. They're not playing UEL. Yep, and that was a good call on the Reapers to do that, to let them get that point push so that timer does not run out and send them in to... And not only that, it gives them more time when they play on attack now because now they have to at least match what they let them have. And they clearly feel confident that they're going to do that. Yeah. It could be, it could be one of those situations where the banish are just feeling off on attack and on defense they could have that lock. But at the same time, though, that's still a minimum of what, like seven, six, seven minutes? Or is it five, is it five or six minutes on starting timer? I want to say it's five. I think it's six. Is it six? But that's a six whole minutes off the clock, and then you got set up. So you're looking at maybe 1040, and then six minutes of time down to four minutes. They do have one timeout left, but if they don't win this, then they go down. See, if they win this, they only go down by three. Well, this is, this is where that timeout from earlier is really going to hurt them, too. Yeah. The timeout that they were forced to burn in the first half for not being set up in time. And then not to mention that extra timeout they burnt for league thinking they were going to have a good time. And No, they were not having a good time. And this is where those forfeits come in handy because those games that you know that you're going to lose, like saving all that time for the end because they've clearly put up the battle that we weren't expecting today. A lot of people weren't. They thought this was a landslide. It was just going to be a walkover. No, the Bandits like have literally played hard and competed hard and been in almost every single one of the games except for two of them. And those two could have easily been forfeited, and that would yes. have been like what another forty minutes on the clock. Off top, and if not forty minutes on the clock, two more games that they actually play, or two more games that they could actually get closer. Not to, to mention, it changes the momentum. It really does. So there's a couple little things that the the bandits are gonna have to clean up. But ultimately, I'm still impressed with the performance. You have to realize this is the last place versus first place team, and look at the score. Yeah, this does not look like a last place versus first place team no. score at all. It this looks has like been two two teams that have been in the mix the entire time, and it just it, one fell short. It honestly looks like the Bandits were just playing around the first half of the season. That's, that's how different they look. Yes, they've been in competitive matches, but every, every game has been competitive for them. Today. And it looks like they're going to go ahead and let that uh, bomb pass up so they can get some more time. Let's see what we got next. I like that. I like that. See, I, now see, I'm not going to say anything, but I did hear that Magnus M was like, come on, let it be Limnus, let it be Limnus. But now we get that FIFA. So if I had to guess, they're going in with Lucci and maybe Pokestar. This is kind of a tough one right here. This is this is probably one of the Bandit's biggest shortcomings is their sports depth. As a team, they've been labbing them, but they don't necessarily have the pieces to, to push them over the edge in sports. So they fall short in a lot of these. And you can see 2K, that would have been a W if they had just a little bit of better strat, was able to talk to Rex. 
afterwards like hey how would you think and i was just like hey look sometimes you just gotta go with the metas man like you can't overthink it you can't reinvent the wheel or try new things if you don't have the fundamentals in place exactly just that, drive the car with two hands not your feet you're not that guy me on the other hand in 2k i will be driving with my feet and then my and then my shoulders but you have huh? that knowledge that team that skill and that development to do that you just gonna go over the fact that i said i was gonna drive my feet you weird I thought I was weird for saying it, but you weird for not acknowledging it. Uh, shout out to one of uh, my favorite football personalities, AJ Hawk, drives with his feet. So Does he, he actually? That. Yes. Hmm. So, yeah. What, did you watch a video? I don't believe him. We'll talk We'll talk later about it, but he does do it, and it has been confirmed by other people that he drives with his feet. Okay. So. Well, that's fine. I hope that, <laughs> hope that they don't drive with their feet in FIFA <laughs> because they're supposed to kick the ball. Actually, yeah, you are supposed to drive. No, you drive the ball down the court. You drive the ball in the goal with your feet. Would you like to see me visibly frustrated, my guy? I, uh, I, th I think, I think, I'm thinking, scratching the surface, scratching the surface. Well, that's good because I gave you false hope. I'm fine. <laughs> 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 no, but, but for real, um, yeah, you would definitely drive the ball through the net, drive it through a good pass. But I just mean like kick the ball, man, kick the ball. That's what the sport calls for you to do. Luckily for them, FIFA is kind of a quick game, but if it really was dependent on whether or not, so for instance, Street Fighter, right? I would have had Pokestar go up first. 100%. I'm tired. But of they, they put him third. So I would have put Pokestar first and Mare last and then just let whoever falls in between in between and have faith that Pokestar is going to be able to either beat the best person on the other team, which is what his role is for Street Fighter, or that he's going to wipe out at least three of the scrubs. And that's one of the things I always complain about. And I'm sorry, not scrubs, competitors. Yeah, it's, yeah, I meant to say scrubs. I'm the bad guy. Yes. <laughs> can't even keep your, your <laughs> you can't even keep your alignment straight. Yeah, uh, chaotic neutral, whatever. You are like Sith Sith versus Jedi all day, but you're like, I don't know what side I want. <laughs> just wake up and just choose violence and let it work its way out. Yeah, you're the definition of like, what do you want to eat? I don't know. Anything works. And then it's it like actually mean anything. Exactly. And then once they bring you the wrong thing, you're like, I don't want it. <laughs> That's trash. No, 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 no. But uh, one thing I want to bring up again is during that uh, the Titus lockdown when FIFA came up, that ball trapping. I mean, I guess it it could it could happen again. It yeah, happen again. I I guess. I mean that I'm not gonna say too much. I wouldn't have gone with that strategy. But if it worked, then it didn't matter who you did it against because it worked. And I'll that, just put it to you that way. And then who was it? Was it uh? It was last week. The last time we commented, we actually saw ball trapping again. They got a yeah. huge advantage, and then. Are you, when you say ball trapping, are you talking about like when it gets stuck, like near the goal line, or like are you talking about when they defenders hold it in the corner of the court? So, yeah. so that's what I thought it was. So really, you're just holding left trigger in the corner, but it leaves you open to double teams, unnecessary pressure. So, and most of the time, whenever they allow you to do that, it's because of the walls and it's in your half. So very rarely are you gonna go ball trap in the opponent's half. So the reason why I'm not a huge fan of it like being used excessively is because it does leave vulnerabilities for you to get back in if the ball gets stolen, which we saw happen. It's just that when we watched it, they didn't have the capability to capitalize on it. That that's is true. why that is true. That's why it looked like it worked. Yeah. And that's why, like, yes, it worked against Lockdown, but Lockdown only has one thumb. Is, he is the other one prosthetic? Have you seen him play? No, he plays well. That Titus game says otherwise. Got I mean, last time I checked, that was pretty close. Whether it's an inch or a mile. You never had your car busted. Well, it was a mile. <laughs> but, like, yeah, Endgame is a we jump miles. So, what is a mile? We jump miles? Who, who? Can you jump a mile? Bro, do you not see, like, the tire? You know what? I'm not going to say anything because the last thing I need to do is get hit by a stand user because JoJo just hit the wheel and I don't need that. I don't need that pain in my life. Oh, man, I'm so excited for that. I've actually never played that fighting game, but that is one that I can see myself. Every clip I see at JoJo's Bizarre Adventure or anytime I see a tournament, I'm like, man, I should probably pick this up. It's probably a truly it's reasonably priced. It is player. absolutely hilarious. And then I see people get touched to death. It's like round one fight dead. I'm just like, what happened? He, he it's didn't called, block once. It's called balance, sir. And we don't want to have any of it. Yeah. Facts. Like, every character in JoJo has it. It's either if it takes four buttons or six. Just touch of death. So definitely an interesting add to the wheel. Oh, it's going to be great. Fighting game that 
it's technically going to get a lot more love. It's going to get a lot of love. I like fighting games that get love. I love anime and fighting games, so. So, wait, so when are we fighting in an anime fighting game? Nowhere near the camera, ever. Why not? I ain't trying to get exposed. I'm here to talk trash, not get exposed. Exposed in what? I know you're nice. <laughs> the rumors <laughs> precede themselves. I am actual thumbless when it comes to a lot of video games, but I appreciate your talk up. No, it's not. No, 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 no. I, I've heard your brain, I've seen your fingers. Yeah, when texting, not playing games. But it looks like we're going no wall, so it looks like that trapping strategy I was referencing is not. Oh, no, it still works. That's the crazy part. Mm -hmm. You so just. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All you're doing is guarding the ball. So as long as you know the ball's momentum, you can 100% guard with the sideline. And then as a matter of fact, bait them into kicking the ball and putting it out so you get the ball back. Bingo. Uh, I but, hey, I mean, do they know that? I mean, no, no. Funny enough, back to what we were saying before, if the Bandits were able to capitalize on a couple of those wins, they would have gotten the biggest sights for them right here because Scarlet is not available for Tekken, meaning... Hollywood was pretty much their best Tekken player available right now. So that these are all winnable games. That's the crazy part. Uh, what is it all? One small mistake compounding over and over and over again, just building up into and a massive it. problem. And it it be like that. It, it it don't really be like that, but it do. I don't like it when it be like that. I want Neither it to be I. like this. Neither do I. But we got no, no, no. Patty, the Patty with Mbappe. Uh, looks like Lionel Messi, I think. Yep, Mbappe, Messi, Neymar Jr. The literal cookie cutter, everybody run this team. And it's funny because they really don't have to, right? They really do not have to. That's the crazy part. And it looks like the Bandits actually burned their last time out just now, too. Oh, that's tough. Now, mm, uh, not with second being after... And looking at it, they have a decent second lineup in Hollywood and Cat. So it's Focus Star, Lucci, and Boar versus. Why would Cat they burn their time would, out here? Because we were at the sub 15 minute mark and FIFA's total timer. FIFA's going to be like eight minutes. Yeah, FIFA was going to be like eight minutes. You know what I mean? So. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have done that. But here we have We'll give you the colors in just a second. We'll get you guys updated on who is who. Are on the red and yellow. So the Reapers are in the dark blue jerseys and the Bandits are in the white jerseys. And a goal for the Reapers to start. Reapers pulling away and showing why they have the top record. Honestly, yeah. Just like consistency across all their titles, great cohesion as a team, right. and just in game knowledge. Even when they're down, they're not down. Exactly. It's terrifying. I might actually have to respect Hollywood and his coaching and the way he and his team have built each other up. And yeah, right here, not, not exactly bad play offensively, but taking the main back defender and moving him out of goal to press for the attack. That is just not understanding rotations. The, and the Reapers know that's happening, so now they're just pushing the advantage and forcing them back. Right. The, the Bandits are trying to play safe, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, right? Like, I can tell with usage of, like, the LB for some of these skill moves that they know how to play FIFA, but they don't really know how to execute FIFA. Yeah, it's Or like, at least Volta, I should say. Because right here, you're controlling the back defender. You're going to press up. It's it's a problem. Now That's they, what you, Now they have a better, better footing, but you have Messi in the back. So they didn't run with Marquinhos back here. They're running with Mbappe, and it's going to be harder to defend. This is literally the meta for this mode, and honestly, FIFA in general, because all three of them are just dumb fast and dumb skilled. I thought Neymar just normally, uh, everybody has De Neymar set in the backfield and Mbappe up front. I never No, no. So you run with either, you run with any of those three, right? So if you want maximum skill level out there, you run with Mbappe, Neymar, and then, uh, what's it called? Sorry, Messi. Uh, Messi. But you use Mbappe as the defender because Mbappe is bigger and just is a better defender than those two. Those other two are much more frail, right? Not that Messi isn't put together, but he's just smaller. So by default, he's going to have a, a, a smaller radius. So, but what you're supposed to do is choose between one of those, those three to sit down, and usually it's not Messi. So really, you're talking between Mbappe and Neymar as to who you're not going to use. And in you're going to run Marquinhos, a defender in the back who has enough pace to get up and down the... Field. That's a free goal. They yeah, need to capitalize. No up. 
and absolutely messes it up. Ugh. So we'll get the time displayed for you guys in just a moment so we can see what we're doing here and see how much time is actually left in yeah, the match. Yeah, but with no timeouts, if this goes past the, the six-minute mark, both teams can stall. Oh, well, I'm sorry, the Reapers can stall and just not play the last match. Yeah, because at this point, they can take the That's another free goal. Don't mess it up. Thank you. Yeah, at this point, the three yeah three minutes left. This this is going to be the last game of the match with the Reapers going to be winning. I believe we're going to get a correction. I think it's supposed to be about 10 minutes. So, 10 minutes, but they need to get a win here. And the defenders already swapped back for the Reapers, so. It is not looking good right now for the Bandits. Oh, okay. Good, good goal. That's a clean goal. Looks like they might finally hit their stride on that because that was with the defender and a goalie kind of pressing in on the ball. So hopefully they can they can get something going. But there's still, what, another three minutes left in the second period? It's two periods, right? Right, and every time you score or go out of bounds, you can run the time down. So the Reapers could try and cheese the strategy out, get to the next game and have it be sub six minutes. Or even if the next game comes up, they could just forfeit. No time else to stop the clock. Yeah, and if they go up five, they can forfeit all three of the last forfeits and still win. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly what they'll do. Right, well, I hope you guys uh, out there are ready to stare at our faces because the Reapers are going to be playing UEL for the last bit of this match. And I would run the ball out of bounds 15 different times. Just be like, hey, like, get this dub. Yeah. Please. Oh, no, it keeps going out of bounds. Oh, no, it keeps going oh, out of bounds. Sir. And biggest crime in this mode. Do not give the ball up in the back half. Because you will get embarrassed. There's no defender back there. It's an open net. I was just cranking from the three-point line. There you go. <laughs> I can't help but that, that one. See? Look, out of bounds. Waste time. Ooh, boy. All right, second period. There you go. Good yep. luck. Time stop. It's not going to be enough to melt. Oh, it might be. If they can stop the time a couple more times. I'm looking at the time. 8.50. Stop dribbling. Stop being, stop being effective. <laughs> Play UEL. There we go. Look at that. Go. Time stop. Each one of those is an extra second. It's going to have to have him like 20-something odd more times, but it's doable. Or All a bunch right. of goals. All right. There you go. That's much better. Good teamwork right here. And a good Ooh. shot. Nice shot. That's probably a finesse shot. And that's why I like. I prefer Neymar over Mbappe. Uh, he has a lot more finesse shots, and it's easier for his control. So he's very good at keeping the ball away. So between him and Messi, it's absolutely filthy. So was that. Uh, three to seven Reapers. Uh, mom, help. Mom, help. Well, you know, you are grown, and I don't know that she's going to do that for you. I'm talking not for me, for them. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. That's I'm fine. Cool. I'm not getting clapped up on right now, three to seven, in the mirror match. But the, the mirror match is always making more disrespectful, you know? Oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, we're going to pick these teams? Cool. I got you. You're going to pick the exact same thing as me? Hmm. And matter of fact, I'm going to do the same thing, but have a darker color shirt, too. So, you know, oh, I'm the evil one. If they score a couple more times, they'll run the clock down. Yep. They got to burn One or two more out of bounds. Half. If you look at the UEL timer and how much time is left in the match, they are almost spot on next to each other. So, let's find out if that's what we're going to get. There you uh, go. That's one, one time stoppage. Three second difference. Yep. And the Reapers have been known to forfeit games just to play a game they like at the end to kind of if not boost morale just have a good time yeah the ultimate thing. definition of styling on you and hey, i time, think we're past think, that point yep. so once we get under that six minute marker game's over yep. pretty much because the reapers will not be forced to start and the bandits don't have any time else to stop so just honestly i think for the for the bandits it was a mixture of a lot of things that kind of cost them in this match overall some of it was game knowledge. Some of it was indecisiveness and unwillingness to right. forfeit games. Exactly. Some of it was coaching. And I mean, I've been there and it's still sometimes I'm there because I really don't want to forfeit anything because I think we have a chance at a lot of this and you want to see where your team's at. But, but hey, like you said, though, it's a great time to iron a lot of that out during a regular season. And then what's going on here? Uh, we got a pause. Do we have? 
So I guess they're forfeiting FIFA. Yep. Yep. Like, like I said, Game's they they there. wanted to make sure that they play tech. That that's how the Reapers roll. That's you know, how the Reapers roll. I know there's no way for the bandits to come back mathematically speaking, but how hilarious would it be? Is they're like, yeah, let's play Tekken. Oh, and they okay. Just get so so the bandits dog wants that they could play it. Um, well, I mean that makes sense. That makes sense. I'll tell you right now, they've definitely been laughing. Like you said, Rex not playing actually would have helped them a lot in some of these situations. Um, you said Rex not playing helped them. Well, no. If Rex had played, he would have helped them in a lot of these situations, like Tekken. People don't know, but Rex on the low is kind of getting good at Tekken. I've seen him play on and off and then I, when he did come back and play, what was it, two weeks ago? Yeah. No, that don't don't go by that footage he threw. Well, I was gonna say he was doing good at the last match. He threw. Huh? Even even him doing good, it was more about who he was going up against as to why. Like he threw and still looked quote unquote decent. Meaning, you know, he's been creeping up there. The last time I played him, I was like I have to pay I remember I was talking to somebody and he won. And I was like, This isn't good. So I stopped talking. You uh, I mean, I won. Up. I mean, I'm trash at Tekken, but I won. Stop trying to downplay yourself. I am. You know how many people are about to come into this league this c- upcoming season and absolutely drag? Why do you think I'm not a player? I'm not good. Don't let this man lie to y'all. I'm exposing him. Nobody was Exposure. Drafted. Black Diamond is actually severely. I can don't let him lie to you people. See, shut, your, that, shut your mouth. Just leave it at that. They say I'm lying, but. Last time I checked, I don't have any stats. Trash. Anyways, that's why I'm a GM and coach and love what I do. <laughs> so, regardless of what they got to say, we got Tekken coming up. And I'm excited. I love me some Tekken. I really do. Um, it's a game I wish I, I played a little bit more, but hey, go figure. I don't like Tekken because I have to be contrarian because literally everybody here loves Tekken. Well, yeah. So, it just sounds like, hi, I don't like Tekken and my name is Hater. Hater McGee. Yes. I nice wake up you. early to have more time in the day to hate. You drink a cup of hate? I wake up in the morning and I squeeze lemon juice in my eyes to make sure I am angry. Why Damn angry? Right that just makes you tough. That's like building your immune system. I did that as a kid. You late. <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> Between you and Wonk, I, I just keep laughing. It's what right, I'm here for, baby. So we got Hollywood coming up on the Lucky Clo, and who else is on Lucky Clo? Hollywood's trying to squad wipe. I'm telling you right now, he a hater. Uh, Hollywood's not that good, so we got to worry about on that. So we'll uh, watch Cl- what happens. But with Chloe him. is annoying, and they got Rocket, which means he'd be right back in rotation. Meaning, if they had a timeout, if this doesn't go long enough, so I promise Clo you they're going to try. Uh, Hollywood, Hollywood on the right is the uh, on the right. <laughs> go uh, and look oh, wait it's lucky chloe versus lucky based on the responses i just saw hollywood just got packed up for that first round it's hollywood getting exposed i have to figure out which chloe is chloe. <laughs> which one he is i think that's Borg getting packed up to be quite honest yeah that's 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 Borg getting packed up because I, I he's got cry face yeah this is what it looks like when somebody doesn't yeah you see that's 100 percent hollywood doing the damage he cheese the supreme Hey, look at the jab, though. Oh, the launcher. He don't know what he's pressing. <laughs> uh, well, Boar's getting these reps in. And by reps, I mean... Oh, super. Nope. Oh, uh, no One Piece fans? Nah, I bet. Boar completely disinterested with Hollywood. And Hollywood just as disinterested with painful Boar. Yeah, Hollywood's trying to, like, squall wipe and be like, yeah, I'm so cool. I'm so tough or whatever. But yeah, man, Pokestar about to come out here and get him out the way. Yo. Make it happen. Let's go. You know it'd be great if Pokestar packs up Hollywood and they forfeit so nobody else gets to play and then just end the game at that. <laughs> there are such things as moral victories, and that would be one to just put Hollywood off and be like, you yeah, mean, none of the rest of you. You mean petty victory? Yeah, if your morals align with being petty, then that's a moral victory. Bro, I swear. You just let me have this one. <laughs> nah, you've been doing lemon juice for, since you were a kid way before me, so. Bro, lemon juice, battery acid. <laughs> we got Kunimitsu right over here. Let's see if Pokestar can get some of that translated. Smart to go for the grab. Something nice and safe against Chloe uh, that you can do. Oh. Good launch with the mix-up. Kuni is a super mix-up ninja type character. Ninja guy, you ever play that game? Oh Amazing game, fun to play, but like, if you blink, you'll die. That, those are always the best. I'm shoot. Play the new God of War. That's exactly how that game is. 
I actually don't like playing God of War games. I like watching them. And there you go. Like I oh wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like I said. Yeah. Oak and Star gonna get him out the way. Now beat him and then FF. Oh, nice vanish to get out of the damage wave right there. Kind of that, I don't think that was a look. Cooney's mask rate. coming off. Six, six. Good knee. Not a full crumple though. Good, Good combo. Down. Good spin. Launch. Nope. Yeah, right Good. there. See, because because Hollywood doesn't know the patience. Oh no! See, that's just a raw super, and it goes low. Uh, sorry, low. So really, all you have to do is an overhead launcher or something. Maybe a hop kick, and I'm pretty sure that gets it out the way. But Hollywood securing another round. So, let's give a quick, quick shout out to our uh, illustrious uh, fans watching the stream right now. Without y'all, we wouldn't be here watching Hollywood doing the thing with uh, Focus Stars. But I can see just fine with the ones and O's on the screen. So let's keep this game going. He's really the ultimate it. cheese. Yep. He's really. That, that is how Lucky Chloe is played. So, to be quite honest, once you get to a certain level in this game, you don't see Lucky Chloe's anymore because you figure out that you could just stop all of that. <laughs> like, all of it. She is such a gimmicky character, and it suits Hollywood because he gets yeah, to talk crap. Yeah, I was about to say that. A, a gimmick character being played by Hollywood? Right there. Good pause. Good interruption. All right. Looks like Hollywood's about to start it up. And it's Hollywood's still going for the squad wipe. We are out of time, by the way, so... This, this is right here is game it. Game of the match. And there's no gentleman's for Rex to be in there. He's just over there eating them chips. He's like, look, bro, like we, <laughs> we out. <laughs> I know we lost. He over there eating the Old Bay Uts for Pips right now, just munching. <laughs> y'all here getting cooked. <laughs> He's like, too bad I'm not playing. I would have shown y'all what it is and what is up, dogs. <laughs> is that how Rex talks? That's not how Rex talks. Yeah, I'm not far off. You kind of are. That's like. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I had some wild in the chamber. I'm like, yeah. I'm on TV, bro. I can't do that. <laughs> about to bury your man Rex right here. And I was about Live to bury you. Me? It's you. Yeah, all right. I had something. That, I'm telling you, bro. I'll be having him in the chamber. Gotcha. Talk to me off camera. Nah, nah. Yeah, he said, nah, nah, nah. nah, nah. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Got that fragile ego. Hey, good oh, luck. Nina's, a Nina's a tough character. Right here, I'm telling you right now, Hollywood's going to. He's probably going to win. Nina's a tough character to, to use. There's a lot of mix-ups and cancels that you can use with Nina, but you, the inputs are ridiculous. So for Rocket, somebody that I wouldn't consider necessarily a second player, good block. I just don't think that he's going to be able to finish. If he does, it'll surprise me. Please finish. There you, go. there you go. One more round. If he can get one round. Look, the cat is looking like, yo, are you really not going to sweep Rock Rocket? And I hope he doesn't. I I hope he wins. Like I said, I just want them to win in an FF. Oh, so look at that. He just goes from one cheese to another, and, yep. and Rocket had no idea Seven how to deal with it. golden letters. Cat's like, I'm not even going to get the play, bro. Ooh, the crumple. The crumple? See, he traded, got the crumple, but didn't know how to pick up the combo, unfortunately. Low swings in. For those who don't know, anytime you see a crumple or a... Oh, look, he's got one combo down. That's good. Just got to get the tempo up. Yeah, yeah, he's got to get the tempo. Carry. He doesn't really have any movement. So he's not really challenging Hollywood yeah. to well, make any decision. Yeah. Yep. It, Hollywood is it's, just... It's textbook. It's textbook. Chloe's play the same. And... Jumps Hop into kick. a launch. Ugh. Says, here's my face. I'm blocking with it. Have fun. You don't know the power of my teeth. They can take all sorts of kicks. <laughs> <laughs> all right. He might get a wall splash here. Oh, nope. He right keeps there, going high is. on a lot of these extensions, and Hollywood just sees him coming in ducks. Oh, oh! yeah, get out of here. You woo. Let's, yeah. Now, right. Rex, tell your players to forfeit. We're not playing anymore tech and just leave. Yeah, just Hollywood thought leave. he was about to get a squad white. He thought it. Oh, it's cheesy, too. Hollywood's trying to be Himothy, but he was not. He was just some guy, some really good guy at the game. And then, let's see, we got coming in. We, oh, we got King? We got some pro wrestling coming? I guess it is yeah. cheesy. It's not one of the cheesiest fortes, if I do say so myself. Please don't say that. I want to see some wrestling. Okay. Well, I mean, I, would you be more disappointed if you just seen it and I didn't say anything? Costume. I am not okay with this. I am uncomfortable. There's a fully naked tiger man on no, my No, he's got the he's got the loin cloth. You just you just not looking. Oh, it's silver. Okay. 
feel really awkward. Why did Cheese pick this? I am uncomfortable. Oh, because because this is a cheesy character at times. If you don't know how to break the grabs, you can't really do anything. And those three lows right there, terrible. But nice launch. And yeah. raw super. Don't get punished. Oh, tornado DDT. Let's get it. Let's see. Oh, oh, yeah. Unnecessary. Oh, and oh, and I'm going to break your arm. I'm going to break your arm. Now, wake up. See, you just wait your block. Good. Bite game. kicks out the air. You can't bite kicks. That is game. Yo, look at look at Cheesy just being a, a abusive. The game is over, my guy. All right, Stop looks like him. we got Luchi Sama coming in to wrap this up. All right, who's Luchi gonna be bringing in? Oh, it'll be Harang. Harang. Oh, so that was that was actually the end of the match. Yeah, that? that was it. That was three three players. They're just doing this for fun because the match is over. They're like, nah, I, I didn't get to see you. So I didn't get my I didn't get my run. I didn't get, get my, my run. run so go ahead, and sit that. down. Get get on the sticks. We're gonna find out what would happen if I was in rotation. What did I say that to say? I mean, can I can I just be like, yo, what a match though. All jokes aside, like yeah, everything like considered, this was an awesome match. Privileged to do commentary on it. Shout out to the Bandits for coming out and showing and representing well. They had a lot of games that they're going to go back and look at this VOD and realize, wow, we really could have won that. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, better better choices on the forfeits, better uh, choices on some of the ways they close them the games out. And then I think this right here is a testament of how the new Bandits are going to be moving forward because all these games, just small decisions throughout the entire process, cost them the wins or cost them to lose the lead. Like, Prime example, a knockout city game. They were up, what, 7-1 at one point? Yes, 7-0. Seven, 7-0. Seven, zero. Seven, zero. And, and they, they came the, back and lost by two. It's just little things like that, right? Good teams find a way to win those those club games. So we're going to go and get the winning, probably the winning squad right out there oh, yeah, for an interview in, in just a moment. But crazy, right? Like, I would I would say, like, that's exactly what I wanted to see from a playoff match. Like, they brought it. They brought their A game. I will say that. Just a just couple things here and there. Just small tunes, small tunes. Like when you build a race car. Hey. It's running. You just got to. Dial in a little bit more to get that fuel and the air perfect. Hey, look, 12 you got some work to do. You got some drafting, trusting your GM Rex. Yeah, I'll tell you who we are going to trust. And we're going to trust on the Reapers, best team. Let's see what they're talking about. <laughs> and Raven here. And we're here with the winners of tonight's matchup. Familiar faces as always. All the around. Reapers. How y'all doing, man? We're doing good, man. Yeah, good. Good. That's the we're best y'all got. Y'all just come off a dub. Y'all playing for 40 bays, and that's all y'all can get me. Good. Yeah, good. <laughs> we're good, man. It was Disappointed uh... in you, Kay. <laughs> so coming off a dub, continuing the winning streak from the regular season, uh, you guys uh, still coming out strong, man. It was a little rock. It seemed a little rocky at first, but... It was a little sketch in the beginning, bro. Yeah, it seemed that way, but his confidence <laughs> always shines through. He, these guys never seem worried. Um... At any point, did you? It, 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 we're not used to seeing this close of a matchup with you right. guys in a no, team definitely. like this. But uh, at any point, was it sketch at all to any of you? I think uh, we were just. It was a lot of like technical stuff that were happening, and we were definitely noticing that. It's just a little bit of things that we probably should have fixed. But I think we were definitely confident. We knew that we had most of the games in the wheel, so we weren't really stressing too much about it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of how that went. So uh, talk to me a little bit about that that DNF duel, man, because that was really, really close. That was a really, really intense match between you and uh, the Amazing Mayor. Uh, how, how was What was your thought process through that, man? So Amazing Mayor, she's a really good uh, fighter, and um, that matchup I've never played before, mm. so I kind of had to learn it on the fly. Oh, so you were learning as you went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, I kind of figured out you had to, like, time the rolls, but, like, she was really good with, like, the pressure and everything, yeah, yeah, too. So, good. yeah, I can't take that away from her. So once again, you see who is your guy's next step competitor? Uh, it's either the booze or the ghosts, ghost, yeah. depending on who wins. Likely, you guys are saying you're going to end up against the ghosts. I mean, booze. It's a, you, um, look the way the way <laughs> these games have been going. You never know, honestly. Yeah, like true. the ghosts beat Karma like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, that's true. And gorillas beat the Ravens. Yeah, exactly. It's not that the ghosts can't beat the booze, but with our personal experience with the booze, booze. <laughs> Yeah, I think there's it's definitely going to be a losing, fire I match for sure. Tough, right? mm -hmm. You guys are still in the race for the money. I look forward to seeing, you know, the rest of the turn of events when I see you guys again, regardless of who you <laughs> face. Uh, the work is never done here. But best of luck to you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. 
All right, appreciate it. Congratulations. Hey, yo, one more thing. Hey, yo, shout out London, shout out UK for our biggest fan, Murdoch. He's sitting out there and he watched this win. This is for you. (laughs) Big shout out. All right, you guys, back to you. Who's Big you? things to the boy in London, Murdoch. Shout out for watching the Reefers win. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Bro, people from London gonna watch this and be like, yo, this is why we're not. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we're not cool. Oh, well, that's why we won the war. Get at me. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Hundreds of years ago, my dude. You trying to start another one. But the, I know one thing. The only war I'm concerned about is this ongoing playoff battle. As we see Karma versus the Gorillas tomorrow, I am today was Bandits versus Reapers. Yesterday was Ravens versus Trolls. And this is how we wanted to start off the playoffs with competitive, fun, exciting matches. Battle after battle after battle. Each game is so close. But in the end, the match in the UEL win is what matters more. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Right? Yep, it, well, I'll tell you what does matter. 40,000 matters. And with that being said, we are all on the quest for that right there. If you're involved, stay tuned. Matches are only going to get better. Only better. Trust me, second round is going to be crazy next oh, week. It's going to be so good. Before we can get to next week. We got tomorrow. We got tomorrow. With that being said, I wish y'all a great night. Thank you for tapping in and tuning in with us. We will see you later. Here right. at UEL, where gamers go pro. It's your boy, Black Diamond. And the third anarchist. And we say... Peace. Peace.